Yo, what is up, Duelist, Gregory, Lot B, good to see you guys here. What happened to the High School Musical pillows? They're in my gamer room now. But don't worry, they're still alive and thriving. There's also a Hannah Montana pillow. There's also Minecraft pillows now. There's a Sonic pillow as well. So we're really thriving out here. I need a Dark Magician pillow though. This is my breakfast. What up, Fern? What up, Double JR? I'm gonna get a couple of people in the stream, then we're gonna look at the reveal for the Monster Reborn card. It's currently 2.30 in Australia, and I just woke up. Cheers. Yeah, we'll build up some Master Duel too. It was a fantastic night, Martin. It was based. Alright, I'm not reading cat our chat right now, just in case anyone puts the effect in. I think we're good to go. Welcome everybody to another Loza Dark Magician video. Today we're looking at Reborn the Monster with spell card Monster Reborn. <laughs> this of course has the Dark Magician in the artwork along with the original Monster Reborn artwork. Is it a Dark Magician spell? Probably not. Let's have a look. It does look beautiful. Even if it's not a DM spell, I think we should pick up a copy just because it looks beautiful. Ma magic card... Shishka, Soshi, Monster Reborn. Quick play spell. You can only activate one of it per turn. Okay. Target a monster in either grade. Special summon it to your field, but it cannot attack or activate its effects this turn. Boo! Doesn't list DM in its text, which, you know, it's a Monster Reborn card. Fair enough. I think what's disappointing about this most is it's quick play Monster Reborn, but you can't attack with the monster you summon. I think that's pretty depressing. I think if I can Monster Reborn in the battle phase, I want to do it in the battle phase. <laughs> but there's no point doing it in the battle phase. So it's kind of weird. Can't use its effect or attack. Like, I get it for ripping something from your opponent's grave and then, like, using it as either material or just keeping it. A man. I guess if you ripped out, like, your opponent's Baron de Fleur on your field, yeah, it can't negate this turn, but you passed your opponent's turn, and then it can negate, right? Because just as it can't activate its effects this turn. So I guess taking Dragoon out of your opponent's graveyard, reborning your own Dragoon, 
This card does have a lot of use alongside Monster Reborn. I think Monster Reborn and this card together are actually quite just just good cards in general. Wait, no, Reborn already does this, doesn't it? <laughs> Reborn already targets either graveyard. I guess you can go Reborn, target something in their grave, they try to summon it, and you can chain this, target it again. It's such a beautiful art, as Royal Gave said. An absolutely sensational art. Sadly, not a Dark Magician card. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Because, wow, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're starting off the year, my fellow Dark Magician players, in a, in a, a little bit of a bad state. But let's be real. I think we all knew deep down in our hearts that this wouldn't be DM support anyway. And um, even though, if you just look at the middle of the card, there's a big beautiful Dark Magician encased in a yellow light. And yes, we all know the manga or anime panel this was referencing, the Arcana Duel. Two, literal two Dark Magician players, duelists, dueling. We had a bit of Hopium and Copium that it would be somehow DM related. Perhaps at the bottom it could have just said this card's always treated as a Dark Magician card or this card's always treated as having Dark Magician in its text. Even something as simple as that, making it a one-off searchable in DM, could have been cool. Could have been cool. Could have been DM specific reborn, but obviously not tied to DM. In the same way that Salaman Great's fusion spell is not called a Salaman Great card. Let me find that real quick. Um. So the Salamangrave Grave Fusion spell is called Fusion of Fire. Nothing, nothing Salamangrave. Grave. But then it's like this card's always treated as a Salamangrave Grave card. It it could have just had this brackets saying this card's always treated as having Dark Magician in text or Dark Magician card. As long as it listed DM somehow, we'd be able to search it off circle. Uh, grab it off Soul Serpent, right? That could have been a nice little thing they did to nod to the DM deck. Like, obviously this doesn't really do anything for us, but it would have just been nice, right? This could have been a good side deck option in, like, a certain matchup. Where your opponent mills, like, a crucial part of their combo into the grave. And you could interrupt it on your turn with this. That could have been nice. Um, as a pseudo, like, called by the grave, but a searchable one. Like, that could have been really nice. So... A bit unfortunate. It just targets a monster in either grave, specials it, it can't attack or activate its effect. It's literally monster reborn for the first effect, but then it can't attack or activate its effect. The only plus side to this restriction is because it's quick play, but then it's like, if I'm using this as a quick play, like, what's really the point? I guess you can set it turn one. I guess there is value in setting this turn one in your opponent's turn, you know, they start trying to summon something from their grave or they mill something to the bin. That has a banish effect, and you can just be like, ah, uh, no. Uh, they banish snow, for example, without enough things, or they, they mill snow and they don't have seven in grave yet. You could be like, target snow, put it on my field. Of course, they can just attack into it, so. I don't know. I don't know. It's an anime version of Reborn, basically. Which I get. But, um. It, it could have just had that nice little little bracket on it, making it a DM card. Yeah, because it was a V-Jump promo, I also thought... I also thought it might... have some tie to Dark Magician. <laughs> Stop the copium. Look, I'm just expressing my thoughts. Finally, Monster Reborn 2. <laughs> like, there's so... so many simple ways to incorporate DM themes into cards or fix DM cards. And I like to share those perspectives because I really think a lot of DM cards, I'm going to have a series soon. And we just go over DM cards and I just give a suggestion on how to fix them. Because some of them can be fixed with like one line of text. Some of them can be fixed by, you know, just changing one or two words. It's really that easy. Um, I think we all know I Optimize would be a big one for that. I think everyone knows... That could, that could be an easy fix, changing it from Dark Magician Monster to just Dark Magician. Um, change that text from Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl instead of Dark Magician Monsters fixes a lot of things. 
Um, but combination, magician's combination would be an easy fix to make it summon from the other one from deck or from anywhere. Honestly, just make it anywhere. Um, I had a really good one for another card. Now I've forgotten. Hmm. Anyway. There is an advantage of it being quick play, but I was always, I'm, maybe I'm too unga bunga, but in my head I'm like, oh, quick play, battle phase shenanigans. I'm all for the battle phase shenanigans, so. Along with like Eternal Soul and Secrets, we already had so much battle, battle phase shenanigans, and this was like another layer of that, but, and you can't attack or use the fact, so. No, there's really not. Oh well. Oh well. We we came. We had a look. It wasn't great. But you know, sometimes that's just how it be, Yugi. Sometimes that's just how it be. But let's get into some Master Duel games then, since hey, it doesn't really do anything. DM cards do normally require DM, but it would have been nice if it just had it in text. So it was searchable and all that stuff. But that's fine. Like, DM, I feel like, should be kind of like Striker, where we have, like, a, a massive pool of spells that you can play at one. <clears throat> or side them at one, because they're, like, super searchable and super, like, you know, they all do different things. I did not word that very well, but I think you get what I mean. Um, Monster Reborn Reveal. <clears throat> Well, we've got to fix our deck up for today, too. I don't think we're going to play Warlock FDK again. <laughs> what do you guys think we played today? We've got a lot of DM variants. DM structure. Wouldn't mind revisiting Adventure Dark. Oh, but you can't use Rod Effect in Adventure DM. That kind of sucks. Um, it's probably just how go second DM, right? There is that skill drain in there, though. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, you could reborn something with a good, a good continuous effect. That's very true. That's a very true. Oh my god, pardon me. I'm so sorry, chat. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of the card? I'm gonna ask chat, what do you think of the card? Does it stop Ash Blossom? No, it doesn't stop Ash Blossom. They would still get the effect. Revive Baguska in defense mode? Yo. Yo, the tech. The tech. Alright, we're getting a bit of insight here. I'm, I'm in the Da Vinci Resolve. We're just gonna we're just gonna clip <laughs> we're just gonna clip the reborn thing we just did. The name of the new card is Spell Card Monster Reborn. I thought that would change it to spell card. Because, um, well, magic, they can't say magic card anymore, right? So, I figured they would do that. Um, why is it so quiet? Is it quiet for you guys? Like, that audio level looks kind of low. Oh, now it's very loud. Oh, you need your help to be Cash Tira? Well, I've got some bad news. It's very hard. Alright, I'm not reading cat our uh, chat right now just in case anyone puts the effect in. Of course, has the Dark Magician in the artwork along with the original Monster Reborn artwork. 
Is it a dog? You know. Oh well. Alright. Good job, chat. You finished the video on stream. Um. Reborn 2. It, it do be reborn too. Yeah, there ain't no lie about that. <clears throat> Not being searchable in DM. Bit of a joke. Bit of a joke to me. <laughs> I don't know. They they wasted a really good DM art, in my opinion. That was such a good DM art. Like, come on, man. That's rough. Rough out here. Yo, Sorcerer of Dark Magic would be fun, but we don't have a way to search it. If anyone knows a way to search Sorcerer of Dark Magic, let me know. That's a good point aspiring girl. Small world. Small I forgot small world exists. <laughs> Chat, let's shoot out ways to find oh, okay. My game my video is gonna lag a bit because we're, <laughs> we're exporting this as well, but that's okay. Screw it. Double content. Video and stream at once. Based. This end's pretty good. Yeah, what real game set? That art would have been amazing, minus the Monster Reborn. But that art would have been amazing on like a DM card. A DM Link or Xe, but now it's wasted on a spell that's not ours. GNG Gaming, we looked at the card at the start of the stream, if you want to just roll it back. It's a bit sad though. I'm just gonna max C now because he has two scales, like a one and an eight. Uh, I know he's got a search he's probably about to do, but let's, let's just do this.
Whew. I don't know what these pendulum cards do. Oh, is it actually just odd eyes? Perform more power? Okay. Ooh. Pretty good. Man, I've got... Pardon me. I've got him under max C. I've got the Nibiru in hand. And I've got the Eternal Soul Circle Banish. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Turn along. Holy shit, he had pretty good stuff to pan. Where's Odd Eyes? Oh my god. This is only one draw, that sucks. Well, the good news is we can Nibiru pretty soon. Uh-oh. Target a card on the field, destroy it. Gonna pop Eternal Soul. Um, we flip this because we still get to recycle our entire board. Yeah, I've always hated that Pen can just shit out a toll hand, but like, they brick, so it's fine. So we're actually going to flip this here because like losing Artemis doesn't matter. We're actually going to recycle it anyway. And we need to get DM out of our hand. It's stuck in our hand right now. So we need to get it out of our hand, which turns on the Soul Servant in our graveyard, as well as the Circle Banish. We still we don't actually miss the Circle Banish here. So what I'm going to do is Circle Banish. I'm kind of scared of a rank 7. I think this card's very good, so it might be this. If a card you control is destroyed by battle, card effect special is from hand. Or maybe it doesn't do anything once it's on the field. I swear it does though. And it's just card four monsters you control. Common Zark. Yeah, I don't think he's going for Zark. I could be absolutely wrong here. I might just go for one of the scales, because I have Nibiru. I'm kind of happy to just go for one of the scales. I don't know which scale is more important, though. Oh, this one. This one. This one. This one. Th this one. This one. Because it's got a battle phase effect, and that one's already done its search. We get to use the rod effect here, too. Because our field is about to just be bombed by Eternal Soul anyway. So the good thing is, we actually got everything we wanted out of that interaction. Eternal Soul summoned Dark Magician. Circle's got to banish. We've got Rod back to our hand. And our opponent's still under Maxi. I need him to summon one more time here for me to not die. <laughs> uh, so that's a bit rough. If he just goes to battle phase here, we lose the game. But I'm going to hope he overextends. Sh Come on, man. Come on, man. That sucks. That really sucks. Well, it happens. It happens, I guess. <sighs> I guess we should have circle banished a monster, huh? Yeah, we should have circle banished a monster. That sucks. I got greedy and thought the Nibiru would be enough. But, you know, that sucks. Oh well. It happens. The new DM art is amazing and sadly wasted. Agreed. Man, I fully thought that would be the right thing to do. I guess getting rid of one of the, the dragons would have been good. Damn, we drew both Venrias here. Isn't it sad that the ban list isn't in effect chat? Like, it's January the 7th. And they're like putting the ban list in effect on the 10th. It's like just, it's the new year. Like put it, put it into effect. This is the optimal Dark Magician hand, by the way. Optimal DM hand right here. <laughs> what the fuck? It's rough out here for a DM gamer. Yeah, big F in the chat for the new card. Absolutely. Oh my God, my arms are so sore. <sighs> Okay, some buy steals. Beer steals or buy steals? What do you guys say? Beer steals, buy steals. It looks like it's buy steal. Whatever, I swear I always say bist, bist, like B Y S T, bist steal. You can also say buy steal, I guess. I don't know. Made up words be wild. Aww, that's sad. Wait, what the hell? Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
Definitely bestial. A bestial. Oh, is that what it's based on? A bestial. Oh. He targeted Elder Entity. I mean, that's fine. We're just gonna rip the other one. I'm gonna rip this. I'm gonna like that. Oh yeah, the new Reborn card has ways where it could work, for sure. Just just in general. <laughs> just just not in DM. Yay, this video's done. Um, close this. I've never uploaded a video and streamed at the same time. I wonder if this will just destroy the stream. <laughs> Let's find out, chat. Today we learn together. The follow-up to the Reborn video. Open on that paint.net. Wait, what happened to our bestial? What? What? Where did it go? I looked away. It's banished? What happened to it? Oh, Baldrake. Oh, okay. I got crashed into. Why didn't I get to send? Has to be a special monster? Oh, because he didn't have one. He didn't have one at the time. Is that correct? That sounds about right. Does TCG do V jumps? Yeah, we do get them just later and by other means. By other means. We're getting rid of Rebellion is probably the best. Oh, this secret doesn't do anything. I guess I send it for a draw. He's got five cards in hand though, that fucking sucks. Um, I'm definitely gonna get his two tier. I'm not? That's crazy. That's crazy, actually. Are we playing Anima? I really hope we're playing Anima right about now. We are playing Anima. Nice, we're gonna rip that. Ash on the souls. Yeah, that sucks. Because we got nothing going on here. Oh, this can't be destroyed by a... Oh yeah, cool, we can do this. Oh, we're gonna get rid of Ecclesia here. Bruce Worm, he should have done that earlier. Yep, he should have done that earlier. And Souls wouldn't have even summoned. They revealed that it has DM and Blue Eyes plus Magic Cylinder, Enemy Controller plus another card, I don't remember. Huh? What are you talking about, Royal Games? I don't know what you're referring to. Did they reveal more cards? Is that what you're saying? Is it, oh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm not really awake yet. <laughs> My phone is probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty funny though. Wait, he can stop this summon, can't he? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so used to League Monsters not having to matter. It's a pack in the OCG. Are these new cards or just cards with old old cards? Yo, Anima! Do, do the thing, Anima! Come on, switch zone. So what is this? Does this tribute target it? Banish it, okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna scoop it up. <laughs> Woo! That was a bad one. That was a real bad one. <laughs> Alright, I think I need to eat some food. I've only eaten an apple. Um, fellas. Find a bridge for this for me with lo- uh, with the- uh, not Lost World. Small World. Find a bridge with this. 2800 defense, 3200 attack. Level 8 Dark Spellcaster. Find find me a bridge with um Oh god, find me a bridge 
I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'll still stream. But we gotta find a bridge for this bad boy. We'll make a cool sork deck. What am I looking for here? Thumbnail. Where's my thumbnails? Let's go back to that website to be honest. I want their picture of the card. They had a good picture of it. This looks higher quality than the one I have. So let me let me get that. Let me get that. Alright. Find me those bridges, kings. I'm really bad at Lost World, so I'm just gonna see if chat can do it for me. actually kind of sick. Alright, we just sped run a thumbnail. Not too bad. Not too bad a speed run thumbnail, huh? Not too shabby. There's a website for small bridge uh, small world bridges? Okay, thank you. Let's just go use that. <laughs> How amazing is that? We live in a time where you can just go and get a, a small world bridge website. Truly, technology is astounding. Kaiba would be proud. What's this damn card called again? <laughs> I need to look it up again. This is like my third time looking it up. I'm sure no one will mind though, because you know it's um it's what the stream is for. I accidentally went on their Twitter this time. Spell card monster reborn. It is very disappointing it's not slightly DM related, but that's okay. We'll cry about it later in other ways.
Isn't that right, Chad? All right, we'll go. Um, we'll go small world bridge finding. I suppose that would be that would be acceptable. Be fun. Oh, this card's so good though. Like we lose to evenly match with the Dragon Knight combo, right? If we get Dragon Knight Eternal Soul Circle. We still lose to evenly matched, and then this card is like, no you don't. No losing to evenly matched. Pretty good. It's pretty based like that. Um. I'm just gonna add to the end screen of the old video. All the, the effect reveal. Kind of sick. <clears throat> all right, the new video's up, but for all of you in stream, well, you don't really have to go look at it, do you? <laughs> you guys were here live when it happened, but you should definitely go give it a thumbs up, like, comment, all the all the cool shit you guys will do anyway. So there's the link in the description. Did we get the FTK? No, we did not. <laughs> We didn't, but someone posted in the DM Discord, oh no, uh, the DM Facebook page, that they got it. Um, and they posted the replay, so it was good to watch that. Let's go watch it. Let's watch it together, because we never got it the other night. I'm just going to put my Facebook on another screen real quick. Go have a look. Here it is. Alright, it's probably going to be loud. I'm just going to turn the sound off. Actually, I'll put it on. Probably clash with the Master Duel sounds I have though. A bit shit. Why does Facebook only make it this big? Oh, full screen. Nice. Alright, here we go. He's playing the Armory, um, uh, Hidden Armory, which I think is a big shout, which we didn't think of. Wonder Wand and Hidden Armory, something we didn't think of. Pretty good. I haven't looked into Snake Eyes yet, but I'll have a look. His opponent's just playing some sort of weird blue eyes. And he's, um, he's definitely going to get it off. <clears throat> he's definitely going to get it off. Like, that's, that's his opponent end board. One blue eyes monster in defense and a trap. Like, it's looking good. Looking really good. Um, but yeah. He's got the Eradicator in his opening hand, too. He's just better. He's better player than us. The burn begins. Hidden Armory is a spell. Who would have guessed? I can add you a draw card. Sensation. Things we didn't think of. I love that. I love innovation. Oh, I think I froze the video. Sorry, guys. There we go. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. He's got the Link Apple though. How based is that? We love Link Apple. Link Apple is a G. I, I think the Tomb Table of Contents engine is, is the way. <clears throat> it's just... It's just good. It does give you just way too much burn. Obviously the cards you're searching don't do anything. Give you a lot of burn. Turns out a lot of burn is what you need. We did have Toon Table of Contents in there with Toon DM. Mainly because Toon DM... Well, we, did, we didn't craft a Toon DM, but we just had a red eyes. It's mainly because it's a level 7 dark and you can send it for draws with the draw cards. Yeah, how based was that? That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um... Small World Bridges website. Small World Yu-Gi-Oh app? Is this it? Like the card you reveal in your hands. Like the card died from your deck. So we need Sork. And I don't even know what it's called. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. There he is. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Magician's Rod. We'll just do Rod and see how it goes. 
1,200 bridges found. Holy shit. Guys, there's too many bridges. <laughs> we need... There's gotta be a way to sort, like, most meta-relevant. Most, like, played. Ah, uh, this is too much. God damn it. Hey, everybody. What's up, Othman? The, the new the new card got revealed. It's not a DM card, my brother. <laughs> but the reveal is at the start of this stream, or you can watch the video that I just uploaded now. By the way, was stream laggy, guys, while we were uploading the video? Did it lag for you in either way when I was making the editing the video? Well, I didn't really edit much, but you know what I mean. Did it lag at all? Magicians, souls, let's see. That has less bridges. It's got pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Can we search down here? Only effect ones. Ipes. Um, can we still use spellcasters as bridges? Yeah, we can. Let's look at spellcaster bridges first of all, because see if we're playing any of them. Hey, okay, no. We're not playing any of these. Defender, by the way. Okay, dogma. Dogma stuff. Dogma stuff. That's kind of good. Endymion's there too, yeah. Charmers. Okay. If Effect Veiler was here, that would be huge. Because we just play like three Effect Veiler. That would be massive. I don't think Effect Veiler has anything that ties to it though. Mahad? Mahad and Mana? Where's Orcus DM? I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Chief. I'll prove it to you. Here's my folder of... It's a mess, but here's my folder of stuff. Uh, August 1, August 1.5. There's, there is stuff. I keep deleting the deck list and it makes me not want to make the video. I keep making the deck list on YGO Pro and then deleting it by accident. It's really stupid. I'm, I'm just kind of stupid. Time Wizard, my boy. Um, can we just search? Okay, no, that's it. You know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's look at dragons now, though. Let's look at dragons. Oh, Tomias. I think Tomias might be a, a thing. Does Tomias get us there? Albion gets us there. The Bestials? The Bestials get us there. Yeah, the Bestials get us there. Okay. Why don't we just do the Bestials then? That's really good. Phantasme? Oh my god. This works really well. Okay. Yeah, this, this website makes it really clear. Can I share the link? Absolutely, I'll pin the link. Why can't I pin the link? Well, let me pin the comment, that's my link. That's annoying. I'm gonna post it again. See if I can pin it this time. I guess you can't pin links on YouTube. That sucks. But there's the link again. But you can also just go to my channel and it'll be there. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. So we don't actually have to add anything to our deck, guys. We've already got the Bestials in here. Um, well, I guess we have to remake this deck from the ground up. So let's go... Uh, let's go back. Go back to the deck editor. Because we're going to duplicate this deck. Copy. I would like to copy. How, how do I paste? <laughs> Uh, I have copied the deck. Now, did you like paste it? What? How does the copy feature work? Copy. Copy. Copy to my deck. My deck. Oh, there's two second DM. Yeah, no, that makes sense. No, no, I have multiple. I'm so stupid. Okay, cool. I see. Alright, well, I'll delete one of them. Alright, we open this one. And we'll go... Sork Turbo. Um, we could still play this, but maybe not. We have a new small world target now. Um, Sork of Dark Magic. This build will aim to go first. So maybe we don't play evenly. The Sork negate your own traps during either player's turn when a trap card is activated. You can negate. You don't have to negate it. You don't have to negate it. That's good. That's really good, then. Um, I guess we need more small world. 
I know it's only once per turn, but like we need to see it. you will love to see it too. Maybe we can find some other targets as well. No way we don't play evenly? I, I guess. Um, maybe we just put Cold by though. Evenly is very good. It does win you a lot of games. Alright, it's not going to win me any games when I'm trying to make Sork. Um... If he steals completely with evenly, so does Cash. So does, so does Fenrir. But I think it's just how it is. It's just how it's gonna be. I still kinda like the, the one Tactics and the one Rust. Still kinda like it. Hmm. Could play Mobius Steals. If we played Lubellion though, I'd wanna play um. I'd want to play Brain of Beast or whatever it is, the trap. Wait, let's see what, um... Let's see what Fen... Can we add Fenrir? Yo, what up, Machi? Can we add Fenrir? Kestira Fenrir. Off leg. Rod? <laughs> I don't know. Surely there's a bridge. It's in archetype. Any bestials? Probably not. No. Okay. Fair. Any spell cost? Mahard? <laughs> Based? Based Mahard? It has to have, like, match stats, right? Hmm. What about Ash? No, Ash doesn't. Ash doesn't help with any of this. Ghost Bell does, though. Ghost Bell gets us there. There's Earth. Ah, because of the Earth. Interesting. Small World is so cool. It is, like, honestly one of the coolest cards. Wait, we're not playing Village. We need to play Village with this, too. Because it's like, we get Village and we get this guy, and we just say, GG. Um... I don't know if we do evenly. I evenly smashes lab though, hey. Labs everywhere. It's so hard to pick through every every going second card. Alright, this deck list is a mess. Let's let's roll with though. Give it a like, give it a rev. If we can pull off the soul combo ones, I'd be I'd be pretty pretty happy. I need to get some damn food. We won die roll? Huge. Actually huge. Alright, what do you guys want to see next? If we pull off Sork, what do you want to see next? What are we doing? Till the new season starts, we're just doing stupid shit in rank. Okay. Optimal DM hand. No DM card. Optimal. I want to play like pure. We should just play pure. Pure DM is always so fun. Like you don't do a lot, but man, it just feels good to play pure, I swear. When you win with pure, it feels amazing too. You're just like, I'm cracked. Oh, the two player set. Oh, uh, yeah, I have seen that. I have seen a bit on that. It's just like a Yugi Kaiba deck, right? Kind of. It'd be cool, though. I don't think we'll get any support in that. I think it'll just be reprints of older stuff. Dark Sage Turbo? Yes. The D has the good suggestion. The D has the good suggestion. I'm going to pin your comment, brother. 
Um. Oh, we're both in the Hungry Burger deck. Hungry Burger deck. Kinda cracked. Alright, I pinned the D's comment. We're doing Dark Sage Turbo next. Oh yeah, they give us a guy, huh? What if I just said, fuck off? Seems pretty good to me. We could have just super polyed, but I like this better. We opened the one skill drain. We're very skilled. Yo, Fenrir effect? I guess I could have just waited and used Fenrir effect. Oh. That, that would have worked pretty good. Oh well. It's funnier this way. Hey, they have the burger and we have the burger. Big. What does this do? Reveal two different ones. Your opponent chooses one to add to your hand, one to shuffle the other into the deck. You can have that one. Because the other one's really good, isn't it? The level one one's like fucking crazy good. Wait, did they, would they get another card too? Yeah, then you can add one of these cards from deck to grave. It's kind of nuts, no? They have Zeus. They have Zeus and a Manadia monster on the art of the pack. What? Why? If it's like a Blue Eyes Kyber thing, why? Why do they have Zeus and Manadia on? Putting bad new cards in 2024? Very weird. I ag agree. Agree. It's got a special draw one. About that. He does get the special one from deck though. This card is tripping to put in your extra deck. Oh man. I should have let that card get banished. This card's actually so annoying. Control ritual target monster in the field. Special this card. Change the monster's battle position. Okay. Cool. Skill drain wins games. Let's go. Fellas, are we making pure DM? I heard we're making pure DM. I heard we're making it. I heard we're changing this to pure. I guess we need the bestials, but we could just play Phantasme. No, I think we need the bestials. They're really good against Branded. I mean, even even then they're not, because they can still use the Vanish Zone. What do you guys think? Are we making pure? We're, we're still going to do Dark Sage, but we need to pull this one off first. I feel like doing it with a, a, a base... Doing it with a <laughs> pure base is probably better. What do you all think? Oh yeah, Runic DM is also very good. I think Brandon might be better. What? For summoning, summoning Sork? <laughs> We're just trying to summon Sork. Wait, where's Sork? Oh, I didn't equip the new list. <laughs> I'm using the old list, the other fuck. I didn't even have the right list on. Wait, shit, we didn't even think about how to summon Sork. We need to have Rod and Souls on the field. No, two level six spell card. We didn't even think about how to summon this. We only thought about how to get it. Two level six, so we need to play apprentice at like three. Hmm, this is gonna be harder than we thought. This is gonna be harder than we thought. Um, no evenly. I'm gonna cut tactics for now. For now. Oh, we could use bonds. Uh, bond bond between teacher and student. And dark. Burning. We may as well play Dark Burning as well. Destroy the Dark Magicians with Visa? Yo! That's actually kind of big brain. Kind of big brain. No, I like I like both those ideas. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. This works. 
Let me think. Imagine versing lab and we just put this on the field. <laughs> How good would that feel? Just seeing the lab player go and scoop. And we look at their deck and see it's lab and we're like, nice. I'm gonna put a third rod in. Cause, no, we need robe. We need a max on robe, fellas. Hell no. Um, we're losing a bit of going second pressure. But you know what? We still got the Beast Deals, Fenrir, Maxi Ash. All a decent chunk of going second cast. Super Poly. You're playing Brandon, you're in Jinzo on the side? Fuck, I love that. I love Jinzo. Oh shit, you're right. We need DMG. Thank you. <laughs> we don't have DMG. There we go. Thank you. We do kind of need her for the package, huh? Man, if we can summon Sork, holy crap. I'd be really happy. Yeah, DM with Visa Star Frost actually seems interesting. I'm I'm curious. Very curious. Summon Jinzo off Sanctifier effect. Who's Sanctifier? Sanctifier again. Oh, that's the the Albion. Yeah. What the This guy, right? Because then it summons target two in the grave special and both one to each field. Mmm. That's cool. Ah, uh, Kenneth, you'll have to put the stream back to the start where we looked at the card. Or you can check out the video that I just uploaded. I just clipped it, put it as a video on the channel too. It's pretty much reborn quick play. Like, I don't know what to say. It's reborn quick play. You like spellcaster to summon sorcerer? That's, that's what the bonds package does, my guy. It's rod and souls. And then you need a bestial in your hand? No. You need like an extra rod in your hand. Right? They bridge you to here. How do they... How does this even work? I don't even get how this works. I need to check again. Um, oh, I guess we can go on a custom. I'm keen on Visa and Runic DM. I want to see those interactions. Now let's go on a solo mode and we're just going to lab small world. Actually, it's probably quicker if I just do it on Idio Pro. Right? Let's do it on Idio Pro. And we can just sit here ready to go in a ranked. Do we have the right deck equipped? We do. The new card is out. Yes. The, the effect has been revealed. Um, do we have just a DM core laying around that's not filled with red eyes cards? DM test? Yeah, this'll do. This'll do. It's got a lot of wild shit in here. That's fine. This was me testing Master Duel stuff, actually. I think. Well, there was a ref in here, but that's okay. Um, it's to grab Sork. <laughs> We're trying to play Sork. So, Rod. Oh, we have Rod in the deck. I'm silly. We need both of these. We need the Bonds package. Bond between. And we need Dark Burning. I mean, we don't need Dark Burning, but... Okay. Dark Magician Girl. Um... Saw... I guess just Dark Magic will make it come up. Oh, that will also make the whole DM archetype come up, but that's fine. Alright, we've got Sork in there too. We need Bestial, because they are somehow our branch. I, I'm not very good at Lost World, but... Small World, but... Apparently these get us there. Oh no, I didn't do the settings. Uh, settings, three cards, don't shuffle. Oh, this doesn't get us there because we need an extra card. Let's just try a small, uh, small world first. Rod. Uh, this deal. Then get Sork. We can. Okay. Though we need an extra like Rod or Souls in hand then, right? I wonder, does the Illusion of Chaos work with it too? Let's find out. Oh, shit. Four card hand. So, four card hand. Maybe we have to open Illusion of Chaos because get you one of these pieces and you can keep it in your hand. I don't know why I used Illusion of Chaos. <laughs> why did I use Illusion of Chaos? Oh, well, we'll just add a rod and put it back. That's fine. Alright, I'm just going to see what if Small World's Bridge works with this guy too. 
because you can use that like after you've searched it's really good reveal this i think this gets us there nice okay illusion of chaos gets us there royal game said it doesn't and he was wrong so now we have the combo we get one probably should use souls to summon dm first so we don't get bestialed but that's okay we're just testing here Hey, it worked. It wor I'm not gonna read Small World, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna learn how learn the com like the the path and go. That's the path. I can do it with Rod. I can do it with Souls. I can do it with Thingo. Yeah, I know they have to share like one trait, but pfft, I ain't I ain't thinking about all that. All right, bonds. Let's go. Let's go. I guess we turn off dark burning attack. We turn off dark burning magic, so we really need... We got it, though. It, it was a four-card combo, but we got it. It took up four cards in our hand. Man, that is not worth it at all. <laughs> it doesn't even get village as well. Village would be a five-card version. My god, that's so bad. That's so bad. Yu-Gi-Oh is better when you don't read in brute force. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know if that, that's only going to be worth it if we're versing lab. If we're versing lab, we're chilling. We're chilling. I really, I want to do it though. I'm keen. Let's, let's run it. Let's play D Dwimmering Path. Dwimmering Path. Oh, I added it to the deck. I'm gonna spell cast or effect once in a grave, add it to hand. Huh? What? How would I get it to grave? I didn't even know this was a card, by the way. Like, I can souls put this in the grave, but then my souls isn't summoning DM. So, like, I kinda need to summon DM. How do I get to two level six or higher spellcasters though who have already used my souls to do this and somehow opened this? So two, I've used two cards, right? And I've got this in my hand, I guess technically I've got four cards in my hand at this point. But I have to open this, which is also unsearchable. Yeah, I don't know if I can play this. God, guidance of the spell salvation, and then in English they're like, Dwimmed Path. <laughs> uh, Dwimmed Path. Hmm. Boomer can be played with souls, but sorcerer needs to be engraved. Yeah, we don't really have a way to get it there. Yeah, sorcerer doesn't mention DM. Which is, it should. It really should, shouldn't it? It's like, clearly a dark magician. <laughs> Two card combo, you end up with Magician of Chaos, Rod and Esol if you want to play Ritual. Magician of Chaos, Rod and Esol. Why have I not heard of this combo? Two card combo, where you get Magician of Chaos, Rod and Esol. Three card for two. That seems good. Royal game, spill the beans. Yeah, I'm like, this doesn't exist. Dodo's combo summons Chaos Max, but it's a, it's more than a two-card combo. It's kind of a... I think it's a three. I think it's a three. And you can't get interrupted either, mostly. It's also using... Um, what's it called? Incantation. What's the two-card combo, though? I don't think there is one that gets you three cards in DM. The closest thing to card advantage in DM is the Bonds package. It's two and a half. So it needs a discard. So it's three. <laughs> Why is this in here? Oh, because I was doing Galaxy Tomahawk stuff. Like the closest thing to card advantage in Dark Magician is this. Oh, well, let's let's do it with two cards so we can truly display card advantage. It's the Dodo package. Okay. This is like what makes me love the Bonds package, which is silly because the cards we're getting are like effectively vanillas, but 
Man, it feels good to just go plus for once in DM. You know what I mean? Feels good to have two cards spin out more than two cards worth of fucking like stuff. Three cards. We made two cards into three cards. Dark Magician best deck. Are you search illusion of chaos instead of chaos max? Oh, okay, based. And then you link them away and turn off your dark burning magic. Maybe we just do this. Let's just play dark burning magic. It's not even that bad. I know if they add one thing, it, it, it's all over, but um, they won't. Copium, they won't. What could we play to make that combo good? Gaga Gaga Magicians. I love Gaga Gaga Magician. He's a cool guy. What can we play to make the Bonds package busted? Oh. And don't say more Bonds package because we're not doing that. Pretty much every DM spell should be played at one. Look, Salvation 1, Circle 1, Bonds 1, Burning 1, Secrets 1, Eternal Soul 1. You can make an argument for this at 2 or 3. I think if you play DMG, you should play 3. If you just play DM, you should get away with 1 or 2. Easy. What would like help keep DM and DMG on the field, not dying? I guess skill drain is a great way. I guess floodgates? Then we lose really hard to a board breaker. At least switch out one super poly. Why? What? Why? Black Illusion. We're not playing Black Illusion, my brother. It is not 2005. Mahard for draw boost. Um, I don't think Mahard helps us here at all. Except by he'll he'll break us in the hand more than he ever helps. Blackwing DM a thing. No, but now I be thinking. Now I be thinking. Um, I'm thinking let's just go for Dark Burning Magic with DM. No Sork. I, I think we cut Sork. Let's just go to a new profile. Or oh, we'll just rename this. As much as I like Sork. Yeah, as much as I like Sork. It, it's too much, too much card requirement for, quite frankly, a pretty shit card. Um, let's just focus on Dark Burning Attack and Bonds. How can we optimize getting here and protecting the field? Apprentice Illusion? Well... Yeah, if they're gonna swing into our guys, I'm thinking more we're gonna get regeki Lightning Stormed, that kind of thing. We don't need any of this. Um, we play pure. What would we play in pure? Magician of Chaos will save you from a hard brick. No. We already brick on everything else. Like, we can only put one brick back. We, we can't really... Can't really justify playing more bricks because we have Illusion of Chaos. Unless the bricks we're playing are like cracked out of their mind and like op like like Red Eyes Black Dragon in TCG, playing that means your Red Eyes Fusion can be used, which is worth it. Playing Mahad is like, you might get an extra draw. Woo! It's not good. Dark Magic Expanded. Not quite what I'm going for, but I'm willing to give it a read. It will at least have the first two effects. This turn, your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to your spell traps. Also, they cannot be destroyed. You know what? The D? You kinda... I hate this card, but you kinda onto something. Because we will have DM and DMG on the field, in theory, right? Because we've resolved bonds, and we're like, how do we fix it from here? This means we could flip this at the start of the opponent's turn. Right? In the, in the draw phase, we say, this turn, your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to your spell traps. Nice. But also, spell traps cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Then it's just the worry of the monsters. They could just go, Regeki, and we go, fuck. Um, we need the third effect. The third effect, Dark Spellcasters are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. All right, we're onto something here. We're onto something here. If you have Dragon Knight on the field, you instantly have three. Brother, that, that is a whole nother problem. <laughs> we don't have a way 
to get to Dragon Knight consistently. <laughs> My brother, you just opened a whole new can of worms. We need a way to make expanded good. So Rod and Souls will get us to Bonds. Well, let's let's lab it. Let's lab it on. It's always good to lab on EDO Pro because it's so much quicker. You can master dual fucking solo mode is so wank. You can't manipulate like hand. I manipulate hand size or anything. Oh, let's lab it in here. Um, ignore this list because this list is a bunch of random cards. It's just for testing, testing grounds. All right, bond between. Boom. We need dark magician girl. I can't spell. Combination. I mean, if we're going for a build like this, combination's viable. But we're playing very hard into going first now. We're getting we're getting a bit too stuck. I think on going first. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This. We have secrets, right? Yeah. We need this. Combination does make sense in a build like this, though. You play Dark Magician of Chaos with dedication through light and dark. No. <laughs> uh, no. We're not doing that. It's not 2003. Sorry. We're, we're not doing that. We get a search in the end phase? Wow! Anyone been excited for a search in the end phase? No, I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Oh, I already have these cards in here. They're, they're right there. I already had them. I'm trolling. Man, the striker engine's in here? How old is this shit? Holy crap. Um, We can't play anything slow, chat. I'm sorry. Anything from 2003 is probably not going to cut it anymore. Hmm. If they didn't errata him, yeah. We could maybe do something, but... I'm sure there would be an OTK, FTK, FTK with him if he wasn't errata. There, there already was, right? Back in like 2005 or some shit. Expanded seems like such a bad card. We don't have a way to get to it as well. Like, there's no way to get to this because, like, in theory, in theory, this is it. Fuck. Do not shuffle. In theory, these two cards get to the bonds package. And from here, it's like, these two cards get there. Great. It has a board wipe. We just need to survive the opponent's turn. Have them try to finish their turn. And then in the end phase, we blow their field up. And then we win the game from there. So it's like, how do we protect DM, DMG, and Dark Burning Mad? Just three cards that we need to like lock the opponent out of touching for an entire turn. I do agree Dark Magic Expander can get there. I guess my biggest issue is how. Because we've already used... I guess Soul Servant. Soul Servant could be nice. Under a ruler. What is this? During the opponent's standby phase, there is no battle phase this turn. Um, not quite what we're going for. Like, yes, they can just swing into them. But we're more worried about Wabaku and Trap Trick? Yo. If that protected the back row too, I would do it, but it doesn't. Judgment? True, judgment. Judgment is. Probably the best call we've had so far. Nice work, Sardine. Can Soul Servant get expanded? Yes. So if we had... Let's let's try it. Let's try it with just Soul, soul Servant. Uh, added in there. Chucked in for nothing, because it's like a draw two, right? Let's extend it to three cards. Maxing on Village? Yeah, Village would also be very good here, because that's a lot of the ways that we would lose. Actually, that's probably the best call. Dragon Knight, Wabaku, and Trap Trick. You're asking for too much. You're asking for too much. Yeah. Name a combo to Dragon Knight. The combo to Dragon Knight uses Rod and Souls. We can't do that. We cannot do that. So I guess in this world, we could also go for Circle here. Circle, chain this, get Bonds. But um, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking ahead. I will just get Bonds for now. Is Grass legal and Mustard or yeah, it's a one. Branded. What? Well, branded doesn't help with what we're trying to do. <laughs> branded. I don't think Branded has anything to do with what we're trying to do here. Make Eradicate a burn deck? We already did that, and we didn't win. 
We did not win, but we might make a video on it later. Because someone did get it, and I might use his video as our celebration. We're gonna play Grass 60 card DM. He said a card from deck. So this is our, this is what we have when we're passing. I guess we'd probably get Artemis as, uh, instead of Rod. Ideally, we'd have like IP, but it doesn't really matter. So in this world, we can still go Soul Servant, right? It has to be original name DM, doesn't it? So Dragon Knight here doesn't really help. Um, So if we did open Soul Servant, you now can go and get expanded plus an extra door. Yo, we drew DM. Correct. Now you can set this and then apply the effects in sequence equal to the number of Dark Magicians and or Dark Magician girls on the field and graves. If we could find a way to get to the three, it's crazy. Oh, you're not talking to me. Okay, sorry, real games. Um, Granted, is the best way to Dragon Knight, though. You're absolutely right if that's what you're saying. Like, branded good for Dragon Knight Turbo. Um, this is quite... Like, it, pure is the way to do this for sure. Like, with three cards, we're so close to a cracked board. Imagine if... Yeah, Expanded is plain bad. No, there's no... Like, we know, brother. I'm the, the first person to say the card sucks. Combination? Well, combination is a negate. You're right. You know what? Combination there is still... A, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a negate. It's not a negate. Look, look at the way combination is worded. And this is why I'm going to do a series on Dark Magician cards and how to fix them. Because this card is so fucking stupidly worded. Let's have a look. Actually, let's look at it on Master Duel because you'll actually be able to read it with me. And see the artwork. Oops, this is not Master Duel. Magician combination. I don't know if that'll bring it up. Bro, it's a fucking common. They know how bad it is. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can tribute DM or DMG. Special the other from hand or grave. What is that? What do they mean special the other from hand or grave? Bitch, I just tributed a DM or DMG. Summon the other one from fucking anywhere. Who cares where it comes from? Let it come from the banished zone for all I care. It, it shouldn't matter. <laughs> Let it come from literally anywhere. And then, yeah, you swap them out, right? You tribute a DM or a DMG. And then you summon the other one. And then if you did, negate the activation. So this loses to Call by the Grave. This loses to... This loses to everything. It, It's so shit. You need DM on the field and DMG in the Grave. Or vice versa. Like, you can have them the other way. But it's just bad. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. The Bonds package puts them both on the field. Then I need to get rid of one of them. I suppose... Let's say... Let's... Let's... Let's give it a whirl. In a, in a certain world, and we need a Link Monster. We need a Link Monster that will help us. IP. IP is perfect for this demonstration. Oh, there's already three. There's three in the deck. Good job, me. All right. In the, in the perfect world, right? You can go Rod. You go get Bonds, right? You're probably Magician Souls first to play around Bistools. But... You get the Bonds package, right? Then you could go... This is like a... Oh, wait, we already have bonds in our hand. Oh, we, no, we searched it. Man. I I need to eat. You can tell I need to freaking eat. Holy shit. Okay. So in a perfect world, you'd open up a three-card hand like this. You could bonds. This will summon out your DMG. Fantastic. And you set a card from deck. You get the Dark Burning Magic. Great. And now from here, you can Soul Servant and you can go get combo, right? Cool. 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 Are you seeing what I'm saying? Are you seeing what I'm saying? What are we missing? See ya, Machi. We've got combo. 
This DM shouldn't be in the hand, by the way. That that should not be there. We've got the DMG in the grave now, so we can use combination. What's the problem? What is the problem? We have a negate, but what's the issue? We could use the Magician Hands. That's not a bad call. Maybe the one... Use Village and we could use one of the Magician Hands. Not the worst idea. Alright, if you don't know the problem here... Yeah, if you lose DMG, you're dead. That That's one of them. There's another one, though. There's another glaring issue. Let's see if we can pass turn and do the thing. Uh, I'm just gonna Normal Summon Rod on the other side. Normal Summon Rod. Use the effect. I'm gonna chain combination over here. Activate the effect. Tribute DM. Summon DMG. Okay, Rod is negated. So a couple of things are going off. Rod wants to go off, our Rod, to tribute this status up back. Cool, but Dark Burning Magic's now dead, right? So what do we need to get DM back on the field? We need Eternal Soul. So suddenly, combination isn't doing anything. We got the negate, we lose the board wipe, we lose the DM summon, which means we lose potential circle banish if we have that too. See how much you need for combination to be good. It's like, what? What? What am I meant to do with this? They should have just made it summon from anywhere. It's like, tribute your DM, summon DMG from freaking, you know, anywhere in the world, and then negate. And then you could Eternal Soul summon back your DM. And it could actually be good. I, I don't know. Massive missed opportunity. Combination, massive missed opportunity. Use the new Monster Reborn. Yo, big. <laughs> Loses to Droll. Yo, Royal Games, you're right. You're right. We could use the left hands and the terraforming. Oh, we can't use terraforming, Lomeo. We could use um Village. Mistyl's crazy in this format? Oh yeah, Mistyl's good cards. Um, we do have the one village. Like, we could max on village, but man, when you draw that shit going second, you want to cry and die. Shit is dead. What else could we possibly do? Dark magic. It's crazy how we've nearly got Dark Burning Magic to a good... This is nearly awesome in our list. Nearly. It's so close. So close. Can you fuse to summon DM and DMG to summon DMs with Anaconda? No. No, you cannot. Unless you send Magicalized Fusion and you banish them from your grave, and if you're banishing them, what are you doing? <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, I don't know. This is rough. Mm. Inheritance. Busted. Busted. Hey, this is a dark magic card. Why does this come up when you search dark magic? It's got magic, but it doesn't have dark, does it? But dark is in the XE. I've got a dark XE control with no material. I got a dark with no material. Is there any way we can get a dark with no material? <laughs> Special from your extra rank. One dark is either. It's one rank higher. Using it is material. If you do attach this card as material. During your main phase. Card from your grave. I got a dark EZ. That's a fan of my monster too. Okay. We're using this. This is a dark magician card now. Ebon illusion magician support. Based. But he can only detach one. So I'm like. How do we make it detached? All of it. DM suck, try it, Ritual DM. I think you'll find all DM suck, including Ritual DM. However, man, this card is so bad too. Why couldn't this card be a DM spell? A yeah, thousand special spell cost from hand of grave. This card had potential too. If it, if it listed DM, it was searchable, and it's literally called Dark Magic Veil. Vale. Like, make it a DM card, Konami. Please. Please. Make Kali Yuga. Yo. Yo. Huh. 
We can go into Kali Yuga, yo. Wait. Hold up. Sardine, you're actually onto something. Is it treated as an XZ summon? Is it treated as an XZ summon? Because holy shit, you might be onto something, my brother. It's treated as an XYZ summon. Holy crap. Oh. Are we cooking? Are we cooking, fellas? So now we just need a dark rank 7 level... I think there is one. that One of the dragon rank 7s? Okay. Okay, we're cooking. We're in the kitchen. We're cooking. Dark. Level 7. Let's go. We needed to detach both material. Big eye detaches one and it's only going second. Detach one. Nope. Detach none. Nope. Detach one. This is the one. I think it detaches two. No, it detaches one. What? None of them detach two! I swear one of the rank seven should detach two. Wait, where's the dragon one? There's a, there's a dragon one. Oh, is it not in the game yet? Maybe it's not in the game yet. You know the dragon one I'm talking about? Volo. Yeah, Volo. He's not in the game? Oh, I'm just stupid. I just don't have it ticked. Volo, he's the one. Detach two, target a face up on the field, destroy it. If you destroy the monster, do just pop rod. Pop rod. Holy shit, you, we've got the new DM fucking strat. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Do we abandon this? I think we abandoned this profile and go do Volo things. I think we, we got we, we got to try this at least. It could be dog shit. It could be dog shit, but we've got to try it. Got to try it. Um, let's just finish this list off. I'm just going to put another circle in it. Just so it's like up. I don't know. It's just finished, you could say. Just filling it with random DM cards. Not going to lie. That'll do. Dingaroos who can protect your board. Big. Can't find a bridge. Well, we don't need a bridge, do we? I guess we need a way to search... Card? I don't know. Wait, that build's not soft turbo anymore, is it? What is this? This is our uh, bonds. Bonds. Now we need it. Wow, we're nearly at the deck cap. Copy deck. Copy. Based. Bonds two. All right, let's edit this shit. So look, bestials are cool, but they're not rank sevens. Volo, two level sevens, beautiful, yeah, fucking sensational. Um, cut this, cut the bonds package. Um, we might play Chronicle Magician, only because it's searchable. What are we trying to do? Kali Yuga. We should test it first. The Dark Arm XE doesn't attach two. It only attaches one. All right, let's go lab this. Volo. Man, we've got so much crap in here. Um, so Volo, we need Kali, Kali Yuga. I wonder if it comes up when you search up Dark Magic here. I wanna see. Come up, the Phantom Knight card. No, rip. Not a real DM card, I guess. Damn, it comes up on Master Builder. Rank up. That's not how you spell rank up. Rank up. It must be dashed. Rank up. There we go. How do we search it as well? Is the next question. How do we get to it? This one. Target a Dark XZ with no material. Special from extra A Dark XZ, one rank higher. Comes an XZ summon. Boom! How will we get the rank up? Well, that's that's our next problem. How do we get the rank up? Let's just check we can do it, but I'm pretty sure we can. And I'm pretty sure this three card combo gets us there. Don't shuffle. Let me see. If, if we've solved the deck, we're crazy. We're crazy with it. 
You can set up two Omni Negates with two level sevens. Why would you do that? What? What card gives you two Omni Negates as a level, as a rank? What? Why? We would be playing that if that was a thing. What are you talking about, Royal Games? You are coping right now. A two negate? We can set up two negates with two level sevens? Huh? Am I high? Why don't we ever play rank sevens then? What's going on here? Oh, I forgot to add Chronicle. Wait, no, we can't. We can't Chronicle. Because it misses the summon window. Tomahawk? Oh, yeah, but that Tomahawk is like playing 17 fucking bricks and shit. Not 17. It plays like main deck tuners you've got to bust down. And you've got to, like, spend so much shit on it. No, Tomahawk sucks. This, this... Tomahawk's cool, but it plays into every hand trap under the sun, right? This is... Way more chill. Now I just need to work out how to get there. Because Chronicle misses the window of souls. How do we get to a second rank 7? Uh, Mahad? I think Mahad is actually... Mahad actually makes this work. There's no way. There's no way I'm playing Mahad for this shit. <laughs> I think so. What are we trying to do, go kick rocks? Oh man. Oh boy. Wait, we're doing some jank. We're doing some jank, good sir. Um, how do we search this card? Bardish, I think people are saying. We can try Bardish. Mahad. Mahad should draw when it summons itself too. That would make it worth playing. Alright, Volo. Use the Volo effect. Pop Rod. Rank up. I think we rank up on the opponent's turn, but like, you get it. You'd pass turn to set it. When this card is easily summoned for the rest of this turn, all other cards effects are negated. Neither player can activate the effects of other cards that are on the field or activate spell traps. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, we would play cash tier cards as well. Yes. How do we search this stupid spell though? Badish? <gasps> That means we have to play Phantom Knights? Phantom Knight engine? Get a Phantom Knight spell trap directly from deck. We don't have to play a Phantom Knight engine. That sucks. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that sucks. Alright, well, I think I cooked too much. Three specific card combo versus any two level sevens. What? What are you talking about? Two level sevens doesn't get you there. Two level sevens, you need something to pop as well. That's why we had Rod there to pop. Two level sevens don't actually get you to that combo. Because otherwise, what, Volo pops itself? Yeah. Sick. Tomahawk is bad. We can play some Tomahawk, but you lose to everything. Like, literally everything. Um, I think that's cool. I'm glad we're able to do that. I don't think we can. I just crafted this Volo too. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. Yeah, two level sevens does make the Tomahawk combo. That is factual. However, have you seen the Tomahawk list? You know, go kick rocks. We need one of your lists right about now. Go kick rocks. What do you What do you got cooking? I hope you're still here. I'm gonna grab some food. Um, and then we're, we're, we're gonna start cooking, all right? We need some something to play. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm deleting this shit. I just did this to get some stupid events. Missions done. You have a synchro list that does nothing without Chaos Rule. Oh yeah, you lost the Chaos Rule. Oh, shit. That sucks. That does suck. Floodgate DM. We could just play stun. Why don't we just play stun DM? We win the die roll, we just win the game. I mean, not necessarily, but you get what I mean. Hmm. This looks cancer. I love it. I don't know what I feel like playing. Stun DM feels bad, man. <laughs> Legit. They like hit you with literally anything. They're just like, uh, duster, and you're like, bye bye. Oh, DM is bad in Mothra. There's no doubt about that, but we're gonna find something to do with it. I don't know. I'm gonna get some food, then we'll come back and we'll cook. I'm cooking. I'm cooking in the kitchen, but I'm, we're also cooking here on Master Duel. But maybe we'll go, I don't know, Adventure DM? I don't know. We'll find something though. Um, let's put this replay on for y'all. Oh, there's no replays. Alright. No replays for y'all to watch. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? You can watch some laws of content that's not been released yet. How about that? For all of y'all waiting in the chat, because you're, you're being such good streamer buddies and chilling. You can watch some, um... I'd, I'd give you the Orca stuff to watch, but it's like... How long is it? No, it's... 15 minutes? What? I do the combo and then it's just nothing. Uh... Surely I got something here. Yeah, you can't use Rod if you're here. Use Adventure DM. Yeah, I can put the Orcus video on, but it's like... I do the combo and then it's just me editing stuff. And there's gonna be... I mean, who cares? Behind the scenes. Yo, what is up, guys? It's Loza, and we're loving some Orcus Dark Magician. You're gonna wanna open up Apprentice Illusion Magician in this deck because it discards and that sets up your Orcus plays. So, really, you're gonna wanna play three of this Apprentice. It's been a while since we played her at three. But I think it's very much the thing to do in a build like this. Anyway, Apprentice will use her effect, discarding Nightmare, adding a vanilla DM, and this actually matters here. Now, you could probably see the play of Rod could add secrets, you could make a fusion. Sure, you could do that. But what we're going to do here is Orcus play. So we're going to banish the Nightmare, targeting the Illusion. We're going to put the Harp in the grave here. Now, we are going to get locked into Dark Monsters here. Oh no! Like, that actually matters. So Harp is going to banish and summon out Skeleton here, and Skeleton's going to help us pop off a little bit later, but before we do, we're going to normal that Rod. Rod's going to use its effect, 
What about Regos? We'll be in 20 minutes. All right, cool. Um, Rod is going to grab either Circle if you have Soul Servant. If you have Soul Servant in hand, grab Circle. And if you have neither, you can just go ahead and grab this package here, which is what I'm going to do. Because I do think the Eternal Soul here is quite nice, and I'll show you why later. We're going to go for the Salvation, and it's going to set the Eternal Soul. We'll put it right next to it. Love to see it. And now we're going to start our Link plays. Since we lost our beautiful Anaconda, we're going to go into a new Link to the Galatea using Rod and the Skeleton. And now we can use Galatea. We're going to shuffle back the Harp into the deck, the one of Harp, to set an Orca Spell Trap. Our two options are Babel, which is just amazing, makes all your Orcus effects uh, quick effects in the grave, or Crescendo, uh, a hard negate, a negation of activation, whether it's a spell trap or a monster effect, while you control an Orcus Link. So you'd have to keep the Galatea here. You couldn't make the Ding play, which kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to make the Ding play, so we're not going to go for this. But if you do open this up, you can search the Babel and kind of have both. It's real nice. There's also a search. So you can banish this card from grave, add to your hand a Dark Machine that's banished or in your deck. You get locked into uh, Dark Machines that turn, however, as your only special summon. But what an amazing card. I wish DM would get a counter trap like that, like sensational. For this combo, though, we just need Babel. Babel's normally what you're going to grab anyway. It's the better card most of the time, I want to say. We're going to flip Babel up, and once again, you know what it does. Everything in the grave is now a quick effect if it's an Orcist, so pretty cool. Galatea is going to XE for Ding because that's a thing that you can do in this deck. And Ding has this crazy effect where he can protect our field. Just, um, if a card you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, detach a material from this card instead. So it can protect Eternal Soul Circle. It's like Dragon Knight, <laughs> kind of. Uh, not quite. Anyway, we're going to use, it can also on summon send something or it can attach something. So we're going to attach something. We've attached our Nightmare that was banished, so that's pretty cool. But now we're just going to put them all back in the grave. Oh, not dark, we're going to make IP. So we, we had three cards and we're turning it back to two. Kind of strange, but that's how it is. We still have Skeleton live in the grave, but we're going to pass it to the opponent's turn. And that's where all of our plays are really going to happen. So let's go ahead and see what the opponent's going to do. Of course, this AI is not going to do normal plays, but we'll just play it by ear and I'll tell you what we would do in a normal duel. So they are going to normal their first monster, the Kozaki in this case. Now, we've got a couple of options here. You can see we've got Eternal Soul, we've got Skeleton, and we've also got Nightmare. So what I would probably lean towards is just doing Skeleton first, summoning the Ding, because they know about the Ding. Summon the Ding, get it over and done with. Ding comes out. You click the Send. You can attach, of course, but just click the Send. Get rid of this shit. Now, the opponent's probably going to keep comboing. The AI is not, because it has nothing else. But... The opponent will start making their board again, right? Play out their extenders, start trying to do stuff. And at that point, you could IP mask. You, you've already seen it, right? We've got Dean, we've got IP. We've got two monsters on the field. We can easily go into Unicorn, shuffle one. We can easily go into Little Knight, um, target a card on the field, banish it. And then we have the, when your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, target two face-up monsters on the field and banish them to the end phase. So if that's the better play, go for that because banishing cards is great but if you're bursting something like cash or something that likes banishing you're probably going to want to make the unicorn with these two and you know what unicorn needs a discard oh no discard the dm you search for free yeah. and then eternal soul can still summon it from the grave and can add rod back right so the discard here doesn't matter because we've already got the vanilla that we added so S it's just whatever's better whether it's sp or unicorn you make the call and you go for it right and you hard commit however we're going to be greedy and we're going to go for something a little spicy so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the Nightmare. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we target here. Let's just go for the IP. That's fine. Give it a bit of extra attack. We're going to put the Harp back into the Grave. So it's all ready to play again next turn. And now we're going to use the Harp effect. We could summon Brass Bombard or another Skeleton. I think Nightmare is probably the better option for follow-up next turn. It gives you kind of the option of everything. And now, of course, we've got three monsters on the field, one of them being a Link 2. So let's go ahead and use that IP Mascarena. Now, we are giving up the board protection that Dingarusu provides us with to do this. So you really have to kind of suss it out and see what's the best play. So now, if the opponent tries to summon any extenders from here, you have an absolutely amazing board wipe. So what I mean by that is, Topologic says... When a monster special summoned to a zone he controls, destroy all monsters in the main zone. So we're going to do that now. I know the opponent has nothing, but imagine they did. We flip that eternal soul. 
Summon out the Dark Magician to a zone that it points to. Then we're going to be able to activate Trigger Effect Met of Topologic Bomber to nuke all the monsters in the main zone. I'm pretty sure I fuck up this combo. Tributing the DM, so we're not even going to lose our own DM. Because we're going to recycle him for Rod, and Bomber is going to nuke the field. Obviously, there's nothing on the field, but you know it would. The opponent will probably finally pass. And then on this next turn, you have an immense amount of follow-up. So we've got Eternal Soul Summon DM, we've got Rod, we've got our top deck, which was Souls. If we check in the grave, we've got Nightmare Banish, which, that, that's all we have, but that, that's actually quite a bit. Like, that's probably going to be game. And we've got Babble Up too. So anyway, I thought this was a nifty little combo. Let me know what you think of it. And let's get on with the next one. All right, we're gonna go a little bit crazy this time. All right, we're going to go a little crazy this time, look at four cards. We're going to be starting with Apprentice probably once again and discarding that Nightmare because, you know, who doesn't love to do that? Let's use that Apprentice effect, grab ourselves a Vanilla Dark Magician because we all know how good a Vanilla in the hand can be. We're going to banish that Nightmare, which will let us get rid of the Harp. And then from here we can Harp and get rid of the Skeleton. Or summon the skeleton now. Alright, I'm just kind of thinking out loud with this combo, but I thought, why not do a 4 card one? Gonna start off the same, using a good old Apprentice, grabbing ourselves a copy of Vanilla Dark Magician. Who knows what we could use that for later. And we're gonna go for the Magician Souls next, which is a bit different. We're gonna send the girl, and we're going to summon the girl. Now, DMG and Apprentice can actually make a good old rank 6 over here called Naruto. It is a light doesn't really play into the rest of the deck's theme. But you know what? I think it's going to work out just fine. 
we're gonna do from here is going to Ebon Illusion Magician. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna grab all the Dark Magicians and just get them out of the deck right away. Put that DMG back into the grave for the effect and summon the Dark Magician from our deck. We have got all the bricks out of our deck already, which is pretty sensational. Now we can start doing Orcus Nightmare plays. I'm gonna target the Ebon. I'm going to send the harp to the grave. Harp effect can then activate and get us the skeleton. Now these two I've just realized could become Chaos Angel right about now. So we're going to move on to something else. Alright, I'm back. I'm going to normal that rod. This is just me cooking. Rod, of course, is going to be straight cooking. Soul here because we have a DMG in the grave and a DM on the field, and that's pretty. I had the D. Nice. I have um. I have acknowledged your pin. I've still got your message pin there if you're still here. Yo, Megalith DM. Well, yeah, Megalith Chaos Max is really good. Konami do be trolling us though. You're right, DM. Bro. Um, the D you want Orcus DM, but you also want Dark Sage Turbo. You know, Master Duel. We can we can do that. We can do both. But I got my food now. I'm ready to be a gamer again. Got them, got them noodles, you know? We were cooking. Snake Eyes DM, haven't thought about it yet. They do work with the Fire Kings really well. I don't know if they're gonna have any DM synergy, but I'm willing to look into it. This is now a mukbang channel. Yep. Deal with that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mike was muted. Thank you for that, yummy soul. They have a spell cost the labyrinth to pre summon a set of an interruption. Spell cost the lady. Oh, sorry, spell cost the lady. You mean Diabell Star? Because that, that is a good spell caster. That is a great spell caster. That mixed with DM will definitely be good. Well, I say good, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Diabell Star is awesome. Very cool. Oops, so the Bonds deck, we added the Bonds deck. Rename it. Dark Sage Turbo. Oh, she's part of Snake Eyes. Oh, the more you know. The more you know. All right, we have Dark Sage. We need Time Wizard, my favorite card. Oh man, I want to play this one. I want to play this one so bad. I mean, we could make it with... Uh, it needs an effect monster, so DM can't even... You can't even secrets with DM. But you could secrets with DMG. You know what? We'll play it. Fuck it. Yeah, my boy Time Wizard. There ain't no way we don't have a Hollow Time Wizard. Chat, let's, let's Gen 1. We're Gen and a Hollow Time Wizard. Let's go. Using all the rare materials out here. Wow, no hollow yet? Oh, we got one. We got one chat, big. Spent a little extra cards. Boom. Holo Time Wizard. What a sensational guy. A beautiful little boy.
We can run fusion deployment. We can run fusion deployment to summon time wizards because we're playing the fusion. I just thought of that. Yeah, time wizards are card that Yugi gifted Joey. Maybe our link one should be time wizard. <laughs> a red eyes and DM like link to link one. Join link one. We can't play instant fusion. Yeah, it sucks. Or terror. So silly. So silly. Time wizard is my board wipe. Let's go. We can actually summon it with secrets. Oh, the, the fusion card. Uh, the, yeah, we can actually summon this. Time wizard and relinquish suffer for the sins of tear. Yep, we sure do. It's so shit. Hey, well, let's cut expanded first of all. That's a great save. We need to cut one extra deck card, huh? Um, Anaconda can actually summon Time Wizard in this build. And Anaconda sending this summon Time Wizard, not ideal. Need to have a DM on the field as well, but it can do it. But then you're locked out of specials. Rough. You get Dark Sage, then which spell will you add to your hand? Uh, good point. We need good spells to add. That's a good point. We need some good spells, huh? Hmm. I guess tactics. Kind of have to play tactics then. Hmm. I don't think we play the the, the bonds package. For some good spells, let's look at the good spells. Change of heart, reborn, duster, foolish burial. Venture Ranger Branded Fusion. Yo. Yo. Add Branded Fusion? It's kind of good, no? Kind of epic. Hmm. Also, all one. Oh, yeah, good point. <clears throat> We're going to play the shiny ones, though. One token, one eternal. Hmm. Could play a little branded engine. I say a branded engine, a lit literal branded fusion. Is the fusion legal? No. Sadly, no. Man, it sucks that DM spells suck. <clears throat> Nothing kind of cool we could get in the DM archetype. We need to get spells from outside the archetype. Hmm. Um. Dark Sage adds a spell. Any spell. Oh, from deck to hand, yeah. I can play every good pod card. It's true. We can't play a single pod card. It's it's rough. Rough out here. I guess if we had a spell to go grab, it would be tactics, right? The XYZ spell, yo. Yami. Yami got the combo. Now we got the combo. Um, I don't have another deployment. I could craft one, but I'm not gonna. Let's cut something from the extra deck. Probably Anima. Love you, Anima. Love your work. However, time to go. What spell could we add that's cracked? You get it in the structure? It's in one of the structures? Mine, I've crafted. How to obtain. You are spitting facts. There is indeed a structure where you just get it. <clears throat> Not that bad either. 
Cyber Dragon's a very good core. Very, very solid core, actually. This is really nice. Wow. Wow. Really good core. Not gonna lie. 500 gems, confirm a fusion deployment? Yeah. Why not? Why the fuck not? Um, fusion deployment. Does make me want to play like branded fusion or something silly. I guess searching super poly from decks kind of kind of cracked. We can just play like two. No, no, not, not. What am I saying? It's not ever gonna resolve. We can search village. Yeah, one of village. Search village. Kind of good. We can search eye of Tomias, but then we don't have DM on the field because we tributed him. Go search Magicalized. Kind of good. We've used the Konami DM structure deck. We have it. We have it safe as a deck. It's rough out here, my guy. It's rough. I'm kind of down for the one of Magicalized. Or even Dragon's Mirror. Dragon's Mirror can summon Dragon Knight? Yeah, let's do Dragon's Mirror. Maybe we can make a combo where we actually use this. Actually, this just... This in Magician Souls is a two card Dragon Knight. Th yeah, this is a two card Dragon Knight. Why don't we just play Dragon's Mirror on fucking Master Duel? D who cares? Just play three. <laughs> I'm kind of down. I'm kind of down for the Dragon Mirror combo. Um, it is searchable. Sage. <laughs> yeah, it's unsearchable, but like, it's low key better than Magicalize. Like, Magicalize you can use with Anaconda, though. I wish you could use Dragon Mirror with Anaconda. I really do. I really do. We'd have a way to make Dragon Knight. Yeah, I wish it was a fusion card so bad. I love this card, and it's like, not a fusion card, but it's got fusion in the name. I've always wanted to use this card, it's so cool. The anime. Um, the list is good, we just need to cut some cards. Honestly. List is cracked. Need to make some room. I know everyone's gonna want me to cut these cards right here. These these five. But these are the only things that are gonna keep us in the fucking game. So, I don't know. Maybe Ash, honestly. I'll, Ash is good, but like... Eh. Cut Thrust. Good Cut Thrust. Yeah, actually, I don't mind cutting thrust. Yo, yo, feel free to flame me. I'm gonna cut the two ash. I'm gonna cut the two ash. Not like we're gonna combo in this deck anyway. If they max Seos, it's like, okay. Have some draws. Dark Sage Turbo. Can we pull the combo off? Alright, let's do it. I'm unpinning your comment, the D. Big sorry, but... Oh, I have Ignis open twice. I'm sure that's taxing my computer. Cut Dark Sage? No! He's too cracked. Just letting you guys know, this hand summons Dark Sage. We just need to survive. Dark Sage never appeared in the manga? Huh? Did Joey and Yugi not duel in the manga? In, in Duelist Kingdom? Is that real? There's no way. Dark Sage is not in the manga? Huh? I mean, there's no manga drawing of him when I search him. Holy crap. Wait, that kind of looks like him. Not quite. He's not in the manga? That doesn't really look like him, does it? No, that's, that's an Infernity God. He's not in the manga! What? So they just made him up in the show? What? Wild. 
actually kind of wild. Um. Mill DM. I'm gonna save the fusion deployment for Time Wizard next turn. Call me a troll, but I think it's busted. See, but we have Skill Drain. I need to get rid of the Skill Drain with Magician Souls. Just so I can, like, play again next turn. Ooh, that's really good. Damn, maybe Dark Sage is the future. Future of DM. Um, so we have a normal. Go get Rod. I guess we can put Fenrir back. Uh, probably uh, Illusion of Chaos, actually. Should have put back Illusion of Chaos, but that's fine. Got that engrave. We just need Circle to hit. It's pretty much just quick play Monster Reborn, the new card, yeah. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Wow. This is useless. Well, let's do this. We're gonna make Anaconda. I think we can pull off the Dark Sage thing. No cap. Send Fusion Deployment. Now our deck is shuffled. <gasps> summon Time Wizard. Now we're gonna summon DMG. And now, we draw two. Based. Very based. Alright, we set Skill Drain and that's our win con here. Let's set this too. Alright, I think we can Dark Sage our opponent next turn. I think we can. Oh, we don't have Eternal Soul. Shit. We needed Eternal Soul, huh? Alright, maybe, maybe we can't Dark Sage. Man, I just got my chopsticks all over my keyboard. That is disgusting. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Why am I such a grub? Alright. Now we're chilling. What? Oh, we're versing someone playing like a fucking starter deck, bro. What the hell? What are we actually versing? Yeah, we summon Sage from deck, that is correct. How have I made more mess? Holy shit. I know we don't have to search him. What? Is this guy playing Ben Kai or just Meeman? I think this guy's just playing some Yugi Boomer deck. This is really sad because we had a really good hand. We're just versing some Muppet. I'm just putting the win up now because I'm pretty sure we win. Um, I don't think this guy's played a day of Yu-Gi-Oh in his life, sadly. Poor guy. <sighs> All the equip spells. Magic Cylinder? Yo. Please, no. Alright, I guess we're gonna Dark Sage this poor guy. 
Oh, oh, the recursion. This man's not losing the deck out, that's for sure. What is up, eels? Yeah, we don't need to search Dark Sage though, we summon it from deck. No searching required, Yugi. Alright, let's do it. The Time Wizard combo, boys. Here we go. Summon Loza Dark Magician. We can do it! Please don't surrender. Please don't surrender. Banish this card. Damn, Kunai with Chain? This man's the real Joey Wheeler! Fusion Deployment. Time Wizard. Alright, we just gotta get the coin toss. Come on. Come on. Heads. Always heads. Let's go! Dark Sage from the deck. This is the first time anyone has summoned Dark Sage on Master Rule. Let's go! Search any spell in the game. I guess Super Poly gives us game. We get Super Poly. Mega based. Giga based, right? Yeah. This is game, right? I don't think it is. This is the. Oh wait, we have Super Poly, so it was always game. Oh well. Let's go finish him off. GG's, my guy. Wait, he could have Battle Fader. Could have Magic Karibo. Could have Dark Sage for game, but you know what? Maybe we can time it for game. Yeah, we can time wizard for game. This is cool. We fuse with Dark Sage. All that summoning just to get rid of him. For a dragon. Huh. Wait, I haven't attacked with Fenrir yet? Oh well. Time wizard for game! Time roulette, go! That was pretty base, but let's try to do it against a real player now, huh? Yo, what up, King Marty? I've been munching some 25 cent a packet ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, we got the king here. Oh, I have to pay 500. Rough. Chain energy, by the way. I've seen this card in Yonks. Oh, we, we drew the time wizard. We have the combo. Holy crap. Oh wait, not this yet, not this yet. We go Rod, 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 no, we need a normal. We need a normal Time Wizard. Okay. 
We got this. We got this. We're, we're doing some, some cool shit here today. Hero Stall Burn. Everyone's favorite deck. We doing some Dark Sage. Let's go. This is optimal DM board. Fenrir, DM, Time Wizard. This is 2024 Dark Magician. Summed up in one picture. Hails this time, trust? Alright, Sardine, I'm trusting in you. Come on. Sardine! No, man! Damn. Well, I guess we just summon Fenrir again. <laughs> Why is this card not once per turn? It's so silly. Look how much burn we've taken. Alright, let's get rid of chain energy before we die to it. <laughs> Damn it, it's always heads, fellas. Heads is the way. Alright, we'll get them next time. Mission fail. I'm back. Blaze Man's going to get Polly. Yeah, that was that's right, Royal Games. That was the part of the combo to summon Fenrir again. It's a loop. Oh, I just banished Blaze Man now. Man, Fenrir is a balanced card, guys. Like, I'm gonna sound like the biggest Yugi Boomer. I'm pretty sure everyone already knows my opinion on this, but Fenrir should be banned, in my opinion. It's just like the dumbest card that's ever been printed. It's like, I can't think of a scenario where it's bad. Like, unless you draw all three, it, and, and then it's kind of shit. But they've helped you with that problem by making it play at, at two. You know, you, you won't really brick on it. Here's 100% OG Kazos. Maybe it was a real hero's deck. I mean, we do only have 3k life points. Oh shit, you might be right, we might just still die. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. We still die here, huh? That roll. Absolute zero? This card leads the field. Cool. That's a good draw. That might keep us in the game. <clears throat> I got a card on the field, destroy it. Um, this keeps us in the game, I guess. Get rid of Neos. <laughs> I should have used Anaconda effect too. It's got ourselves really low. Alright, thank god we drew into Pizza Hut. No effect. Oh wait, we still die. Oh, can that attack everything? Why didn't I summon in defense mode? Any knowers? Any knowers why I didn't summon in defense mode? Damn. I got skill gapped. I can't believe I lost that game. That's crazy. Alright, Dark Sage, right here. Stop giving us first. Hmm. I guess we just take second. Yeah. The Trinity. Heroes Trinity. Oh, that's that's just gonna show up with Zelda stuff, right? Um, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, is it Vision Hero Trinity? I don't, I don't know, man. It is. No, that's the wrong one. Oh yeah, that's that's the Duel Links one. <laughs> Buster Blader. Yo. 
We can make Dark Paladin. Super Poly make Dark Paladin. This hand's kind of good. What the crap? Okay. 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 I think we were playing Dark Calvary and or Dark Paladin right about now. Let's go summon DM. Super Poly. Big. Got a lot of fusion cards in the hand, huh? Okay, cool. Pardon me. First place locals yesterday with DM. 5 0. Tay, what? Evolution Tay, what do you mean you went 5 0 with DM? That's incredible. What? Decklist right now. Or put in <clears throat> put in the DM Discord or whatever. What? There's there's no way. You're crazy. You're actually crazy with it. Holy shit. What variant did you play? He was playing Dark Sage. He was. True. Doobie coming back strong. I'll add circle. Buster Blader is on the field right now. I repeat, Buster Blader is on the field right now. This man is gaming. Really wish we had that Dark Paladin for the anime moment right here. Oh, nice. We even find DM in the hand. You working on a video? That's good. That's good. We're all excited to see. Very keen. Very keen. Man, I want to summon Dark Paladin. <laughs> I really want a Super Poly in a Dark Paladin. Why aren't we running it? Um, I guess this is just the point where I do this. Light and Earth, yeah, okay. Sadly, like, the DM in hand is probably not going to matter, because as much as I want to put DMG in the bin, I just can't. I just can't. Oh, it's not Runic DM either. Interesting. Has the V-Jump been revealed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's uploaded as a video on the channel now, though, my guy. Go check it out. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't even need Dark Sage for that one. It's pretty much, yeah, we can summarize it with its quick play monster reborn. <clears throat> it's pretty much what everybody expected. It, it is exactly that. I wonder why he FF'd. He's like, no, nope, DM too powerful. Like, nope, Dark Paladin, too good. That was the moment. That was the Dark Paladin moment. I'm, I'm sad. We're never gonna get it now. Yo, we opened the combo? We opened the combo. Alright, opponent needs to make board. Okay, okay. We need to play around a Fenrir. I believe we have the material to do it. Okay. I think I have to start playing a fusion deployment with that branded lady. What's her name again? Patricia. Oh, we're so good, Chad. We're so good. Dark, the Dark Sage deck is popping off. People don't even want to verse us, man. Just too clapped. Oh, there's the game system error. No found what no opponents found. Alrighty then. Put in Kelvin. <laughs> Just in case the Buster Blader matchup comes back. Damn, we lost the die roll. Winner will gain a rank. Dark Sage is winning us a rank. That's crazy. Crazy. All right, we're playing second here. Um, the hand... <clears throat> the hand has the combo. I'm just putting that out there. This combo is so easy to get. We have it like every freaking game. Submit it to Master Dual Meta as a diamond. Well, we're, we're back in plat now because of the new season. Oh man, he just de-shifted. Um, that doesn't affect us, does it? I think we can still do the cool combo. 
Oh man, here comes full power cash. There's a secret interaction yesterday with Droplet. That had me yelling 3000 IQ. I'm keen. I'm keen to see it. Yo, the D. This is the best suggestion you've had yet. This is crazy. This build's popping off, man. I'm gonna summon Fenrir and he's gonna be like Spider-Man mean, like... And then I'm just gonna start doing Dark Sage things and he's gonna be like, what the fuck? When does Fenrir get to do its banish on attack when I use a monster effect? So I think I summon this now. Oh no, but then I can't Fenrir. Yeah, no, no, I don't. No, I do not. Why do I want to lock myself out of Fenrir? Like, how silly. So this is, is it, this is Visa Starfrost apparently, right? Am I right? Yeah, well, literally he's got the arm and the pose. It's Visa Starfrost. Why does he get to be a cash guy, a tier guy, and every guy? Why can't DM have a cool retrain where he becomes a good card? <laughs> right. Watch out for Labyrinth. Labyrinth is cringe. Time Wizard is about to- yeah, this guy thinks he can lock out our zones. As long as we have two zones, we're chilling. We're chilling. Someone's back Fenrir. <sighs> Gotta play around Fenrir, man. We need to bait out Fenrir. I guess our Fenrir baits the Fenrir though, right? Our Fenrir is just the out to Fenrir. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's fine then. You can even banish this face down with Fenrir, right? This is like, if this would be destroyed by battle or card effect, detach a material. What about banish face down, dickhead? End phase. Oh shit! I think we win. Alright, it's time to beat Cash Tira's full power board. It's also a pretty good draw here too. Not a bad one at all. Yeah, he didn't make Rise Heart. Oh, because we're under Shifter. Oh wait, we can't use Magician Soul. Shit. Shit! I forgot we're under Shifter. We can't do the combo. Fuck. Oh well. We can still do other cool shit. Like this. Ba -ba -ba. I had Labyrinth too, brother. I pretty much hate every deck. <laughs> Name a deck I don't hate. You can use Fenrir. I can use Fenrir. Oh no, I can't. I have to wait till it resolves, don't I? It's on a new chain, isn't it? It's on a new chain. Damn. That sucks. Yeah, I can't. No, I'm silly. I am very silly. Oh well. Let's summon this guy. Oh, I could summon it again, you're right. Oh yeah, I trolled. No, I completely trolled there. There was no reason to do that. Yep, no, you're right. You're right, that was silly. Oh, he takes a card from my extra deck now. Not the Time Wizard. Come on, man. Don't take the Time Wizard. Man, Super Poly does nothing against Cash. It sucks. We need a Cash Super Poly target. We really do. Make this matchup actually worth fucking playing. So by Chaos Angel. Okay, yeah. Uh, we can always crash this in and summon Fenrir later, but then we lose the whole attack, and that's where you kind of get the banish from. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Oh, that banishes, yeah. Well, that'll do it. Oh, it targets and destroys, but we're under shifter, so it gets banished. Yeah, that sucks. Really does suck. Oh, chat, we're just going for Time Wizard. Am I right? Am I right? We're just going for Time Wizard. Alright, coin flip. Coin flip. Vote for the coin flip.
All right, there's a poll. Vote in the poll. In the meantime, yes, I will summon Fenrir. Heads always heads, I agree. It is always heads. Very base to take. Yo, there he is. Um, could get a rod here, right? We have a normal. I don't mind getting rod here. We don't have DM anywhere though, do we? No. No, we do not. Souls is just dead this turn. No, it's bad, man. I get rod. Fuck it. Um, I think we get rid of this too. It's not doing anything. Super Poly's not doing anything either. But we're gonna wipe their board. Just chill. Alright, this is the last, like, line of bait. In case he's got a hand trap. Ash, like, we need the Ash to come down here. Okay. There's no Ash. Can't confirm. Ash, non-existent. Big. We just had the Soul Serpent back. I'm 90% sure. Alright, we're gonna wipe their board. 50% heads. Chat, get voting. There's 10 votes. Come on, we need more votes. We need more votes. We're at the pivotal point. Just ordered an SP Little Knight. King. That card's busted. Look, we've got one last zone. One last zone. This guy's about to shit his pants. <laughs> we summoned the Time Wizard. All right, chat. We got to win this coin flip. I see heads at a 58. I'm closing the poll. <laughs> Let's do it. Heads. Come on! No! <laughs> oh. Can we get an F? Can we get an F in the chat? We could have made the Time Wizard Fusion. Holy shit, we could have made the Time Wizard Fusion. God damn it. That would have been worth it, to be honest. F. F's in the chat, boys. F's in the chat. We can't win them all. Can't win them all, Chief. Did he shift her again? There's no way. <laughs> Who is this fucking guy? Who is this fucking guy? He just shifters again. It's all because I banished the first shifter, to be honest. It's on me. That's fucking on me. I don't even know what gives us the win here. What do we have in our hands? We have Super Poly. We have Illusion of Chaos in here. Not a lot we can do. Not a lot we can do. I guess Rod. I, I don't fucking know. It, it's kind of on me though. I, I banished his fucking first ship though, so it's like, well, I cop Bell. We scoop? Hell no. We never lose. Why do these cards get to be different attributes, man? That shit is so cringe. Alright, we're dead now. <laughs> Alright, we scoop now. We scoop now. But you know what? If that time wizard was right, I'm not saying we would have won, but he should scoop out of pure respect if that time wizard was right. As an honorable opponent, you know, he should have scooped it up. Oh, it's so cute. Everyone's sending me the... Like all, all my all my friends are sending me, like, messages like, Hey, did you see the, the, the card effect got revealed? It's like... <sighs> crying in bed right now. Crying in bed right But we're playing second. We have Super Poly in the hand. No maxi for the 10 Eva shooter though. This looks like it's Sword Soul then. Yep, there's the long Guan. My god.
Is there a super poly target for Sword Soul? Um, no. It's not. It's a little bit shit. There used to be one when you burst Infernoble. There was a really good one when you burst Infernoble. Well, that, this is not Infernoble. That's not the optimal end board. What went wrong? What went wrong here, mate? This is fucking shit. He didn't have no Yi. Wait, all he's got is a negate and a token. This is banished, you summon a token. Huh? Huh? Oh, we have the combo. Chat, we have the combo. Holy shit. Wait, we circle banish this and we just win. Holy crap. Dark Magician? Truly the best deck here. Go ahead, ash it, buddy. Ash it, there's, there's, just do it. Wait, what? What's he doing? Huh? Oh, is he gonna like summon the little bunny rabbit trooper from hand and sink off turn or something? Or is he just clicking buttons? Yo, Dark Sage. It's foreshadowing how we're gonna win. I want Max either. I don't think this guy's... Yeah, I don't think this guy's ever played this game. I don't think this guy knows what he's doing, guys. I think he's just net decked Sword Soul and he's like... Buttons. But you know what? It's a victory royale for us. He's gotta learn. No! 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 I clicked the wrong one! Why can't I go back? Why can't I go back? I clicked the wrong one! Take me back! I fucked it. I fucked it, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to using fusion deployment to summon DM cards. Holy crap. I'm sorry. I ruined this would have been such a good video. This would have been such a good clip. <sighs> oh well. I think we actually banished the Vishuda. What can we super poly? Nothing. They all why are they all different attributes too? Holy shit, man. I guess I can super poly the shooter, but it doesn't it's still got its graveyard effect then. I don't know, I'm gonna manage this. Probably regret it later. I'm sorry guys, I'm freaking trash. Alright. <clears throat> Let us mill, Dark Magician Girl. Draw time wizard like a Chad? True? True? Oh wait, no, I already did that the wrong way around too. <laughs> Sorry, King Marty. I'm going for maximum damage. Why did I get rid of the one card I could have super polyed? The different attributes lose the Gozen, yeah. Yeah, they sure do. We can make Dragon Knight in the battle phase. It's not very good, but we can. So I should attack with this and attack with this and then go on a Dragon Knight? I think. That powers up DMG as well. Let's try it. Bonk. Bonk. Is this lethal? This looks like lethal. I think it's lethal, chat. I think this is lethal. No, we make Dragon Knight because it pops, it circle banishes. Oh, we've already circle banished. What am I saying? No, you're right. We do make starving venom then. I'm silly. I'm a silly sausage. But we do use these two. And then DMG gets a power boost. Because we use the um, big DM in graveyard based effect. Isn't starving venom a cool guy? Punch the guy. DMG animation for game. Cop the L, bozo. What? What does he have? Oh. <laughs> you lose, idiot. Nice net deck. He's like, caught in hand shining. Alright, well, we didn't do the cool time wizard thing. But we sure did pick up the victory royale. Man, why is this the best version of DM? Like, whenever we mix DM with shit, it gets bricky. This is like pure DM. And you just sometimes see fusion deployment. I was like, it's cool. Are we really gonna promote 
Are we really? I'm going second. Are we really gonna promote? Yeah, it was probably was it probably was a bot, but much like in Fortnite, I'm gonna take that victory royale regardless. <laughs> Make Dark Magicians crash into the synchro, resummon DM and DMG for max damage. Yes. That that also worked. That also worked. Dark Sage to Master One. True. New video. New video series. Can we hit Master with Dark Sage? I mean, think about it. Adds any spell in the game. That's busted. It's crack spells in Yu-Gi-Oh. So Jive to Myas. Busted. Oh. Oh, Chad. This hand does it. How do we open it every game? We open it every game if I don't mess it up. I mean, there's no monsters to wipe. Give it its lab, isn't it? It's fucking lab. God damn it. Why aren't we playing Sorcerer? Nah, I'm kidding. At least Super Poly is kind of good here. Is it stun or is it lab? You be the judge. Hmm. Part of the cards guide me. Let's see if he's gonna flip anything up from salvation. Salvation baiting. Let's go. Oh yeah, sorcerer is so freaking cool. I just wish it was a DM card also. <laughs> Can you imagine you open Rod Soul's Illusion of Chaos? You can go get Sorcerer off Illusion of Chaos. That would be good. Still not great, but it would be good. Do normal rod, add bonds, summon DM off souls, bonds on the target DM, summon DMG, Illusion of Chaos gets you the source, and then source tributes two to summon itself. Fucking, that would be amazing. Three card combo, but like it would, it would be fine for DM to say no trap cards. We can dream. We can dream. Have you seen DMG get impermed? Man's like, I'm not taking the 300 extra. No, I won't do it. Um, we can make Dragon Knight here, right? We can. We can make Dragon Knight here. We've got the lock. Mill Dark Magician. Dark Sage Search Duster? True! Why aren't we playing Duster chat? God damn it. I summoned the Dark Magician. It's a bit sad we don't have Soul Servant here, because we've got ways to big guys. Stom in your freaking labs, please! My Time Wizard needs something to wipe its ass with. Um, we'll do this, because it's funny. If any of these are now spells, they're just off. Ah, shit. What was that? Guardian Slime. Okay. We're cooking. Oh, yeah. DMG boost in Rush Duel is 500. Why is the DMG attack boost in Rush Duel 500? Why didn't they make it 500 in TCG as well? Like, it's an errata no one would care about. We'd be like, cool. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't change a lot, but it would be nice. He gets to add a raw card. It's kind of based. We're doing Merrick right now, chat. It makes sense, it's got the God board. It all checks out, huh? True Sun God cards, actually, alright. Someone got to, like, Master 2 with Ra, by the way. Just saying, Ra's better than DM, apparently. Kinda, kinda wild, no? He's playing Egyptian God, yeah, I guess. Oh, if I summon this, then I can't fusion deployment. Hmm. Well, I think it's more important I establish Dragon Knight. Oh, Eternal Soul's gone. What am I doing? What am I doing? There's no Dragon Knight. Like, the Dragon Knight combo doesn't matter anymore. Ah, oh, his water. That sucks. Wait, that's just game. We have game on board. I guess we go to the battle phase and try to game then. 
Maybe it's time to bring back the DM Gods deck. Yo. Slifer DM or Obelisk DM. We, we climbed so high with Obelisk DM. This is a water. Maybe we can super poly when he summons another like Guardian Slime or another water. Kinda down to wait. Hmm. We haven't used Fusion Deployment. We could now do the Access Code Climb. How many spells in the grave? There's enough spells in the grave for Access Code Climb. Okay. Okay. Give us another pop, but we don't really need it right now. Slifer DM. It's based. Wait, I didn't check if he has a Dark in Grave. Oh, why am I like this? I checked for spells for Selene, but I didn't check for Dark in the Grave. Whoops. Oh well. Super Poly carries. Super Poly carries every time, right? Right? Dark Magician plus Fiend Fusion. Summon Skull Magician. What's Fiend Fusion? Is that an actual card? It's not, is it? What do you mean like the skull, the summon skull one? Oh, you're just saying you want to summon skull Dark Magician Fusion? Yeah, I, I would want that too. H Enchant adds raw. Okay, and you can tribute one monster in, in addition to your normals. Okay. Add a raw or a card that mentions it. And then, there's a really good effect here. Once per turn during main phase. Wait. Yep. And another attack. Then there's special summoned. Why is it worded so weird? Deck your hand. Accept the true summon god Ra. Accept the winged dragon of Ra. And another attack the turn they are summoned. What, why is this worded so fucking shit? Add a Ra card or a card that mentions it from deck to hand. Accept. Okay, there it is. Monsters except Winged Dragon and Rao cannot attack with a turn they are summoned. Special summon. He's going for game? Man, I hope Super Poly can save us now. He discards Ra to get the Reborn. And special Ra ignoring the summoning conditions. Okay. Send this face up card to the grave. I missed the rest of that. And blah, blah, blah. You can send this face up card to the grave, special summon a raw from your grave with reborn. In your... Okay, it's just doing the thing. And then face the turns, if it's activated, you must send raw. Okay, okay. Yo, look at that animation! Beautiful. I don't know the out here. Summon a second raw, please. Yo, Link 1, based. Uh oh, he has 3k attack. Why can't I super poly? Huh? What is my super poly target here? Huh? Mud Dragon? He wants it with the same attribute but different types, no? You also with the same type and attribute but different names. Nope. Two darks. A fusion. Oh, a fusion and a dark. A fusion and a dark. Let's go. All right, we win. I think we win. Dragos the belly up. Gets us out. Let's fucking go. And now we put a counter on Ra. We say nope. No raw effects, please. You can send this card to the field to the grave. All wand, one phoenix mode. From your deck to the grave. Send a raw from your monster zone to the graveyard. So he's summoning phoenix? I think he's summoning the Phoenix mode. I'll just wait. I'll wait till he tries to use an effect. Yeah, I think he's going for Phoenix mode. Can we target Phoenix mode? 
Cards and effects can be activated in response to this card's activation. Cards unaffected by other card effects. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You can pay a thousand Santa Monster from the field to the grave. Okay. But he doesn't kill us. Which is big. I mean, I guess we try. I know he's unaffected, but I mean, we may as well try. Are we actually dead? How does he kill us, though? Does it double its attack? And then he summons Sphere Mode. I'm pretty sure we live, but yeah, man, we need a good top deck, don't we? Mm, Rod top deck is kind of nice. What else? Dude, we're gonna need to cheat like Yugi, that's a fact. We live, but like, not really. We... <sighs> what gets us out here? Fenrir. Fenrir gets us out here. Sphere mode. Sphere mode? <gasps> Fenrir! 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 I called it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. They call me Fenrir Gamer, Fenrir Gamer. We can't target the orb, but Fenrir doesn't give a shit. Let's go. The best Dark Magician card. Dark Magician Fenrir. See what I mean? Dark Magician cards don't give a shit. Wait, we still lose? <gasps> oh shit! Oh, because it targets. I forgot Fenrir targets. Whoopsies. He summons Ra and becomes 5-5. Tribute this card. Don't we just banish the Ra? It's a pure DM card, true. You could, but he summons Ra and then we just banish it, no? Oh, he can't attack because of Sun God as well. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't attack because of Sun God. I mean, we can't target for attacks anyway, but yeah, yes, we also can't attack all because of all. Don't yeah, don't we just banish the Ra that he summons here and we just win? Pretty sure. Unless he has another way to it. Surely they only play one Ra though. Win Ra. Does summon Ra from anywhere? Special Ra from hand or deck. Well, I guess he plays more than one, because here it comes. From hand, please? From hand? That would be really funny. Sends for Phoenix again? I don't think he gets time. I don't think he gets time for Phoenix, buddy. He just used the monster effect. It's Fenrir time, bitch. Bye bye bye. Have a good time. What is this summon? Does this trigger Phoenix? Man, I fucking hope not. If Ra is sent from field to grave. Field to grave. Field to banish. Field to banish doesn't count as field to grave. Get fucked. If the scoop is incoming. No, he's just passing. Well, that's rude. He wants me to finish him off. Fusion deployment, summon time wizard, kill ourselves with the burn. That would be giga based. Man, this doesn't even give us game. Doesn't even give us game. <sighs> this is rough. The DM can't even fucking game this man. DM was deck. I'm wizard for game. It won't even be for game. I'm so scared. I'm gonna summon her in defense mode. Am I being a little bitch? Yes. Absolutely. Now we go attack mode. Fuck it. We ain't backing out. We ain't backing out now. Oh, we can't attack the turn it's summoned because of this. Oh, wait, no, we get rid of it. We get rid of it. Now GMG can attack. Can she? Please? Response? Magic Kariba? Guardian Slime. Special this card from your hand. Man, I wish I banished this instead. Click effect makes this card gain defense equal to the opponent's monster's attack. And damage calculating. This card is sent from hand or field to the grave. Add a spell trap that lists the thing out. Okay. Uh, let's go to phase two then. Yeah. Do I think of Runic DM? It's probably one of the better versions of DM. Probably, because the monster acts like Dragon Knight. Runic is an indeed gross, but I still think it's probably one of the better DMs. 
It's like Cash Deer. It's like better DM, worse Runic. Better cat, uh, better DM, worse Cash. Which is kind of always the case, let's be real. I don't think DM's ever truly had a synergy where you haven't just felt like you're playing a worse version of that deck. And that's depressing. Because you always see like, like uh, Phantom Knights mixed with some other archetype, or like, you know, Orcus mixed with Sky Strike Off. This thing mixed with this thing, and it works great. And like, DM's never found like that beautiful ma uh, match where it's just nice. Really grim. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Your opponent's monsters cannot target this for attacks. Oh, no, your opponent's monsters cannot target for attacks. Your opponent cannot target with card effects any monsters you control except it. Okay, cool. Tri Brigade? What does Tri Brigade do with DM? Oh shit, we can't even Fenrir now. Shit! Why did we use Jujun Deployment? It was really dumb. Well, we need another good top deck because we cocked ourselves out. Okay. Okay. Well, we can draw two with this. It's kind of good. He doesn't have Ash. Oh, tr sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tri does go with a lot of decks. Exactly. Good, good reference. What do we do here? We out our board. We out our own board. Probably the best thing to do. Oh wait, I got something. I got something. I'm cooking. I'm cooking right now. Let's go. Oh, Maxi. Cool. Probably gonna put that Maxi back. Actually, no, we should keep it. Uh, we haven't souls this time. We'll grab souls. I'll put this back. Probably put Illusion of Chaos back, actually. Chaos Angel, yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. You already know. I was actually gonna make Celine, but that also works. Is it better to make Chaos Angel? I think Celine's better. What's this guy's deal? I'm destroyed by battle. That's it. The lean access code kind of just wipes everything, right? Gives us a really big guy. Access is game? I, it just misses game. It just misses game. Is Chaos Angel game? I think Chaos Angel's game, actually. We'll go for Chaos Angel. It looks more like game. We don't know what that set card is, though. It's probably another... Reflex line thing in the jig, but that's all right. Okay, no reflex line. Good. Anaconda, one I Alright, that back row is a bluff. We just win. Oh, it looks like it's useless. Yes! We beat Winged Dragon of Raw. Which shouldn't sound like something that's difficult to do, but for this deck, it is Dark Sage best deck, apparently. To be on your monitor playing, but you'll still be here. Legend, legend. Thanks for tuning in, my man. Very keen to see that list. Yeah, you keep working on that video, get that list out. We're all keen to see it, man. Do not stress. You can just listen to the sounds of us gaming. Dark Sage in platform, officially the best DM build. We've opened up some very nice going second cards. This is what you want to see going second. Maxi, Fenrir, Super Poly. Like, and then Prep and Rod. It's like Engine and Interruptions. It's incredible. It's honestly incredible. Sometimes the game just loves you. Huh. Real nice. Real fucking nice. Um... You reveal one other in your hand, especially some of the other revealed one. Yeah, we'll just wait. We don't have to mix it. Yeah, we'll wait. Run up even higher. Holy shit. Alright. 
Here we go. Maxim. Can we play the Dark World boss monster? Ooh, maybe. Might have to have a look. Alright, fuck yeah. Will you just win that one because they, yes, they didn't have a way to play around Maxi? I, I don't know. Sometimes that's all it takes, Yugi. Damn, we opened Dark Sage, but we do have Illusion of Chaos. We'll put him back. Ew, Tier Elements! Everybody cringe, it's Tier Element. We do have Super Poly, which might be useful here. Since they do have a lot of fusions, huh? Alright, oh, what was that card we were talking about in the chat? The Dark World Boss Monster. Go have a look. You mean the new Dark World boss monster or like the big grapha? Yeah, the big grapha. Okay. Um. Did I draw Max C for turn? Yeah, I did. I was like, why didn't I Max C? I drew it for turn. Well, I can super poly his board straight away. But then this comes back, right? A card effect special summon this card. Surely fusion summoning is not a fucking card effect, but I bet it is. I bet it fucking is. Um, cash Tira as well, Cash and Tia together, two cancers, Cash Tier element. Thank you boys, I'll have a look at it very shortly. Let's see what I can bait out here. I know I have fusion deployment, but I want to go for this Dark Sage combo. I really don't give a shit. Screw regular DM combos. We're going for the cool based shit. He can negate this at any point is the issue with, with this guy. So, not really much I can do about that though. Okay, he's not going to negate it. Cool. Someone turn him up from your hand off. He's up really great. <sighs> Chat, we need this to work. Can't we summon Dragus to Pelia? Yes, we can. We absolutely can. Why didn't I do that? I'm very silly. Especially now. <laughs> Especially now that uh, this just got negated. Goddamn. 
I forgot we were playing that. I always forget we're playing it, but we are playing Stragus to Okay. Then top two cards of grave to grave. Uh, deck to grave. Ghost spell and one of the field spells, the Scarecrow field spell. Okay. Oh, we can still link summon because we're not locked into any. But there's not a lot going on here. One fusion and a dark monster. Okay, so. No, we couldn't make Stapelia. I thought it was an effect monster. No, it's a dark monster, so we couldn't make Stapelia. Not if we wanted to do the Time Wizard thing. I mean, we could have just summoned normal Time Wizard, so... Gone for the effect without trying to summon Dark Sage, but we want Dark Sage, right? We do be wanting the Dark Sage. Don't really know... Oh, welcome to the DM Royals, Blue Zombie. Blue Zomble? Blue Zomble. Hmm. Good point on his turn. Yeah, I think I just save it. I don't know. I feel like we're kind of screwed here. Deck's so crazy now. I'm just going to battle. I should have gone to battle earlier. Well, make him think I have the evenly matched. I don't know, I'm just passing on DM Village. Super Polly. <sighs> For fuck's sake, man. Now we can't Super Polly. Now we're locked out of Super Polly. <laughs> fuck, dude. I don't know what to say. Why don't they just nuke this damn deck, man? Fuck it off. Bring back Terraforming and Instant Fusion and fuck this deck off, man. This deck is so cringe. It and Cash together as well. Like, I can't think of a worse cancel. I imagine if I could flip the Super Poly I had set. Uh, we have Max C. He's gonna have the counter. Wait, doesn't this negate Max C? No, it doesn't. Okay, he gets a tier element in the hand. He gets another tier element in the hand. Bro, what is this shit? I would call your control, shuffle into the deck. Okay, okay. Yep. Put the DM, didn't even put him in our grave. Cool, cool, cool. Has his normal summon now. Based. Max C. I think there's quite a lot of problematic decks. But you know, that's always going to be the case when we're playing DM, huh? <laughs> we'll find ways to win. There's just there's going to be unwinnable games and unwinnable matchups, but we will find ways to win. I think maybe we play this with Kartishi as an engine. Maybe go back to the branded DM shenanigans. This card is kind of insane. Kind of insane, right? It helps us do DM things. Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe we play some, uh, some Cartesia? She's kind of cracked. I think she helps us with Dragon Knight things too. Uh, I think we've had some fun with Dark Sage Turbo, but I've decided it's time to get serious. We're gonna change decks. We're gonna go to no. We're gonna go to branded DM. But man, I haven't played this list in a long, long, long time. So we're gonna have to do some editing. Um. Tried it. It's not worth it. I'm willing to give it a go. Dark Sage was big brain. Thank you to the D for the suggestion. 
Our TCA is just cracked. Is she an ultra rare? Yeah, we'll craft one. Ah, oh, we have to craft the other guy too. And we're one, we're one gem short. So I guess we're finding an ultra rare to dust. Oh, well, Fenrir is about to go to one, right? In like three days. Three days, Fenrir goes to one. You know what? Sprite Blue is just hanging here. Well, no, yeah, just mantle. That's the one I want. Ooh, pardon me. Um. All right, back to Cartesia. Gen one. I'm already doing it, Royal Games. I'm doing it. Um, we need to play Dark Magician Girl. Oop, and one DM. That's the good part. We get to play one DM. Wait for the ban, more gems. It's all right. It's cool. Uh, maybe just one circle. And fusion. Cut the upstart. We're probably going to need that space. Yeah, I don't mind the brand of build. I'm pretty keen to give it a shot. Got the cold buys and stuff. What do we need to cut here? Got a lot of extra deck fusions. I do have two Rhino Heart, that's a good point. I do indeed have two Rhino Heart. And other tier cards. Oh yeah, don't dismantle Penry yet. Yeah, we can go to one prep. That's extra X space, that's a problem too though. Hmm. This can make any fusion, right? It's the level 8 or higher fusion. This can help make Dragon Knight can't use itself but if you had the other pieces you could make dragon Knight. hmm interesting yeah we need deployment oh yeah thank you that's what we're missing i think we just yolo balls to the wall three fusion deployment fuck it Looks like we have to cut some of the uh, the links. It might be the access code. It, I think it has to be the access code stuff. Unfortunately. Really hate to say it, but look at how fusion heavy we're going. I think it might be worth it to just keep like Anaconda, keep Artemis, and keep I'm Doc, and cut the rest. We do need to control the end. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm going to cut these for now, and we'll see if we can come back to them. I don't mind Nadir, but um, the way we're going, there would be no such Nadir. Like we don't have the extra deck room for one. Um, because I would like to play Predator Plant. Predator Plant, man, I can't type this one, and then it gives us like one more fusion spot kind of thing. The deer and branded's not that bad, I, I don't think. Really focusing heavy on the fusion here. Calvary? I don't know if we want Calvary. He's gonna be fighting for his spot, let's just say that. Two rod, two Cartesia. Um. Um, oh, I'm kind of fighting with the one. Ooh. We'll see how I go. Three Albaz? What? Why three Albaz? I need the Golden Boy. Who's the Golden Boy? What am I missing? They're on the card that can shot off fusion? Yeah, I mean, they they do that. Blue Boro Thrust. Um, right, golden in the search. Yo, you mean I need Bamboo Sword? You're right, put it in. We need Eldritch? Put it in. We need Gold Ladybug? Yeah, put it in. Uh, what gold card are you referring to? Glive? We need to add Glive so we can add Strongberg. Yo, Strongberg and Curse Eldland look nearly the same, hey? Based. <laughs> Needs to go second. Someone has an extra egg monster on the field. Albaz. I still don't think Albaz is a three. 
I think it's a two, if anything. It's not a three. Oh, yes, the synchro. Thank you. Peter. Peter. It's not called Peter, though. Like, pay, pay to her. You know what? We just type in uh, her name. Car TCR. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, it's a bestial. There it is. Shit. All right, we're gonna have to go dust the tier cards. I'm sorry to the gamer who wanted me to play the M tier. We are now dismantling the M tier. It is all gone. Um, this Peter, that's right. This Peter. I can't spell. This Peter. We also need bestials in general. So let's add some of them. A one and a two. That would be the best two. We'll see if we can fit in Ball Drake. But we might not be able to. We'll see. Let's go have a look. We have some free pulls. Let's go and run them. Because we just dusted a bunch of tier cards too. All right, dead pack. That's not him, huh? That's definitely the card you need. But okay, definitely the card you use with Grand Goal or whatever his name is. Oh, this is a dead pack too. Oh my god, SR. Cool. That's a free. It was a Dark Lord link too. Dark Lord. Thank you. Oh, that's the wrong button. Nice. Okay. Maybe we can cut a fusion deployment and cut a soul servant. We could cut Tamias. It's a level six tuna synchro monster. Golden something. Well, I don't even know what this card is. Is his name actually golden? Because like nothing's coming up. But... Oh, this. The fuck is this? Um, this card's actually not that bad, but how do we summon it if I'm fusion to playing an out Cartesia, right? Also, isn't she a level four? So what, normal maxi, normal Cartesia? The it just won't come up ever, right? I don't know. I don't think it'll ever come up. You send it. Oh, because when it's sent to the grave, you target a face up card, you control controls, turn it there. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we need to make room for this too. We need to make room for this too. Okay. Because he sends, not he sends, uh, this guy sends, right? And a Dogmatica or a Despia. Wait, what? How do we send it? I thought we sent it off this. Oh, it is. We do. We do send it off this. I was just going to send DMG. <laughs> I was straight up just going to send DMG from Deck to Grave. Um, but I guess sending an interruption is better. We'll play without it, but that's definitely a good tech. And it is an SR, like, I can craft it. Not too shabby. It's not too shabby at all. I was going to use the DM part of that, though, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it cut to Myers. How are you making this Peter though? You don't. Don't you summon it for free? Most people just... Don't you just summon it for free off this dickhead? I gave a monster a special summon by your opponent. Banish this card from grave. Special... This guy. No? A troller? Dogmatic or Despia? Oh wait, shit. Wait a second. 
He's not either of those. What the fuck? I swear people always use this. Oh, and you have to use dragons. Huh? I'm stupid. One tuner and one non-dragon tuner. Yeah, no, you're right. I don't actually have a way. Lulu, did I make the wrong synchro? Oh, fuck. I made the wrong one. <laughs> fuck. Level 4 tuner, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I can actually make this one. Plus summon it because it's a despian. If a card leaves the extra deck, make all monsters you currently troll gain 500 permanent. Okay. You can negate the effects of one face up. And until the end of the turn. During the end phase, if this card is in the grave because we'll send it this turn, special a light spell cost from hand or deck. Wow. We can't fucking do that. Attack equal towards defense. Or is that you? It's you. Okay. Whoops. I crafted the wrong you are. That is rough. Um, Quem? We need Quem? What do people play then? As the send for this. You special or dogmatic or desperate. What do people normally play? As the dogmatica slash despia summon. One Quem and one... I know Quem does cool stuff. I need to reread her. She's a dog and a despia. Okay, good start. Normal or special, send a fallen on Alba as a card that mentions it. Card. So card leaves the extra deck. I got Alba as a monster that mentions it. Special. Hmm. Marty says to play this, the big boy during the main phase, quick effect target, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, anything basically in the grave, banish it. Or special to your field, nice, nice. Uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage. Super equal to the original attack or defense, whichever is higher. Yep, okay. Okay. At this point, it isn't DM anymore. I mean, I think you're wrong. Like, we have one Albaz. One Cartesia, this deals, which we were playing anyway, and one branded fusion. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> How is it not DM? There's like three cards in here that are not DM. If I took out branded fusion, look, I'll, I'll fucking do it. I'll take out these three cards. Tell me that's not DM. Look at that core and tell me that's not DM. <laughs> like, what a stupid comment, man. Like three fucking main deck Albaz cards, bro. People are fucking wild about puri purity in fucking card games, huh? Um, where the fuck's Albaz? There. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's not Dark Magician anymore. It's got hand traps in it. Okay, buddy. Would you call this branded Dark Magician or Dark Magician branded? Because going off the three cards in my main that are branded, I'd say it's Dark Magician branded. Oh, you meant if I started to add other stuff. Yeah, it'd still be like five colors, but yeah. Holy shit, this hand fucking sucks. <laughs> Oh, why do we do this? <laughs> what is this shit? <sighs> Normal Alabaz, link it away, bestial. I don't have a link away for it, by the way. I'm just thinking out loud. Normal Alabaz, link it away if there was a dragon link, one of my extra deck. Bestial, banish Alabaz, summon it. Go on Anaconda, but I've used my Alabaz, so I can't bring it fusion. Dodo, see? Dodo. Dodo's here too. Fuck yeah. Dodo knows. Holy shit, this man just goes normal summon Apple Dragon. Fucking Applin from Pokemon. Kaiju Slumber. Fuck you. Get out of here. The MILF man. What is up, MILFY? Oh, the set one pass. You love to fucking see it. Ow! A hundred! He gets a search next turn though, that sucks. Good to see the boys in the chat though. Matchy was here earlier too, but he left. Why didn't I set this? What the fuck am I doing? Why did I not set Soul Servant? Holy shit, I was so sad at the fucking hand. 
It's a dragon! One dark monster and Albaz. One light monster and Albaz. No confusion. Using Handfield Grave. That works. Let's go. It's not optimal, but it sure is something. Um. This. Apple. Maxi, fuck you. Why can't I beast your Maxi? Why am I playing like Albalenius, the big, the big Chungus dragon? Can this one attack the turn of fusion summons? It's important for its positioning. Can this card is fusion summon. Yeah, you can fusion summon. Cool. Yeah, this one can attack. I'm pretty sure. Maxi Gaming. Peak Yu-Gi-Oh! Is Maxi Gaming. What can we summon here? I don't know what the fuck this summons, but let's find out. I guess we can use it and we can make, um, Mirror Jade, right? Oh, fuck you. You're a twat. Stick that imperm up your actual rectum. At least we have the dark magic circle. Circle needs to hit eternal soul. No, DM. You can OTK. We can. We can? Not anymore. Okay. We still can put a lot of damage out. Chimp gaming. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, we can soul serve and go get illusion of chaos. Kind of down. Let's do that. I didn't put it in the imperm column. Let's go. It's the little victories that, that matter, you know? Okay. Get this. No ash. No ash, please. Big. We can put Eternal Soul away because fuck, it's useless. And grab. Kind of down to grab souls. Are we locked into fusion right now? One spell in grave. I got no spells in grave. I don't think we are. <gasps> you sub. Preston Root subscribes to the channel. Thank you, Preston Roots. You're a Chad. None of these give us game. I've only got Anaconda as a link anyway. I don't, I don't have the access code line. I'm stupid. Not in this build. What's better, damage or a card? I think we go for a card, because we're not killing them. Get a card. I can put Illusion of Chaos away. Get Circle. You know what? Let's just pray. I've already normaled. What am I doing? Fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. I should have got souls. Oh well. You banish this card from your grave. Get the thing. Okay. No. Fuck you, Apple Man. Oh shit. I forgot we're under that dog shit too. Well, I've just misplayed all around. I kept this for some reason. I added a card I can't use. My lord. They did indeed reveal the new card. Uh, there is a video on it on the channel. I should just pin that as a comment, shouldn't I? Um, oh, let me pass turn first. Go to main two. I don't even think I set this. I'll set it, fuck it. Make him scared. Um, Yeah, I should have done souls. It's okay, C4. It's on me. Mind control. Okay. Well, he is playing like a kaiju engine. So now he goes, banishes slumber, gets a kaiju. Oh, that's even better. Holy shit. He's got the fucking bestial cards too. I'm bumping my own chat so I can pin. I can't pin. Why can't I pin my own comments anymore, chat? 
Does anyone know? I used to be able to pin my own comments in the chat. Now I can't. Huh? Why would that even be? Like, that doesn't make sense at all to me. Yeah, I can't pin my own comments no more. I thought maybe before it was because I posted a link. I can't pin my comments at all. Can someone else say <laughs> what I said? The, the Monster Reborn Effect video is live. It should just be a tab. I think we die. I think we die now. Looking rough. <laughs> they gave us a hint. They gave us a hint that the card would be bad because it had DM in the art. Yo, true. That's a base comment. Based comment. I'm pinning this comment, holy shit. Oh yeah, we're just like a hundred a hundred ways dead here, I'm pretty sure. First, first DM card of 2024 is not a DM card. That truly describes how we're all feeling right now. Okay, we've lost Eternal Soul now too. There's a Kaiju. Where did this comment go? It was so good. There it is. I'm pinning it. I've never seen this guy comment on my channel before, but wow, what a good fucking comment. His channel is Admalda Zobi. What a king. Look, let's let's have a gaze at this comment together. Just <laughs> It gave us a hint that the card won't be good by adding DM to the artwork. <laughs> based. Hella based comment. Now that I read it out loud, it's not that funny, but it's funny to me. I liked it. Oh, yo, he's got Astral Karibo. That's cool as hell. Oh, he's hitting us with the, the Numeron Dragon OTK. I'm going to let him do it. Let him do it. He's earned it. I'll put the loss up. Here we go. This thing's going to be huge. we got to give him the big big number. There you go. 70k. Take it, buddy. You deserve it. You have a Brandon DM list? It's not running Cartesia. Oh, yeah. That's cool, though. He didn't imperm, he could have fusioned some in the other fusion. Mirror Jade is exactly AK. Yeah, with the Bestial. Magician Souls would have been nice. Would have been nice. I think that was just a shit hand. I think we run it again though. I also didn't set the Soul Servant. So like, honestly, I misplayed the shit hand as well. Because we could have actually played on that next turn if I'd set the Soul Servant. That was really dumb by me. I was just so mad at the hand that I forgot. I was, my vision was clouded. My judgment was clouded by my stupid emotions, see? gonna be rational okay this hand's much better there's not really any branded but it's a good hand yo big thank to x a killer you're a legend what a legend thank you for the donation man very very kind absolutely love the support don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to any new watchers out there. And what would Yugi say? We put three, three branded cards in. Oh, he gets Black Whirlwind? Kinda based. Reversing Blackwing Bestial? Kinda sick. Hey Yugs, I put three branded cards in your Dark Magician deck. Exakila super shattered two dollars and sixteen cents. Big thank king. Every donation is based. It, it's probably time we have another DM twenty, guys. What do you think? I think Exaquila would like to be in there too. We could have another DM twenty. We could have some rules. Lay down some rules. Like you got to play DM variant or. You don't like it's pretty much pretty much a yes or no thing, but you know. Yeah. 
I'm gonna do this. Oh no, oh. Especially jump on that monster. Ah, oh, I guess we do it on this, right? The once the reborn is a terrible feeling, it is. It really do be. Someone in attack mode, give it chat, let's go. I forgot to look up that Dark World fusion. Apologies. I'm gonna go look at it now. Dark World Grapha fusion. Oh, he's still going with Drew Branded fusion. That's massive. We got Grapha here. Um, let's have a look. A Dark World and a Dark? Wow, it's very generic, isn't it? Huh. How do I get this shit out of my screen? Piss off. Um, when you're going to activate the monster effect, I guess we, uh, we'd have to play Grapha, which kind of sucks, right? We're going to activate the monster effect or a normal spell trap. Oh, you have a card in your hand. Pick a pick. Make it your opponent discards one. Yeah, it's not too bad. Who's your summon card? Would leave the field special a Grapha. That's banished or in your grave. And you play discards one. Pretty good. Obviously, it's best in Dark World, but, you know, is Grapha a dragon? I think it's a fiend, though, isn't it? It's got dragon in the name, but I'm pretty sure it's a fiend. Be nice if he was a dragon though. He's a fiend. Yeah, that sucks. Um Chaos hmm. hmm. and goal. I'm gonna say goodbye to our best y'all. Yo 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 yo. What is these? Chain links. They need to send. Now oh, we don't really care about that. Go for it, buddy. Guy forty. Summon him by sending the materials from deck would be nice. They do have their own fusion card, right? Which we can send off Anaconda. Dark World Fusion. Dark World Accession. Is it not classified as a fusion spell? I don't think it is. Not a fusion spell. Damn. Can't use Anaconda. That sucks. Oh, look at this hand. Max C? Uh, no. No thank you. Does this Chaos Angel have both effects? Bro, let me see. Okay, no it doesn't. It just comes just straight with that. Cool. It's also in defense mode. If he can tribute a dragon, target a card, and destroy it. Interesting. Interesting. Got a card and destroy it. Oh, we have branded fusion. We're fucking chilling. This sink off turn. Not even a tuna. I got a beast on the grave special summoner. Damn, good card. Great card. Even. I feel like he's gonna summon more than just that this turn. I could be wrong. I'm gonna max it. I don't give a shit. That one monster your opponent controls. Then a black wing synchro or black wing from extra deck to grave. Loses 700, also its effects negated. Yo, that thing's a fucking negate. It's insane. Got a fucking level 2 monster in the deck that's a negate. What? It's a foolish and a negate. What? Kind of crazy. Kind of insane, no? 
Oh, we drew Super Poly. Get fucked. Holy shit. What a fucking draw. What a fucking draw. Just fucking scoop, brother. Alright, we need to bait this light effect, though, over here. And then we can Super Poly the other two. <sighs> it's true for cost. It tributes and it targets for cost. Regain is cracked. It seems quite good, yeah. No, no cap. Quite good, quite good. Maybe we just Brandon Fusion, because what? He's got a target and destroy? That doesn't fucking do shit, right? It doesn't actually do a fucking thing. Guess we've just got Dragon Knight combo here, though, and that's all we really want. We just want to get to the Dragon Knight. Alright, let's do it. Oh wait, we've got the- fuck, fuck, fuck. We've got the one DM in our hand. We've got the one DM in my hand right fucking now. Let's do nothing. Um... Do I get Illusion of Chaos? No, I don't. Definitely don't. Oh, he's a brand of fusion there. It's part of the combo. Part of the combo to this guy. No way he wouldn't have ashed the Max C. He would have ashed the Max C, so we'd show him. Yeah, discard the fuse. You already know. You already know. He's in the bin. Now souls can go get that DM again from the deck too. That's kind of massive. A kind of big cock. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you actual fuckwit. Oh, wait, he went for the Elbaz. Okay. We can still make Dragon Knight, then. That's fine. It's actually fine. Cool. Albaz baited him. Let's go. Because he thinks we're trying to make, like, a branded fusion. More so, we're trying to make... Literally anything else. <laughs> There's someone Dragon Knight right now. This fuse is using... Pardon me. Uses Graveyard, Face Up Banish Cards, and Field. Graveyard, Face Up Banish Cards, and Field. Can I tribute and get another ball? Yes, this is true. Still good for Mirror Jade? I don't think we care about Mirror Jade, to be honest. We just don't. He's back in the deck. Summon Dragon Knight. Yeah, it's better if he pops it, that's very true. Why is he putting Albaz back in my deck? Okay, that's kind of fine. Like, I guess it's kind of dead, but not really. Tribute to Dragon, target card opponent controls, destroy it. Like, he can pop the Dragon Knight. What does that fucking do? It doesn't actually do anything for him. That's fine. We've got Dragon Knight. That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part of playing fucking Dark Magician. Getting to Dragon Knight. I just think it would have been better for him to put back one of his Black Wings. That's fine. Okay, and now he's gonna try and pop this as well. Like, once again, that's a dead card. Like, that doesn't- that card doesn't actually fucking do anything. I think everyone knows that. And we've shuffled DM back into the deck. You already know. You already know how good this is. This is Circle. Oh, he can't? Why can't he shuffle back his stuff? Oh, it's I got a beast deal. No, not that effect. Oh, target one of those monsters, I see. I see what you're saying. Oh, you fucker. What? How did he have Ash? Huh? He didn't Ash Max C. Oh no, he drew one. He drew one. I was, I was gonna say, he didn't Ash Max C and he didn't Ash Brand Fusion. There's no fucking way he drew one Ash. Bruh, go get fucked. Go get fucked. Holy shit. There's no way. That is so fucking wank. He just ashed a pot of greed. That's a draw two. That's a draw fucking two. 
Fuck this guy, man. Alright, we're super poly him. He got so fucking lucky. Alright, we're super poly. And we fuck his shit up. We can make our own Chaos Angel too. Let's make our own Chaos Angel, huh? See how he likes it. Evenly? We don't need evenly. We've got Rot on the field. Oh yeah, we can summon Dragon Knight. Pretty funny. No circle though. Oh, we're locked into fusion, huh? Oh shit, we're locked into fusion. Oh well, still fine. I think he can pop E Soul. What effect does he have? Oh, Sarah near leaving the field. Sending a branded card. Yep. That's fine. Oh, he sends another one though. That fucking sucks. And get his effect. Does that really matter? His effect. Nope. We need to go do battle. <laughs> Oh yeah, you could pop it next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully we summon Dragon Knight from the Eternal Soul. If that's a best deal in his hand though, it's fucked. There's nothing we can do about it. Unless he uses it, you know? We have to let him go for it first. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? By banishing a tuner, synchro, and a black wing from face of field or grave. Wow. Each opponent activates a monster effect, place a black feather counter, and then you inflict 700. Quick effect, your opponent's turn, tribute this card with four or more, destroy all cards on the field. Okay. Wild. To regain, he's gonna target one of those monsters, place it on the bottom of the deck, draw one. And. This is gonna summon this. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. Yeah. We don't, yeah, we don't have shit. Well, this is a dragon. Send this card to your grave. Oh, man, I can't even read these cards in time. It sings from deck? What the fuck? Oh no, you're locked into dark, but it literally sinks from deck. What the fuck? Holy shit. Crazy. Damn. Why steal uh, black wings? Actually seems pretty good. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I needed to flip Eternal Soul. Fucking hell, dude. Well, maybe he doesn't read and I can flip Soul Servant. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe he's saving it for Starving Venom. Okay, he might save it for Starving Venom effect here. Wait, can he even do it? It's targeted face up your opponent controls. Maybe he just won't hit it. I guess I'll go stack Illusion of Chaos, though. What he has to say about that. Oh no, he's going into starving venom now. Huh? What? Am I missing something? Huh? 
Okay, he gives the special from Grave. Yep, big. Oh, the guy who sings from deck. Wait, what? Doesn't his board just go by now? Okay. He probably gets some advantage off it there. Okay, cool. Loving Venom goaded. Manifest to End face. Okay. I need to do both these effects real quick, so I'm just gonna chain this. Summon La Dragon Knight. He gets to summon a bestial, yay! Yeah, he didn't read. Yeah, I was like, that's not a negate for Starving Venom, though. Love my hair. Alright, so we go get Rod. Oh, we have a draw two in the bin, too. That's fucking insane. I guess we want him to Ash the draw two more than the Rod search here. Wow! How does he have it again? What a fuckwit. Branded players... Not branded. Just bestial enjoys are just fuckwits, man. They always have the fucking thing. Well, at least we draw two. Drawing two is cool. I activate Pot of Greed! I could have put Circle on top, but it's just incorrect. Putting Circle on top is like, the stupidest shit, right? Like, yeah, it would have been good there. I guess it would have played around Ash, but like... Should you have to play around Ash? Fuck no. Alright, it's alright. I think we just win anyway. Maybe not. He can do this shit. Maybe the circle stack was the play. But like, it just feels wrong. Cause like, Illusion of Chaos gets you Rod, and Rod gets you Circle. It just feels like the better part. Not of course it plays into more hand trap. He gets more. He gets more gamers. Well, we can Anaconda here. Fuse with these two. No, we've already Starving Venom. We can still fuse with them. It just makes Garuro. Ah oh, shit. To do this. Alright, he needs to use his trap. Yeah, I would have had Circle, Tablet, Dragonite, but so would have the path I went. I just didn't play around Ash. Did not play around Ash because, I don't know, he's already Ashed me and he had one card in there. But I suppose Circle would have been good. I'm paying 2k. Hopefully he doesn't read any targets Dragon Knight or Eternal Soul. Oh, what's up, Evolution Tail? He targeted Dragon Knight. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. Not reading cards because it's hard. Garura? Does that work? No. Make this. Oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. We lost that Dragon Knight, though. Funny, bud. I think we're stupider at this point. Circle, circle, circle. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. phase. I should have saved that for a bestial, huh? I really should have saved that. Oh well. As long as that is not a bestial, I think we're good. He adds a black wing card from deck to hand. Bro, this deck's so fucking crazy, huh? Man, it's the guy the guy that sinks from deck. He he summons himself and he sinks from deck. Huh? We couldn't do either of those things if we wanted to. Toggle off or we lose. I mean, that's my only response. I don't think I have to toggle anymore. He gets a beast deal somewhere here too. Fuck, man. That's fucking shit. There's nothing I can do about this shit. Yeah, that was like... Look at that top deck, man. Shit's crazy. 
I don't get this card. You just sink from deck. And it's like you're locked in the darks. Boo fucking who? That is crazy. That is absurdly crazy, no? And then it comes back. <laughs> and then the dickhead fucking comes back. And you do it again. Well, you don't do it again, but you sink with it again. What the fuck? This level 2 is better than our entire fucking archetype. Level 2 is better than our entire deck. Bro, this card is insane. Why can't- why couldn't Tamias be close to this? Send a material from deck. Summon itself for free, first of all, because you have a DM card. Send the material from deck and fucking fuse and lock yourself in a docks. But why couldn't Tamias do that shit, man? Did he just try target me for something? I think he did. He just gets some fucking token off this shit, too. Man just gets a- it's a token? Where's the token from? I think we lose. That normal summon just brings him back in the game, bro. It's crazy. Oh, fucking... Hey, Peter! Peter! I'm gonna banish light or dark. Yeah, just bring back the same guy. Keep sinking with it. Man, I wish we had a card in DM that locked us into darks and actually did something. Holy shit! Lock us into darks and let us play the game. That would be nice. What does this guy do? Send a black wing from deck to grave, this card's level becomes that one. When this card destroys a monster by battle, sends it to the grave, you can banish a black wing from your grave or face up. Special summon the destroyed monster you feel in defense. Makes it a level 2, it's a tuner. I can only imagine what's coming up next. Place Black Feather Whirlwind, so this card again. Okay. Now they make Final Sigma? No, he's not a dog. What do they make here? Oh, he does this shit again, where he can just summon... Okay. This is crazy. Bro, this deck is actually crazy. Can we die? I think we die. Oh yeah, you may as well draw one as well, man. Why not? The synergy, right? The synergy between the bestial branded cards and this deck is kind of immaculate. Crazy. Poster Boy DM gets a card. <laughs> Every other deck. Makes it to my S diffuses from deck, but only dark for night. Yo, I'm down. We're running Mirage Knight. That's the new Mirage Knight, right? Okay. Man, the Black Wing cards are fucking good. They already had good cards. Are these ones new? Because they're like even more cracked. Okay, battle. Maybe we live. Drew Swarm has a send, right? Do we just send this? Like, what? Do we just do this? Is that possible? Yes. It is. Did I make a misplay? Does it come back? No. Okay. Alright. We're alive. We normal rod and we get circle. And if he has the third ash, I will fucking kill myself. Probably should have illusion of chaos first to play around the ash. But there's no way. Did I have a soul servant last turn and draw two? I think so. Yeah, I must have. They have a card that searches every time they normal. Continuous spell. Yeah, better than circle, huh? What the fuck is going on here? Oh yeah, he's negating rod. That's right. I forgot that thing's a fucking negate. It's so crazy. It's so crazy, man. Surely he's got like no extra deck left. Like I'm just gonna mill him out of the fucking extra deck. Quick effect. I'm gonna banish card, shuffle it into the deck. Then if you shuffle it into your deck, destroy that monster. Shuffle it into your opponent's deck. So then when your opponent activates the monster effect, so why don't you just do that? That seems better. Well, 
Why can't this stack circle? <laughs> Let's see if he negates it. He does. Either destroys or it either negates. What happens if Illusion of Chaos gets destroyed though? Yo, he's given us Soul Servant back. Thank you. What? What a king. Put the Soul Servant back in the deck. Thank you, king. Who negates it. Cool. Alright, now I'd like to draw two. Albaz for Mirror Jade. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Hey, gave us Soul Servant back. Kind of nice. Yo, we can even bring out the Queen herself. But I think this is just better. Hey, have a look at this, because you're about to fucking see it. Albaz. Give it a dragon, target a Kyber and controls, destroy it. Yeah, that kind of sucks. It's kind of rough. Well then. He keeps targeting Dragon Knight though, huh? Well, we can't help this thing. This is so grim, man. This is so grim. <laughs> Just going back and forth. Doing nothing. Crazy. I'm stacking fucking circle, alright? I don't care anymore. I'm stacking circle at the end of our damn turn. We actually drew into the soul server he gave it he gave back to us too, which is kind of funny, you know. This is our fourth soul servant. He's bringing back the big guy. Fuck, I hope he can't kill us through Rod here. We have another Rod in Grave? We do. Okay, we can get rid of Rod if we have to. Bring him back this level 6 tuner. My opponent can't read, which is the only thing keeping us in the game. Did we play this Synchro? Yeah, this Synchro is really good. Synchro is freaking awesome, no? Get DM out of Banished, could be nice. Why did it have to be Dragon Monster? Why couldn't it just be generic? Because we could use Magician Souls and Cartesia and summon it. <laughs> could be cool. Oh well. How long has this duel been going on? Holy shit. I need a piss, man. Oh shit, it's this guy. I haven't seen this guy in ages. Give him like an additional normal. Oh, well, there's anything in the hand. Okay. I don't know what it does on the field. Oh no, he, tri he tributes some of it. Does he get the additional normal? Oh my god, he plays three? This thing's back again? Does he play three? Or does he shuffle it back? There's one. There's two. No, he plays three. How? Well, this extra deck just keeps going. We can make him using souls and assault synchron. That's true. Assault synchron's a very good card. I like assault synchron. Oh, we can't make this though. This thing needs to be made with a dragon. Oh, right. No, because that thing. Yeah, no, you're right. That thing summons. Yeah, Soul Synchro can make you summon a dragon, summons itself back, right? I think. I'd be misremembering. This is a long ass game, Yugi. Oh my god. Oh shit, and the gate. 
He's finally not locked into darks, and he makes a negate. How did he manage to get to a Fleur? That is cringe. That means I have to like Eternal Soul now, but I can't because there's no Dark Magician around. Let's just flip this and see if he does anything. Damn, he's not stupid. That sucks. I can't really use Rod Effect here or I just die. From a DMG and the Synchro and a Stardust, which summon the Soul Synchro again. Yeah, 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 that's right. The um the acceleration Stardust, right? He lets you summon the Synchro back or some shit. It's crazy. Freaking epic. So what do we do here? Baron's in the gate. He can now actually pop Eternal Soul. He can just tribute a dragon. Oh, you have to control a Bistool. This is a fucking Bistool. Yep. Baron of Flow. Try to chain. Oh, evenly matched. You're right. You're right. Evenly matched. And then fusion deployment. Dark Magician for game. Wait, called by. Bro, just use your negate. He's not even using his negate. Does he do Dragonite or DM? He didn't use his negate. That means we get one of them. He does Dragonite. Okay, he's actually smart about that. We at least get the vanilla. Oh, but then no we don't. <laughs> uh, no we don't. We don't get shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, he gets the summon. Fuck off. This fucking card, man. Rod Tribute, may as well. Got to get nuked anyway. Alright, it's fine, because evenly matched. It's fine, because evenly matched. I can't believe we didn't bait the Baron Negate, though. Ow, we burned for 700? Holy shit. Oh, fuck. He just keeps that and we lose. Each time we use a monster effect, place a black counter on this card and click 700. We just lose. We can't out this fucking thing. Without dying. Oh my god, we need Eternal Soul. There's no way to get Eternal Soul without killing ourselves. Also, have draw two, maybe. Fusion deployment. I don't even know what the target is. We've got a negate. Eight with circle. I don't think he falls for it. And then if he doesn't fall for it, we're fucked. Now, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll draw two. Surely pot of greed. Surely pot of greed. Fuck. There's no way to bait first, chat, I swear. I swear to god. There's no way he negates this. There's no world where you negate circle. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> People are fucking stupid, huh? Still, I don't know how we out this without a monster effect. Oh, super poly? No, we've already used all our super poly targets. We're out of, like, super poly targets. We need mud dragon. Same attribute, but different types. Well, they're both dragon. So wait, normal rod. Wait, normal rod outs it. Wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think we're cooking. I think we're cooking. Do we have Albaz in the deck? Uh, maybe. No, he's in the grave. So I'm pretty sure normal rod, no effect. Super poly outs this. I'm pretty sure he leaves this. Super Poly in a Mud Dragon in defense mode. Yup, he leaves it. Nice. No, we can't use an effect. We use an effect, we die. No effect. Super Poly. Discarding this. Mud Dragon. Defense mode. Probably should have kept that Illusion of Chaos. I don't know why I fucking kept this. I don't know what's in my deck for deployment. I'm just gonna do it. Oh shit! Yo! Kinda sick! <laughs> Alright, let's see what's he, what's he got. What's he got? I should have kept Illusion of Chaos though. Holy shit. We went through all three. All three of these are fucking gone by the way. Holy shit. 
Imagine having a boss monster you can play at three because it's good. The T set dual links. The T set. You could affect because it has to be on burned result. Well, yeah. I could have kept Illusion of Chaos there. Yeah, absolutely. For some reason, I thought secrets would be good. I don't know why. Surely none of the Black Wings are strong enough. Fuck it. Let's get out of this duel. Lights. Let's go. This doesn't even win the game. Doesn't even win the game, huh? It's the third hash. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> True. Game be wild then. Evenly matched. He actually has evenly matched set. That's a hundred percent evenly matched. Holy shit. How many evenly do we play? Two? I think it's two. One, two. It was like I can set cross out, it doesn't really matter. Make Grand Granol? We can't. Wait, why can't we? A light or dark? Oh shit! What a, what? What? Why didn't I quick effect fuse? Couldn't I have quick effect fuse? Oh, during the main phase. No, okay, so I could have done it in main phase one or two though. Yeah, you're right, you're right. First time using Cartesia, not gonna lie. Alright, finish it. Cartesia, please. Please. Please! Oh my god. Fuck off. No! Stop synchroing! Holy shit. How does he keep having things to do, man? Stop! Oh shit, please don't burn me. There's a wedge counter. Then take 700. Wait, he's killing himself! Add it to your hand, then take 700. Didn't he just kill himself? What? Just banish- t target a card with burn controls? Destroy it? What the fuck? Wait, I can chain this? Oh no, he's already targeted, right? Or does this protect him- does this protect him from being destroyed as well? Cannot target monsters- Oh fuck, I should have done that earlier. Shit! No, we're not playing Golden Boy. Fuck. Does he take 700? He takes 700! Let's fucking go! Holy shit. Holy. Grumble Hopman, we won. DM best deck. DM best deck. Some gamers in the chat. DM best deck. Alright, I'm pissing. Then when I'm back, we're gaming. For real.
Holy crap, I'm back. Thanks, everybody. We did it. We won a fucking game. Crazy. I don't know. Playing like pure fusion DM feels kind of good, no? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. This plays on both ends? Oh, absolutely. Whew. My god. Dude sold. Ain't no way you could out that unaffected monster with those resources. What was the unaffected monster? I forget. Oh, the big guy. Yeah, he burned himself to death at the end, though. Pretty funny. Holy shit. Yo, good opening hand? What? What is happening? Fusion DM based? Based on what? Based on these fucking nuts. Look at this shit. Fucking awesome. Um, let's summon DM. Dark Magician. Preparation of rights. I had to do a these nuts joke, I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I can't Anaconda now? Yeah, I can. I'm playing Undock. This plays around bestials. I'm just trying to get my draws off Soul Servant more than anything right now. I've been summoning DM a lot more lately. Kinda have to. Put this guy back. I love you, Illusion of Chaos, but fuck off. He'll come back when we need him anyway. Um, we kinda have everything. No, we kinda have it all. Might be a secrets angle. Like that, and that is circle. Mm. Secrets angle. The circle. Kind of wanted to play more circle in Eternal Soul, but like, man, the cards are just not good. You have been triple rod and bricks. Honestly, it happens so often, right? Like, I will play 3-rod because it is our searcher, and the deck's like, Oh, you want 3-rod in hand? And you're like, No, <laughs> no, no, just, just one is good, one is fine. The deck's like, Oh, you want, you want all rod? Here you go. Consistency. Okay. Circle and chain soul server. That's good, but we, um, we, uh, we couldn't really do that. Okay. Rounded Fusion. He's not a dragon though, is he? What a dickhead. Can't even use this secrets. Imagine if he just was a dragon. Would be nice. I guess we keep the secrets in our fucking hand though. You had them both? What? Didn't I have eternal soul? What? What are you guys talking about? My opening hand. I mean, this did get rod, yeah. Well, like... No, yeah, you're right. Circle Chain Soul Servant would have been better. Yeah, no, that's true. I would have had an extra draw. Oh, the DM Mirror? Holy shit. Why did I do it that way? Hmm. Why did I not... Why didn't I prep, get Illusion of Chaos, get rod, rod gets Circle, Circle Chain the Soul Servant? I'm not sure why I did it that way. I think because I was thinking about secrets. I was thinking about secrets. Yeah, it was a bit weird the way I did that. Where did circle come from? Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. I did it in a weird way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This guy's about to summon obelisk on us. Holy shit, we're about to get god carded. Oh, it's Slifer. Big. Big nuts. Oh, he's running 60 card Dark Magic. Man, we gotta peek this list. Holy shit, we gotta peek this list. The Dark Magician Mirror, except this guy's a Giga Chad. Now his Soul Servant has a draw on it too because of my DM Engrave. Oh, he's got the Adventure Engine too. Alright then. This guy is gaming really hard. This guy is gaming so fucking hard right now. Yos. Okay. Yo, Slifer goes to 6k for a brief second, and then we'll go back down. Sending DMG, so he gets the draw two. I saved the call by for sure. I saved the call by for sure. Oh, that's fucking rude. Come on, man. Wait, there's no way you do that now. You lose your draw two. You lost your draw two if you banish my Dark Magician. Oh, hey, Albaz. Man, people love to go for Albaz, hey. I was like, okay. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Huh? Oh, it's the MG. Alright. Magnemart, pizza slot. Yeah, the one water enchantress in 60 cards. He's cracked, alright? He's cracked. Okay, he's going with the draw two. That's fine. Draw two. Rights. I'm not sure why he didn't rights earlier. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. We have to do this now, sadly. I wanted to save it for the DM that he eventually mills, but that... That is asking for a call by the fucking grave. And now Slife is a 3k as well. This is really good for us. Burnk. Yami Yugi IRL. Legit. This guy is actual Yugi, hey. Alright, we get rid of this. <sighs> we gotta get rid of the token, guys. It feels fucking bad. Yeah, you can have the Griffin, but we don't want him to have a negate. Slifer at 3k, we haven't used the Circle Banish yet. This is big. What's the Griffin condition for summon? Nothing, right? Or secrets? Okay. That's fine. So you just need the token to summon Griffin? If you control no monsters or if you control the token. Okay, so we've locked him out of the Griffin summon, to say the least. Oh, Chimera! Oh! Shit! I mean, we pop his board anyway with Mirror Jade, right? But it's not till the end phase. Uh, do we die? No, he has no cards in here. But he, no, he draws back up. Oh shit, I think we die. Fuck. Oh fuck, I think we actually die here. God damn. The Guardian Chimera! 
We're gonna have to cook up some... We probably should be playing that in our build, actually. Fuck, why aren't we? Drawing one and then popping two? Eternal Soul. Circle. Yeah, good choices. Great choices. Uh, we die, chat. We're dead. We're actually dead. Fuck, that sucks. <laughs> we lost the DM mirror to the biggest giga chat. Holy shit. 60 card DM. We're gonna have to steal his list. Holy crap. Mirror Jade, why you know Pop Field now? That's it. Yep, that happened. That happened. Who was here when Loza lose DM Mirror? I'm saving that duel. That was fucking sick. Holy shit. We found the biggest DM Giga Chad in the world. Oh my god. He's playing the Tomahawk stuff too. He's playing Tomahawk as well. Look at this list. Oh my god. Holy shit. It has a toolbox for everything. My god. I think this is the best Dark Magician list I've ever seen. No Artemis, though. <laughs> Banned. No Artemis. No, look, you don't fucking need Artemis in this build. Holy shit. The extra deck's so tight, it's like... I want to play this. I'm copying this list. Let's see how much of it we have. How does he not brick? He's just giga shad. All right, we're missing, we're missing a couple of cards. Wait, he plays this with none of the spells. He plays this with none of the spells. Plays my heart as well, holy shit. This looks fun as fuck though. You got to admit, how fun does this look? I can just play the other IP for that. Hmm. One, two, three. It's four URs. Four URs that I need. It's not really worth it, is it? 60 card DM pile. It's hella based. I think we got to keep that in the back pocket, though. We got to keep that in the back pocket. Is he at least playing foolish for the Water Enchantress? He's not. Come on. That's an easy. That's an easy change, no? One foolish. Easily you play one foolish, right? Because like, yeah, Water Enchantress is your only real target, but you can always like Water Enchantress Mahad DM DMG. It's not the worst. Surely that means you have double Water Enchantress like off the bat. It loses to Troll? True. You do be spitting facts. Jet Synchron's a card I should own. Like, like let's be fair. He's even playing Chronicle Magician. God oh, damn. <sighs> He's playing like every level 7 he can. That summons itself. Yeah, well, he's trying to get to Tomahawk. Oh, pardon me. This guy's just fucking big balls. Wait, he's not playing Salvation? Am I wrong? Playing one Eternal Soul, no Salvation. On prep. I'm gonna fix his list for him. Colossus is made off this corridor. It's part of the, the the tomahawk combo gets you there. It fucking gets you there. I think we got one illusion of chaos from his 60 card pile. Like he's already got the prep. Um No Salvation is interesting too. I reckon you can go to one circle, play one salvation. Hmm. 
Hergeki does the reborn. Holy shit. This is such an anime build. I fucking love it. Two Imperm. Two Revive Sky God, though. I think that's that's probably the shittest part of this list. I don't think you play this. This is like pure copium. I'd probably do this. He doesn't even play Salvation. Man's making the argument that it's shit. Honestly, fair. Let me play the one Salvation, and then... How do you round this deck out with one more card? Hey, I think this deck is kind of busted. Hey, what you will. No Ash. Pointing it out, no Ash. Big brain, big brain. Just, just go cards, really. Wait, one call by one cross out. Well, I guess. Just do this. Oh, wait. It's kind of weird that he's playing cross out with what imperm and no ash. I guess we add an ash then, actually. I think that makes more sense. True name is a meme? Oh yeah, absolutely, but kind of part of the identity here. Hey, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. We'll save it for later. We'll give it the fire deck box. We'll put the slifer on there. Give it the slifer field. Man, the guy who made this is a king. Now, slifer. DM can have Tomahawk. Fuck it. Alright, enough of that. Alright. What's the point of one nib in 60? You'll see it off, Maxi. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Ugh. Alright, let's try again. I think the build we've got going isn't too shabby. Let's put it to the test. Did I put that game in as a win? Did I put a loss up for that? I don't think I put a loss on for that. Were we 9-6 before? Let me check. That's the Blackwing duel. Where's the Slifer duel? Here it is. We were 9 6 for the Slifer duel before we lost. Okay, so we need another loss. We need. Uh, we're 9 7 now. A lot of saved gems. What are we saving for? I don't know, Yugi. Oh, what's going on here? We're gonna make Dragoon with Muddy Mud Dragon. Gunk. What? Sushi ships and assault synchro. Should we play this card in DM? It's kind of insane. You just special it, take 700, and then you just go into the sinks. Right, is Excel synchron out yet? I guess that's more the question. Okay. There are Excel. There it is. I just asked if it's in the game. There it fucking is. Um, let's do this. You can banish the apple and get a level 2 guy. Player who summoned it can treat it as a tuner for a synchro summon. Fuck, man. So it doesn't- it doesn't matter. I guess I get rid of this one. I- I guess. It doesn't seem to matter, ultimately. DM's a level 7. Yeah! You can use DMG, which is a 6 then, of souls. But still, like, that makes Borrowage Savage is the best card. And, um, that doesn't really help because you don't have a link in the grave. It's a bit shit. I have to let him cook, sadly. He's got two tuners in the grave. Doesn't matter what I do. 
I think I hit the better one because you can banish this one and get a token. I mean, it, I don't think it really mattered either way. Oh, he gets it back anyway. <laughs> he gets it back anyway with Pleita. Oh, at least that's it. Wait, he didn't have another tuner to go into? A level 9? Oh, okay. Let's go! I think he messed up. I think he messed up. I don't know if the interruption mattered. Maybe it did. You can summon Baron or the Bestial Synchro with DMG. Yes, we can. Why don't we try it? Why don't we try it? Synchro DM. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We could also play like a Ghost Ogre E-Telly package if we wanted to. If we got room. It's not the best, but it's alright. Maybe, maybe there's no room for it though. Probably be good if Ghost Ogre was like relevant. Alright, the D, thanks for watching, man. Go have a good one. I mean, this hand can make Dragon Knight, but there's nothing. Dragon Knight doesn't do anything. Oh. Alright, latest B money. Good to see you, man. Like, man, this hand is. This hand is a yikes. Um, I guess, I guess I just pass. Almost tempted to just pass. Retuning three assault synchrons. Um, tuning. I don't think tuning adds it, does it? Or it's a synchron. Oh shit! Yo, it's searchable as well. Wow, that's really good. Evo's, Evo is gonna be hit shot, you'll love to see it. Activate ref. Bro, I wish. Look at his hand, we're ready for ref. Why isn't this ref? Based. I think we're just passing. I'm sitting here looking at his hand like it's, it's just a pass. I, I don't know. I, I should have said call by. Fuck. Oh well. It's rough out here. Holy shit, Ice Bell? I haven't seen Wind Witches in so long. Ow. Yeah, you know what? Maybe quick play super. Uh, quick play uh, monster reborn is actually gonna be kind of nice. Obviously, not so much or DM just in general. One of the comments said nothing new. It's like, but it it is. <laughs> we don't have quick play reborn. It's new. Yeah, DM used to run the Crystal Wing package, the Wind Witch package, back in the day. Yeah, not mentioning DM feels really bad, not gonna lie. The old Crystal Wing strategy. So weird to see this. Again. It's refreshing though, refreshing. Oh, he even, he even used Wind Pegasus to get there now, so now you've got another interruption. It's kind of nice. 
Of the card you control, destroy by battle a card effect while it's in the field of grave, banish this card. Oh! Alright, card your opponent controls and shuffle it. What does this guy do? Give this card increase the levels of all monsters by one. Cards in the grave, you control speed rate two, nice special this card. You can't special this. Oh, okay, so I guess he's making another one. Okay. He doesn't kill us. That's nice. Yeah, Monster Reborn is a decent card, right? So one that is quick play. Honestly, it should be pretty alright. I think it'll have some good like interaction with the opponent. God damn it. I draw another cold bite. Could have set the first one as well. Um So I guess the shit thing is we can fuse and substitute Albaz, but then he just goes, nope. Uh chain crystal wing. And we go, yep, have a good day. What's the other option? Summon Dragon Knight. Let's beat into this. Not good. Blazing Cartesia? What does she do? Use with this. I make Greg Grangle Noggle. And then he tries to use his effect. Oh yeah. The monster is special summon by your pen activating effect. Vanishes. Oh no, I can't do that. We don't have Lenius, but. That wouldn't matter anyway. I mean, contact fuse. Oh, right. No, it would matter. Yeah, contact fuse. Oh, maybe we should run the one Alba Lenius. You're probably right. Contact fusing busted. No, you're right. We should be running the one Alba Lenius. Damn it. Extra deck's so tight, but you know what? We probably don't need to run this. We probably don't need to run... Maybe one of the super poly targets. Maybe even Artemis. I don't know. Yeah, I know it, it's gonna gain attack, so we can't we can't swing into it. Or well, whatever, it's gonna start with this. We need to pick what we're summoning though. When we're attacking, when this card battles, okay, so we can attack with this Ash. Well, thank God for cross out and called by. Are we playing Ash? I don't think we're playing Ash. Playing Maxi. Surely we're playing Ash. I'm gonna chain this. Fuck, man. I hope we're playing Ash. We're not, are we? Oh, we are. Thank fuck. So I'm like, I wanna save the cold buys. Cold buy BDM card? Based. Cross out. It's like the card that is the banish. Yep. Probably the one that we picked. Why can't DM contact fuse? You let DM contact fuse with opponent board, you know? Summon Cartesia, use her effect, he just negates it. And then we're like, okay. The, the same happens for all of these outcomes, right? Summon Dragon Knight, swing into this. Gains attack, blah blah blah. I guess it's the best play though. It it seems really bad, but we're gonna do it. I don't think there's a better play, to be honest. Albaz just gets negated. Albalenius, whatever, gets negated. Can't summon the beast deal until this thing gets into the grave anyway. Normal it, that's not good. He has a response. Oh, he can just tribute this as well. Wild. Man, we're just doing nothing, man. Oh well. Not like we've got anything else to do. He gains our attack, right? Yeah, we just die. DM should be able to contact you. It's literally a vanilla. Like, give us a fusion that contacts. Like, please, we need something. We need something so playing the vanilla is not so fucking bad. Oh, it doesn't die? Huh? Okay. Oh, we're just dead. 
just scoop it up. Damn, the cold buy cocked us, huh? Cold buy, two cold buy and cross out. Like, what the fuck, man? We drew all of them. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Fusion can send so many things to the grave. Yeah, it seems good, but I guess the dilemma is he would have just negated the effect of her. There was just nothing to do there, sadly. Just a fat L. Um, I don't know if I have anything for y'all to watch while I skedaddle to the bathroom. Big sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I can just put the Orcus video back on. <laughs> Yo, what is Love up, guys? Rant it's on my lab and some... A rant video. Oh, the judge ruling one. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's put that on. Is it quick effect? You could have summoned her in a turn on past. What does that have to do with anything? Like, he's still gonna have a negate <laughs> on his turn. I, I don't think summoning Cartesia does anything, though. Um, judge. This one. The directors of our life, every morning you call action. You call action, guys. Let me just. Come on. Oh, look at this handsome game on. Um. You we went first. Uh Oh, right. You mean when we went first. I mean, I didn't want to commit to fusion deployment. I just didn't know what to do. Could have summoned Cartesia, quick effect. Yeah, I guess. Don't really know what I wanted to do yet, but yeah. Let me just start by saying... Double two, double low, brother. Eshe, bar. Guys, I'm back from the tournament. It was fucking dog shit. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the tournament, shall we? Did I have a good time? Sure. Did I get some good prizes? Actually, yes. We're going to open them here on the channel. Anyway, it was dog shit. I got fucked over by a judge. Let's get into it. Pull up a chair, because it's story time with Loza. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Let's begin. We're going to start at the beginning. The best place to begin. Round one of the tournament. I'm versing a guy playing evil twin slash live twin. Let me just get my paper. All right. I wrote everything down. So... I 2 owed the guy playing Evil Twin slash Live Twin. Now, I versed this deck on the channel. Uh, I was versing Patrick, who was playing it, or Tower. Some of you may know him. Um, Evil Twin loses to Dragoon. Let's just say that. So, it was a pretty big free win. Uh, I went second game one because he won the dice roll, uh, which he set up the link for. I had Skill Drain in my hand and Nadir Servant. So, I just set up Dogmatica stuff, and I popped his link four with um, Elder Entity, and Skill Drain just won me the game. And he was a bit upset by that, but like, pfft, what can you do? Skill drain with dogmatic is easy win. Um, second game, I was playing second again because he got to take first. Um, I opened Ref Nadir, however. So his board was, once again, the Link 4 and one back row. I Cosmic Cycle in the back row, it was an imperm. whoop de fucking do I played Ref, he didn't have Ash. I had Dragoon, I popped his Link 4, he chose to chain it out to the little two ones. I popped them both, he burnt for damage pretty straightforward um and then i ended by playing the deer in main phase two which got me the schism package which you know i'm playing uh, if you don't we'll do a deck profile later so the schism package basically said i summoned winder on his turn my board was winder schism dragoon it just wins game it wins games so it was crazy so then we go into match two game round two i'm versing heroes and yeah they're playing uh the new destiny fusion fusion destiny Whichever one it is. Uh, they're playing that card at 3 with Phoenix Enforcer. Um, game 1, I win because I had I, I w had a really good hand. It was Upstart. Oh yeah, Upstart Goblin's insane. Always play it. I had Upstart Goblin, 2 Soul Servant, um, a Trap card, I forget what, and like Punishment and like something else. Like, nothing crazy. But I like went Soul Servant, Stack Magician Souls, Upstart to draw the Souls. Sorry, I went Upstart, and obviously he doesn't respond. Chain Soul Servant, Stack Magician Souls. Magician Souls came out, sending mana, um, and then I 
I somehow stacked rod, yeah, I stacked rod, and then I, yeah, banished soul servant to draw rod, and then I had a way to anaconda dragoon, so it was great. Um, so yeah, I had all that, but I also got circle and eternal soul in the process. Like, I can't remember how, but it just also just worked out really well. Um, so I had the circle banish, and I had dragoon. So he couldn't really play through too much of that, and I think I had ash as well, so you know, it's pretty good. Uh, game two... Uh, I was playing second, and he just made a board that... Oh, my hand wasn't that great. I, I just wrote F. I can't even remember. I think I just had a lot of Dogmatica stuff in my hand, and it didn't really do anything until we were playing second board. So, big sad, but oh well. Uh, then we go to game three. Uh, I chose to play first, and time was very close, and we kind of bricked. Um, but we had Nadir's Servant, so we just went Nadir's Servant for the window package, uh, because I was like, maybe this will just win it for me in time. Unfortunately but also fortunately he tried to burn me in time because his main phase went to time so i was like to the judge oh like why is he still playing then and he's like oh he's gonna burn you and i'm like oh okay <laughs> so he summoned his fusion that burns i chain float a lee in hand because i had ecclesia on field still and then he realized he could have popped ecclesia at some point so anyway we scooped up a draw there which is okay we'll take a draw uh next we verse heroes again in round three i don't know why just heroes again uh, this list was a little bit worse, I want to say. It wasn't playing Phoenix in Force, I believe, or Anaconda. I went first in game one, and I lost. He summoned Trinity. He summoned the 5k Trinity, um, and it got boosted more by one of the other fusions, and I had Artemis, Anaconda, and Dragoon on the field, and it just went bang, bang, and killed me. Um, and I was like, damn, fair enough. So we go into game two. Uh, I choose to go first again, and this time I win. I don't remember what I established. I know I got to Dragoon. And that's all I can remember. So, whatever. I, I won. Cool. Game 3, I was playing 2nd, which is normally fine. And I won it because I had Ref and 2 Nibiru. That's right. I had 2 Nibiru. So, he went to pass his turn to me. I flopped down Nibiru. And then, on my turn, I played Ref. Summoned Dragoon. I didn't kill him. I put him on, like, low life points. I burned Pop Pop 2 and then swung with my dudes. And I put him pretty low. I think it was on, like, 3k. And then he... Went through hero combos again and just got the engine going again. The Destiny hero stuff's really good, actually. Like, he actually got to five summons and blah, blah, blah. And that's where I... He tried to go battle phase. He had Honest Neos in hand, so he was going to swing over Dragoon and kill me. Um, and then it was close to time as well. So he was like, oh, yeah, I've got game, I've got game. And he, I felt like he was playing really slow because he knew time was coming up. And I was just sitting there like, yeah, man, play slow. Like, I didn't say anything. I was just sitting there going, I got Nibiru in here. Like, what are you fucking going to do, you dickhead? So, yeah. Came down to one minute or two minutes left on the clock and he finally went okay battle phase and i went uh end of may flopped out nibiru and he you just saw him crumble he was just like <laughs> and so that was really funny really top 10 satisfying moments when you open nibiru against heroes uh their ending board being a token is always from there he was like oh well like maybe he can't game me i had just nibiru i've tributed my dragoon at this point so on my turn i normal summon rod and he flips in perm targeting rod i had mana in grave chain mana summon mana Mana and Rod became Anaconda. Anaconda sent Magicalize, summon my second Dragoon, swing into him for game. Easy. Easy as fuck. I love Double Dragoon, it's so good. Play two. Here we go. Here we get to the fuck that I am still pissed about this. The judge fucked me over. So, I'm versing Striker in round four. At this point, I have not lost. I have two wins and a draw. Two wins and a draw. So all is going well in the world for Dark Magician. Like, the deck actually did really good. I was very happy. Suddenly, game one. We get deck checked, right? Me and this guy get deck checked. His name is Brian, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to name the judge. He can just be judge. Um, so yeah, Brian and me get deck checked. So we're just sitting there chatting and whatnot. It is clear to me that he knows the judge. Him and the judge were interacting on a, you know, more than acquaintance level. Like, they've known each other, they've chatted before, they've bantered before. And, like, the judge gave him back his deck and said, like, ah, your list is shit. Like, and they had a laugh about it. So, it's clear to me that they're buds of some degree. Unlike me and my opponent and me and the judge who are meeting for the first time at this event. That's okay, all of that's fine. I'm just, this is adding to the dynamic of the scenario. So then we get into the game. Everything's going fine. So he used Sky Striker Rose and negated Dragoon at one point. Uh, and that was fine. And then he linked into Zeke, and Zeke then can target Dragoon and banish it, but it returns in my end phase. And here's where everything gets fucked. So he then links uh, Rose and Zeke. Yeah. He he somehow made it to three summons, right? He 
he linked them both into something else. I can't remember what. He linked into something anyway, and I just dogmatic a punishment at it. I was just like, get it out of here. Fuck it off. Um, so no extra deck for me next turn, right? So anyway, in the end phase, um, I tried to use- I sent Ash Dragon off punishment, so I tried to use it, and he shark cannoned it and whatnot, and there was like a little kerfuffle with rulings there, but whatever. I was like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, like, sure, get rid of it. So then, I chained Eternal- well, I used Eternal Soul in the end phase, summoned Dark Magician. And that was all that was on my board at this point, just Dark Magician Dragoon was banished, and it's coming back in my next end phase. I start my turn, uh, I think I drew Nadir, Nadir for turn, which is great. Um, I normal summon Rod, I got Rod Effect, it's all fine. I can't use extra deck, obviously, but I've got Dark Magician, I've got Rod. At this point, oh yeah, I had Circle Up. I had Circle Up, sorry. So I went Circle Effect. He had a Shizuku. I went Eternal Soul, Summon Dark Magician, Circle, Banish, Shizuku. Yeah, he, he uses Ray then, right? Ray comes out. So then when I did Servant, Natus popped, tried to pop Ray, and obviously he changed Ray into Kagari. Uh, now he's got an extra deck monster out, which is what I wanted, and I used Ecclesia now to special itself and grab Fleur. Fleur has then summoned itself negating Kagari, so it doesn't have the attack boost, or I don't have the loss, I forget which one, one of the two. So yeah, at this point, my board is Fleur de Lee, Dark Magician, Ecclesia, and Rod, like it's a lot of damage. And I go into the battle phase, I swing into this Kagari that's on 15, basically I hit him with all that damage, and it, like obviously Fleur de Lee effect, I put him on 400 life points, 400, like just missed game, what can you do? Anyway, I passed my turn there because I couldn't use extra deck. In the end phase, I go, I get Dragoon back. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, cool. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dragoon has now been banished and special summoned back. It has no pops. No pops. That's the ruling. That's the ruling. No pops. It's been ruled against me so many times. Like, I know. Gets to his turn. He does a bunch of Sky Striker shit. Uh, I negate something at some point. Anyway, there was a scuffed thing, and I should have I told the judge this, but I didn't. Um... But at the very end, it looked like he was going to pass turn, like he didn't really have much left. But anyway, he went uh, and got in he had engage. So he engaged and don't remember, I genuinely don't remember what he grabbed. But all that's important is, he drew, he didn't cut the, he let me cut the deck. And he drew after engage really quick. Like, and no one was doing that at this event. Everyone, I always let people cut my deck before I do any soul servant draw shit. Like, everyone was like pretty good at like, just making sure you cut before they draw. However, this time he just searched with engage. Put his deck down and drew really quick. And I was just like, that's sus. But, and then he also played down triple tactics to steal Dragoon. And at this point, I had under 4,000 life points. And he just said, effective Dragoon to pop, pop two, like, GG. And I was like, I was like, no. I was like, Dragoon does not have any pops because it was, it was banished and has come back to the field. It doesn't remember. And it loses its pops. And he just called the judge immediately. And I'm like, dude, that's the ruling. Like, I played Dragoon the deck. I've played Dark Magician for so long. This, it always gets ruled against me. Like, I know this ruling. So anyway, the judge comes over and he's like, yep, it, re it remembers how it was summoned. I'm like, no. I'm like, look, it, it doesn't. It really don't. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but it did not. So anyway, this judge was adamant that I was wrong. And he used this trap card and a bunch of other cards as like comparisons. And I'm just like, but none of them, like, yeah, they were talking about banishing for a turn and coming back. But none of them talked about fucking Dragoon's specific effect, which is like, if it's summoned off two Vanillas, Dark Magician and Red Eyes, then it has pops, otherwise it doesn't have the pops. Like, specifically those monsters that are normal monsters, not anything else. So, anyway, this judge was just adamant, and like, because it's his mate, I felt like I just couldn't win. And I, I, even though I knew he was the only judge of the event, I was like, I was like, look man, like, can I appeal this, can I like, take this higher? And he's like, nope, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> So I was a little heated at this point, right? Naturally, I was a little fucking mad. This guy literally TTT'd, and I kind of think he cheated into drawing it as well, which I probably should have raised that uh, that issue. But I wasn't. I was just so enraged at this ruling. I was like, no, like this is just wrong. Like it's the wrong ruling. So anyway, I I was trying to not be angry, even though I knew it was correct. Um, it was just so dog shit, right? So then anyway, after my match, I messaged a bunch of people. I uh, messaged people from my locals who have messaged other good Australian judges and they're like, what the fuck? No, he definitely doesn't remember. Uh, we're going to watch a little video from Distant Coda here. Let's take a look, shall we? Alright, here it is. Ruling question, if Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon's banished until the end phase, say it gets negated, then Farford, when it returns to the field, is it considered to have been fusion summoned using two normal is it monsters? considered to have been fusion summoned using the two normal out. monsters 
for its effect. So the question here is if the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon gets banished temporarily when it returns Which to the field, did by Zeke. is it able to destroy any monsters because there were normal monsters that were So it got stolen by Tactics after being banished by Zeke after being negated by Rose. For context, but anyway. Or used as fusion material for that monster. So in the case of a monster that is banished temporarily, any of the specific um, specifications about the monsters that were used for its fusion summon are forgotten by the monster. So, in this case, the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon does remember that it was fusion summoned using the Red Eyes Black Dragon and the Dark Magician that are now in the graveyard. However, it sees those cards as blanks. It forgets that they are normal monsters, it forgets that they are both dark monsters and things like that. So it doesn't remember anything about the attributes, the type of card and things like that that were used for its fusion summon. It just remembers which specific physical copies of the cards were used to summon it. So in this case, because it forgets that the two monsters that were used to fusion summon it were normal monsters, if a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon gets flipped face down by something like Book of Moon, say it gets negated beforehand, it gets flipped face down by Book of Moon or banished by a Farfa, when it returns to the field face up, it forgets that the two monsters that were used to fusion summon it were normal monsters, so it will not be able to use its effect to destroy any monsters on the field. All right, this next one. Wow, that was interesting, one. wasn't it? What? Wasn't that interesting? Because he actually mentioned that it won't have any pops. Yeah, I got fucked over by a judge at an event. Uh, at that point, I was undefeated. I had two wins and a draw, and Sky Strike is an easy win. And unfortunately, I then went on to lose. There was nine minutes left in the round, or like eight minutes left in the round, and I lost that next game. It's fucking bullshit. Absolute bullshit. The whole outcome of the tournament for me could have been different. And even then, I still did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how I went with Dark Magician. So let's just keep going. But that was the the big angry point of the tournament, the big fucking ruling dispute. And like, I just feel like, I just feel so fucking mad about that. Like, because I even showed him the distant coder ruling, like way after, by the way, like this is after the tournament. I was like, hey man, like I've been chatting to this judge back and forth being like, yo, this judge said this, like this person said this. And he's like, oh yeah, no, look, look, they're wrong, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. So I show him the distant coder thing and he's like, who's distant coder? And I was like, bruh, anyway. I show him it, and he's just like, oh, anyway, that's that's how I've ruled it, like, uh, it might not be right, but that's how I ruled it for the day, and I'm like, oh, no fucking shit, I've already got the fucking loss fucking over now, so yeah, that was fucking dog shit, <laughs> um, I know he's just doing his job, but like, he was wrong, and he was helping his friend, it might, like, it just looks like he was helping his friend, and it's super fucking dog shit, um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. I still had a fun time at the tournament. Uh, let's just keep going with the uh, the rounds. So anyway, next round was round five. I do have a loss now. I am 2-1-1 at this point. And I versed Flunder. And I haven't versed Flunder yet. Um, and I just got fucking floored. I got 2 owed. There's not much to say about it other than I opened Red Eyes Fusion and called by both game one and game two. And I still just, the rest of my hand was dog shit and... Flunder just normal summons a whole fucking load. I had Gozen sighted in in game two. I just didn't see them. I had Judgments as well. I didn't see them. I had Imperial Order and Village. Didn't see any of my sides. Seven cards sighted in. That's more than I like to side. I like to side five to six. I went for seven and I still didn't see one. It is what it is. Um, and I went Dragoon and he went Dark Ruler and just played out five million normal summons. What can you do? Round six. So my last round was Dino Mist. Um, well, Mino Mist. It's a player from my locals called Lachlan and he's a very big and popular Dynamis player. He's done very well with the deck in YCSs and competitive environments. Fortunately, I won, so hell yeah. But um, yeah, it got caught up in time a little bit, but that that's just how it is sometimes. Um, and Dragoon in time is a pretty good card, so luckily I was able to win. Um, but it was a good game, and GG's to Lachlan. Anyway, let's open some fucking packs, shall we? So this is the mat that we actually won. It is, of course, a Borrowload. Oops, sorry, I was muted. Welcome back, or welcome me back. We're gaming now. We're out here, and we're ready to go back. Raw judge. Brew. Brew. Alright, well, let's get straight back into the rank grind. Um, I want to put in Albaz. I want to put in one of this guy, Albalenius. Al... Alba Len Lenitus. What, what the fuck am I saying? Alba Lenitus. I'm saying Alba Lenius. 
Alba Lenitus. That one. Yeah, in my opinion, he definitely was. They can, they can say what they want. I don't give a shit. Um, I guess we just cut this. And there's nothing for this guy to summon, though. I mean, we haven't even used this guy yet. Yeah, that video reminds me of the Anaconda days, too. Ah, <sighs> better times. Simpler times. Great classic hits. Um, I guess if we're playing Cross Out, we should probably play... Imperm? I'm thinking of cutting one of these for an Imperm. You know, Archetype Anaconda would be absolutely amazing. For one Imperm. And we need to cut an extra deck card. It is probably this big dickhead, or it's one of the links. Hmm. Ooh, that's interesting about Valenius. You can get your fusion normal. Ooh. It's in the end phase, right? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So in the matchups where it's dead, you just send it instead of Albion. Quite good. Quite good. Get fusion deployment. Not bad, not bad. Good size. Um. Let's cut... Might even be Artemis. Or it has to be this, but then, like, what does this do? Hmm. We'll cut it for now, and if it ever comes back up, we can put it back in. What do you reckon? We might have to cut I'm Duke or Artemis, to be honest. I don't know, you like, whenever you cut those cards though, they always come up. It sucks. Really sucks. Damn, lose die roll. Fringe. How's everyone doing, by the way? Stream's gone for a long time. <laughs> everyone okay? everyone alive and cooking? How's everyone's weekend going? Mine's going good. I'm gaming with the, the squad. Oh, man, this hand sucks. Oh, and he's making us play first. Oh, rough. Rough. Fusion deployment. Doesn't do anything. Put Soul Servant live, I guess. Let's do it. Got the Ash. He's got the Ash, it's just fucking game. University's kicking your ass? Oh man, stick it out there, brother. You got this. I believe in you. University's a rough time, but everyone, well, not everyone, but you, I say you gotta do it. If you're there, and you're doing the work, you're a king. My biggest advice is to not get too distracted, because man, <laughs> I I got so distracted in my first degree and it did not help. But best of luck to you, Kaiser. You're a stronger gamer than I, you'll be fine. Like, just go get this here, sure. Alright, and for normal rod. First semester, you already screwed up. Are you ready to bring it back? That's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Go and, um, if you, like, failed an assignment or a test, go and talk to the teacher you have for that subject or the lecturer or the tutorial leader. Talk to someone and say, hey, you know, I, I'm not sure what I did wrong, or maybe you do know what you did wrong, but just go to them and see if they can give you some advice. Um, and normally they're quite open, some of them, not all of them, they're normally quite open to give you a hand and tell you where you went wrong. 
And that's really refreshing. They might even say on your next assignment or test, they want you to do X, Y, Z. And if they see that you've done that, they normally give you a good mark. That's what I've experienced anyway. But um, best of luck with it. It's very stressful and really rough. Oh, is it the mirrors or your spiral player? It's probably just a spiral player, let's be real. Wait, he maxed us and then he ashed us. Kind of weird. Souls? What's he sending the grave? Oh, it's Gate Guardian. Okay. Got this card out Labyrinth Wall from there. Okay. What happened to the souls? He just didn't summon it? No worries, brother. Place a summon. Battle your prince, battle phase, target. How much better the trolls is for the lesson? Cool. Okay, Prisma. I hear he lives in a Prisma. Prisma gonna try and copy someone's effect here. I think we go for the Imperm. He might not care. Yeah, absolutely. Like Yami Yugi said, um, Kaiser. Don't be afraid to ask questions, because I know I was afraid a lot of the time, and then I failed some subjects, right? But I'm looking back, when I when I redid my degree, or not redid, when I did my second degree, my masters, I was like, I'm gonna ask questions this time, you know, I'm gonna be active in each lecture, and actually care. I did so much better, man. So yeah, definitely make sure you do that. Man, I hope I can super poly this guy away. Was that gay guardian guy? Is he dark? He's dark? <gasps> you print activates a card or fake targets going to get there. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Oh, this isn't, this isn't the piece I thought it was. This is the different piece. Add a spell trap that mentions the guys. Return if this face up leaves special summon a banished sang archive. Bro, this these cards are good. The gate guardian pieces are like actually good. Hey, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, they're both light though, so I can super poly them. You control gate guardian monster, target one card on the field, destroy it. No Control Gate Guardian, target a card on the field, destroy it. He is about to be so upset. Say goodbye to your board. Gate Guardian is really cool, and the new support I actually think is really good. That's a dark monster. Ah, so I guess I want to make Mud Dragon, but this gives me a negate. I impermed the Prisma, right? Did I imperm the Prisma? It did, right? I think this is worth it. Then I have like a continuous negating card every turn, more or less. Confirm negates. This is negated now, it's no longer a gay guardian card. Oh shit, he gets the special. Ah shit. Ah, shit. Well, I guess he can't swing it in. They're not strong enough. I can negate their effect. Saying is... Quick effect, make that attacking monsters attack zero for damage calc. Bring damage calc. Once while face up, if this card is being attacked. Oh, it's only if it's being attacked anyway. That's funny. Wait, what? This card's cracked! What the fuck? Banish this card, add a blah 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 blah, there's banish or a deck to hand. Holy crap, this man's popping off. He's got the piece back. Deck's so sick. They need to redo DM like this. Muhammad DZ subscribed to the channel. Oh shit. 
What? He just got to summon that? Well, thank you for subscribing, Muhammad. By banishing from hand, field, or grave. Wow. Wow. Crazy. That's crazy, man. Okay. Yep, fair. Quick effect negate. You can only use this effect thrice per turn. Huh? Thrice per turn if we target. Okay. Special a level 11 or lower gate guardian from there. Okay. I've seen gate guardian players get to master with the new support. It's very good. Very good. I think so, anyway. Nothing really to do. And beat over that. Found it. Hmm. Dinner you know, Dark Magician Girl. Oh man, we caught Anima. We caught everything. Damn, Anima'd be so fire right now. Oh no, he targeted. Yeah, he got targeting. Like we go for souls, try to live. I'm a DMG, hit this, he hits us. Otherwise it's rod and do virtually this. Okay. Do this. Oh yeah, I'm just saying that the deck fucking is better than the app. <laughs> Which is sad. Link one dragon, use it to destroy his monster. Huh? Link one dragon? None, Disco. Oh, I'm Doc. Does I'm Doc not target? Holy shit, it doesn't. Holy shit, I'm Doc outs this? He gets to summon another fusion though, which is kind of crazy. Oh, monsters can't attack the turn they're summoned. Oh, he gets to pop this too? Oh. <laughs> well. That's just game. That's game. Yeah, Gate Guardian is better than DM. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, the field spell. I'm not used to field spells having effects, if you can't tell. <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Um, we couldn't attack anyway because of the field spell, but then it also popped. So it was like, okay. <laughs> okay, we need that clapped hand, come on. That busted ass hand. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Alright, lead with the fake card. Just with that Ash King. Nice. Nice. Ash on Illusion of Chaos. Salvation is an awesome approach. Alright, he doesn't have Max C, can confirm. We need this one. Good 
got a pretty good turn one. Could send this and get a draw two of Soul Servant, but nah. We'll get the big guy. The good thing is we can grab that ball drake here. Pretty happy to banish one here, grab the ball drake. Alright, then we get eternal soul. Alright, that's pretty optimal for DM. Oh I should have put Imperm in the middle column though. Oh well. Put it over here. Alright, not bad. Imperm ball drake, circle banish. And Mirror Jade Banish. Or Interruptions, kind of. Kind of. Ah. Lab? Oh. And a Black Wings Normal Summon, add a Black Wing from Deck to. Yeah. That's, um. Interesting sequencing. Set 2 into Black Whirlwind. And fate. Huh? It has to do a monster, right? Okay, yep. It makes more sense. Why didn't you summon Magician Souls? You could have drawn one more card. Uh because I was playing around Bestials and Max C. If I summon Magician Souls, I would have had to get the draws before resolving. Anaconda, which means I could potentially draw into the Albaz or the Branded Fusion, which I really want to draw into. Oh, drawing into Branded Fusion is fine. Drawing into Albaz, not so much. Actually, not that bad. I want to quit some Magician Souls and send Salvation for a draw. But it just means I have to do my sequencing earlier. And you can see at the end there, I went Circle Reveal Top 3. Obviously, Chain Soul Servant, Stack Salvation. And then I went, cool, which cards do I want here? Obviously I get the Salvation. Do I want the Bestial? Do I want the Evenly Matched? Don't really want the Evenly Matched. I want the Bestial for another Interruption. I drew into the Interruption. I could have activated Salvation, set Eternal Soul, and then just Soul Servant and draw a random card if I didn't like the two that were revealed. I think that's a better play in the long run than the free random draw. Plus, if I summon Magician Souls, and then he had the thing to summon Maxi, like it's fucking game over. I gotta commit to Anaconda at that point, that's given him four draws. Because the Magician Souls, Rod's not a draw, I summon, I guess, the normal. Three draws. Souls, Rod, Anaconda, Mirror Jade. It gives him three draws. So that's why we did that. Wow, this hand fucking sucks. What do we do? Summon this pass? Summon this quick effect fuse, I guess. Not fucking great. That's okay. Sometimes you get the best advice from your chat. It's always good to reflect on plays though. What was good, what was bad, what could have been better. Okay, we've got the Ash. Um, I guess we designated the Ash. I, it doesn't really matter. We're not really fucking doing anything. Banish uh, the Ash. Banish and negate the Ash. So we can send to the grave. DMG. Fuck. We don't get any value off this end here, huh? 
We'll do this and get brain infusion next turn. Not that bad. Not that bad. It's brain infusion next turn, but it's something. We survive. We're here for a random draw right here, right now. Let's go for the random draw. I don't know what we want here. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's just start doing things. Yeah, bank it all and get a draw. I sure did. I sure did. Very based. Oh, he's a spell cast and not a dragon. I was like, we can make Dragonite. No. No, we can't. Did we fusion deployment? No, but we normaled. But not Rod. Souls. Make Anaconda here. You put secrets away. Away oh, secrets. You might send the call by here. That might be stupid though. Now we don't have the Dusk Dragon target either. We don't have the Dogmatic or Despia monster from extra deck here. Sucks. I guess we hold the call by. And if he has Imperm, he has Imperm, I guess. Call by won't help with that. He doesn't have it. Not playing Lulu? Ah, uh, no. We were gonna. And we, like, didn't really have room. We probably should cut something for it. Oh shit. Oh shit, no, not that. Fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Fuck, man. Well, I just fucked everything up. I hate that you can't say no to shit in Master Duel once you've said activate it. I mean, it makes sense. Just don't fuck it up. That sucks so bad. Of course, I don't want a Mirror Jade, man. Like, come on. Oh, that's just fucking game. <laughs> so stupid. Man. I just wanted to put God DC back in my head. <sighs> what the fuck were we talking about before I completely fucking derailed my own game? Yeah, we nearly had three wins in a row. Um, yeah, we're not playing Lulu because we're playing dog shit instead. Extra. We don't really have much space. Um, what's lab? I'm just gonna surrender. <laughs> Wait, is it the same sleeves of last game? Is it the same person? It might be. Pretty sure it's game over though. All lab cards in the hand, like, gotta be game, man. Oh no. What is the best deal ratio? I mean, I'm running three. I know Brandon probably run like five or more. Let me see a set five or what? The old Dredge Hog. Big thank my guy. You're a legend. I think we are dying here. Cool that we can special her though, that's really nice. Can we shuffle our Albaz back in? Probably not. Can't call by that one, and the call by is now turned off too. Probably should have chained it on this. What does the new spell do? It is Monster Reborn, my guy.
Man, I should have flipped my coal by, huh? Probably doesn't change much, but just kind of a dead card now. Dregoat super chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Lou za 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 thumbs up. <laughs> Thumb drop. That was my favorite part. Thumb drop. Uh, destroy a random card in your opponent's hand. We kind of had like a lot of the same cards here, so all sucks though. Damn, should have called by the stovey. Ah, <sighs> that sucks. It's quick play reborn with no attacking or effect. Lose the souls. Okay, kind of sucks. Sucks. Do we have the enemy grave? We do have the enemy grave. I'm sure we'll get some decent support eventually. Like Dragoon was such a magical card. There's no way they don't give us something not on that level, but something you know of a similar relevance. Surely a strategist, a cohesive strategy moving forward would be incredible. I don't know if they're willing to do that though. Both gold ones. I can make the Dark Magicians here, but it doesn't actually do anything. I guess I'd do it anyway. Skill drain. When the skill is drained. Okay, well, Tolby's gone. Well, we also play skill drain, but I don't know if we can play through an opponent's skill drain. That's rough. Red and Earth Gang, we can in a box emoji. Yo, we've nearly been streaming six hours. Based. Can you set the can you activate rather the big welcome? Good end phase. I mean, Quick Play Reborn has its own uses. You know, it's different to normal Reborn. For example, I could be like Magician Soul Summon DM. My opponent can be like Chain Abyss to you. I can be like Chain the New Reborn on my DM. Kind of cool. Not the best, but it's it's interesting. Before the end of the main phase. I would like the fusion. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm on a skill drain. Oops. I hope he doesn't have triple tactics. How do I beat over this thing? Why are their, their attack stats are so fucking high? It's absurd. Why all the women's got the high attack? They, they need to make stun decks with low attack, not high attack. They're all like 29 and 28 and shit. DM's power crept even in the stat forms. Chaos Angel, that's a good point. That's an excellent point. We need to draw Magician Souls. Okay. Ugh, I believe we can do it. Getting rid of his Nibiru, probably for the best. I don't think I'm going to summon more than two times. Oh god, we're just dead though. We're so fucking dead, it's crazy. Maybe the call by saves me. 
maybe. I don't think so though. He's not a big welcome in the Betty set though. Oh, it's hand deck great. DLS? Yeah. We're, oh, we're not running either of those in this build. Shit. We don't have either. Kind of rough out here. Yeah, I mean, the game's over anyway. Eh. I don't know, DM just doesn't have a niche, hey. Like, there's nothing it does that it does better than another deck. It, it doesn't do anything. Oh, just, I can just end that sentence there. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> It doesn't do anything good, it just does a bunch of little things. <sighs> oh, I come up on Google? You search the new DM card? For real? Kinda sick. Kinda epic. Guess I start with this. If he ashes though and I call by, it turns off my own ash for next turn. Kinda shit. All right, cool. A deck that could so consistently search is nothing. Not wrong. Oh, he made us go first? Oh, we'll probably get an otk then, huh? We get Lightning Storm otk have to add that oh yeah Mikanko probably is Mikanko probably lose then <laughs> Back from work, I'm still streaming. Damn right. You know it. Oh no, I can't use branded fusion now. <laughs> Why did I do that? Fuck, I forgot. Oh my god. Actually trolled so fucking hard. What am I fucking doing? I can't even add a condor and send the other one because there's only one. Oh, fuck, dude. I just sabotaged my own games at this point. Oh well. Uh, we could have had Dragon Knight, but I guess not. It might be fine if we're, if we're versing Mekanko, this might be ideal, to be honest. If it is Mekanko, that is. Oh, evenly matched. Okay, Dragon Knight wouldn't have mattered. Oh, fuck this wank shit, dude. Even if DM was good, we'd lose to this dog shit anyway. The cancer. Oh, it's even fucking worse. Oh no, it is Striker. Thought it was Runic for a second. 
Oh, red. Welcome to the damn royals, brother. Dragoon negate. Where Dragoon? Dragoon's so good into fucking striker too. Big Sag. And do be striker. Well, we have Brand Infusion, that's cool. Engage. Circles banish forever. Oh, wang. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have to ash it. You can always ash engage when it's a plus two. Ah. Fuck. Why didn't I use Magician Souls first? Oh no, it's fine. Summon this, banish the material, right? Hold the scarred. You can banish DM, I guess. Can we afford to discard? Not really. Hello! How you doing, gamers? Banlist hasn't taken effect yet. It's really cringe. How does Ray come out? River Battle leaves the field because of the bird's cut effect. Fuck, I hate that wording. Why couldn't Dark Magician say exactly that shit, man? Oh, wow. I guess Dragon Knight? Secrets in battle phase? I mean, he's just gonna summon Ray and tag out Ray into something. Like, I can try. I don't really know if I need it. Try. New Monster Ray Bomb be resort? Yes. Uh, take Ray? Take Ray? Win the fucking game? Kind of insane, no? make Master of Chaos here. Maybe we do kill. Hard to gauge. 
Yeah, I wish we could yeet their ray. That'd be the dream. Maybe we do kill them in the battle phase here. Ritual and negate? No, fuck that. Summoning Illusion of Chaos is like always a bait, I swear. Like 99% of the time, dog shit. All my homies hate Ray. Facts. Fuck Ray. All my homies hate Ray. Who's not attacking? The big guy. Okay, that's fine. And I hope we kill this guy. Bonk. Bonk. Master of Chaos kills? Yeah, Master of Chaos kills. Let's go! All my homies hate Ray. Yeah, you banish Ray and they die, so like, in the same sense, if you have Reborn, the quick play Reborn, you can take their Ray, and they also die. No, sir. No, you can't link it away. I like it. Yeah, you just take it. Whew! Thank God we beat Striker, fellas. I hate that deck. Yay! Branded Fusion is a card. What is up, Costa? I don't know, I think the list is okay. We keep bricking on like call by and cross out though. I'm like 11 10. We're not really cooking, let me tell you. A lot of our wins were with Dark Sage. Yeah, we're playing Branded again. A lot of our wins were with Dark Sage though, let me tell you that. I need to make room for a target for this guy. Despia guy. Despia. This fuck knuckle. Who do we cut though from the extra deck? Everyone's so crucial. I'm honestly thinking it's Artemis, and it's like, yeah, because we like never get to do rod shit anyway. I think I do. You missed the Dark Sage gameplay? Big F. I'm cutting Artemis from a list, fellas. Don't tell anyone. I wanna play Lulu? It's like the same shit, right? The Despia Synchro? Yeah, Lulu. It's kind of the same, no? Is this one not better? It's just like Unga Bunga Big Number. Doing main phase target fusion synchro XE link banish it. Seems good. Or special to your field. Oh, and they're graveyard. Okay. Lulu better? Is Lulu really better? Is she an ultra rare? Because that's. She's an ultra rare, fellas. Come on, man. Do I drink coffee? Yes, I need to go make a new one, actually. Lulu can summon cart, which isn't bad. Yeah. If a card leaves the extra deck, when am I going to make a card leave the extra deck, though? Unless she counts herself, which I don't think she does. End phase, if this is in the grave, you can special one light spell cost. Yeah, summons card. Is it not better to just summon the big Unga Bunga man? When your opponent summons from extra deck. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 that works, that works. That's right, it's happened to me. You're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Works with Chronicle because it's 25 25. Probably better than Cali Coffee. You in California? That's fucking sick. Mirror Jade can make a card lead. Oh, that's a good point. It can. It can. Though if I have Mirror Jade, I probably don't have this out, and vice versa. If I have this out, I probably don't have Mirror Jade. Probably. Um. Okay. Well. Let me think. I think I'm Duck's more useful than Artemis. At least in our duel so far, it has been. Albalinius has only come up once. I keep calling it saying that. It's, that's not how you say it. Albalinitus has only come up like once. 
but I put it in after it came up. <laughs> Think recourse wise it's better as well. Res oh, resource wise it's better as well. Um, the, the, what's it called, Despian Lady? Like, maybe. You need Predator Fusion since you have Albaz. Yeah, I've got Anaconda. Anaconda's in there. Um, extra deck just has so many guys. I could cut a fusion target, a, a super poly target, I guess. But I like them. I don't know, it's very, very off Loza brand to cut. I mean, we just won that game because of Master of Chaos, man. <laughs> we just, it's very off Loza to cut Artemis. But here I am, doing that. I miss Rotate so much. I'm saying take out the Pred Fusion. Oh, right, yeah. We could. It's such a good super poly target, though. Like, you get a fucking free effect failure every turn, basically. Kind of good. Man, these hands are kind of slapping there, huh? I guess we get Illusion of Chaos off the Soul Servant. Probably. We're gonna go to summon DM just to see if they have max C. They don't? Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Oh, they have the ash. No? Okay. Vision of Chaos. If DM had black hair, you look like animation. Eh? What do you mean, King? I DM had black hair, you look like animation. Redgehog, I have no idea what you just said. Is that ash? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Deployment. Summon card TCO. Take a pea color DM in the default art style. I say potato DM. Probably the worst one. My fuse with the DMG in my hand, though. This hand can make Dragon Knight, man. There's no real point, but it can. I can make this. Send a light or dark from deck or extra deck to grave. Garuro? Go for the draw? Yeah. If we draw in a soul servant or rod, it's just so big. I wish we could send soul servant and be so good. The Emperor, man. God damn. Alright. Alright, this guy's just cracked. Man opens two hand traps. Alright, we get it. You're not so big. Wait, we don't get Cartesia back? In the end phase of fusion also sent a grape. Ah, oh, it has to be sent a grape. Okay. So like this turn when he kills it. Oh. Doesn't shouldn't this be trying to activate? Even monster special summoned by your apprentice. Activating its effect. Okay. So now? Special summon by your opponent's activated monster effect. Oh. If a monster is summoned by your opponent's monster effect while it's in field of rage, then you can special dogmatic off. Okay. I get it. I get it now. Add a cash. Yeah. 
If DM had black hair, you look like animation. I still don't know what you mean, I look like animation. Eh? Huh? No, we're gonna lose our DM or our granola. No! This is so bad. Well, I think keeping the DM is nice. Okay. Alright. And pure cash sure is a good deck. Did I put the win up for our last game? Let me check. Yeah, the striker win. Yeah, I did. Rise Heart? Yeah, there's nothing we can do about Rise Heart. Man, a rise heart is an arsehole. At least he's dark, so if we draw super poly, it's kind of nice. But man. Three material. Doesn't that mean he has an effect? Attach three material, target a card on the field, banish it face down. Yep. Now I guess to banish three cards from my grave. Oh no, 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 not yet. That's when I use a spell. When I use a spell. Setting one as well. Okay. Rough. Albaz. Albaz is a pretty good draw here, actually. No cap. Dark Magician animation have black hair, you would look like him, especially right now you can basically can see your eyes. Please don't. Um, <laughs> You're a legend, Dredge Hog. That's all I'll say. Dredge Hog. You're a king, mate. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hmm. It's just normal Albaz, right? Hope that it's not in poem set. You can only see your eyes. I'm chilling down here. Chains a rise on and banishes it? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's true, he does have that. Um, do I just lose them? I can't magician solve. I can try lowering the camera, it's really sensitive though. Hmm, this keeps going back up. Maybe we just lose. Dregoat super chatted $4.99. If Dark Magician Animaton had black hair, you would look like him, especially right now that can we just... can basically can see your eyes. P.S. I'm high. It's all good. Thank you for the donation, though. You're a legend. Um, I think we're screwed either way, then, right? It's just got a losing of chaos, I guess. He's gonna strike it. He's not even gonna use the negate thing, the, the banish. Pardon me, it's a face down banish, right? Yeah, banish it face down. Man, I wish DM was just able to do what Albaz can do. Like, let me, let me fuse with the vanilla, like with the opponent board. That'll be nice. God said. Strike. Talk to the hand. I hate the cash isn't dark enough for Super Poly to be good. It's Gozen's good against it, but then they just summon Fenrir and 
Banish goes in, you're like, nice. And a rice heart is such a pest. Oh, he's got five material. Does that affect not once per turn? It's not once per turn. So we just lose. This to your runic? I don't think I have enough gems to craft it no more. But it sounds pretty good. I don't understand this shit, man. It's like pay three material, but then it just keeps getting one back. It's like it's not paying three material. I don't know. Every cash card is overtuned as fuck. It's wild. <laughs> People say that deck's not good and gonna be shit with Fenrir. One are fucking stupid. <sighs> Feels bad. Um, what are we? Twelve eleven. But we still got that 51 win rate, you know? We haven't um we haven't gone negative yet. Yet. <laughs> Close. Um I don't mind the build. Feels like it runs out of steam a little bit. But I mean that'll happen with all DM. It's alright. I think we keep going. I'm just gonna make a coffee, and then we'll keep going. If you guys can stick around. I'll be back in one second. We got some snacks. Playing DM is hell, but it's fun. See? See? It's fun. I swear.
Okay, we're back. We're cooking. How'd you get a membership? Um, the memberships. You've been donating so much. So the memberships are just a dollar, I think. And it just get, gives you it's a dollar a month. But like, you know, you can unsubscribe at any time. Or not unsubscribe, unmember yourself at any time. Um, it just gives you the emotes. Only four. But you know, the emotes are cool. These are the four emotes. You know, we had to have that Dragoon emote on there. Where do you pay? Um, look, good question. I'll go to the channel and see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure it's on there, just members. On my channel, there is thank you to our members and you just go join. It's, oh, sorry, it's $1.50 a month. In Aussie dollars, it's a dollar, I think. Um, and you just get these emotes. I say I priority reply you, which is true. Send me your credit card info. You got me? Alright. You want the numbers on the back too? I'll send those over. Yeah, the DM chads. Put them in the chat, boys. Giga Chad DM. I really want to play pure. I don't know why, chat. I really just want to play pure. Even though this is pretty close to pure. Um, I don't know. Pure's fun, right? That was cool. I don't think we play cross out, to be honest. I think call by is better. I think we cut cross out. I think winning's fun. Me too. Me too. But um, I sold my soul to play DM as a content creator. If I want to win, I'd probably play Grand Maju. I love that deck. That's okay, Dredge Hog. Furthest Edge? What is Furthest Edge? Sounds like Baron de Fleur. Wait, what the fuck? It's a spell cast that target a monster that you control and a card on the field. Special this card, if you do destroy them. This card sent from field to grave. Target one other monster in the grave, shuffle it into the deck. Then I level one plan from deck to grave. Oh, damn. Hell no, what the fuck? It's also an ultra rare. The art is very pretty. It looks like a card from um, one of the plant decks. I forget which one. Just the floor arc top, I guess. Like one of those. Um, we need to cut one card from the main. Sounds dumb, but I might cut one ash. Nah, two ash, surely. Surely two ash. Might be prep at this point. Probably just prep. Don't really have the room. Playing fucking gas, man. Okay, let's roll. I'll be snacking. I'm glad we caught uh, 
Cross out. We open double call by all the fucking time. Playing DM is the definition of insanity. It is true. Um. We don't have anything to do. <laughs> what is up? What is up, Rob? Good to see Roberto in the chat. <clears throat> um, we like set this. Yeah, cool by the great fucks on this card at least. It's kind of good. See how normal this, and he'll probably shit his pants. Go on, shit your pants. I shouldn't have set first, that was silly. Gave away that I bricked. Yep. Whoops. Here we go. We'll set one of these and we'll keep the other. Oh. See you later, buddy. by the grave better than cross out confirmed Wait, did I not set Soul Servant again? Oh no, that was my first turn. So this locks him into Evil Twins. Branded is going okay, to say the least.
this hand clearly sucks, but um, it happens. It certainly does. How many different ones are there now? There's a couple. It's special at Ki Sikil. Thoughts on TCG ban list? Very good. Very, very good. Very nice. Very epic. But we'll see what happens. Oh, pardon me. Maybe I should have just saved Colby for him going into the Link 4 again. He still just gets this one, huh? Yeah, maybe I trolled. Always had the extender too. He also killed Frost, what? It's the same fucking card. They gave it another version. Wild. Well, he's at least negated. But he goes to the Link 4, so I guess I should have held the call by for the next Link 4. The good news is the Link 4 is... No, it's not under call by. No, it is. It is under call by from last time. Hey, Dredgehog, welcome to the DM Royales. Everybody put your DM chat emotes in the chat. Let's go, chat DMs in the chat. Alright, now we wish we held the call by though. Based. Yeah, you kind of epic. In phase, nice. That's good for us. Top deck branded fusion. Well. I'm manipulating the top deck, but um, hey, it'd be nice. Top deck a bad card instead. Not wrong. Not wrong. Okay. The illusion of la chaos. Just wait till they give us that crack DM spell, and we'll actually pop off. Um, this one. Put that one away. It just gets the banish, draw one. Tribute this card special one kill, secure, and one Leela in grave. Then when they come out, it'll be these two. He gets to draw one. Special and Nova as well. Like special. I would come on the field. Destroy it? Yeah, okay. So maybe we can bluff him out with this. Try do some Master of Chaos shenanigans, maybe? Hmm, maybe. We'll try. <laughs> How good was that stream when I was playing Dark Eradicator Warlock or 2K there? I like proper lost my mind that stream. Any stream where I'm in Diamond 2, I'm just like unhinged. The games get so rough when you're trying to get to Master. I'm chilling because we're in Plat at least. It's kind of chill in Plat. Man, when we get to Diamond, shit starts hitting the fan. Starts getting rough. Man, that is not the best draw. <sighs> So I can target one of the guys, force him to use the thing, I guess. Seems alright. Does it have to summon both? You can tribute this card special up to one, blah blah blah, and up to one. It's up to one. Oh, fuck yourself, man. I guess. guess it's this one. 
see how we go. Give me this card to special the cards. Yep, okay. Let's see how it goes. Someone back Cartesia here. I don't know if that's worth it. Not in the fuse of list, really. Wait, this is still negated. Target card on the field is straight, he misses the draw, we chain the secrets. Uh, I think it's just Master of Chaos, but we don't really have a lot to do with it. So make Dragon Knight, but once again, no back row to protect. Make Dark Magician, so that just seems objectively worse. Gotta be Master of Chaos. Get burnt, Yugi. Onk. What could she summon? And some grain grumble. Kind of shit, though. See so his effect when he goes to the pin. And he's destroyed by Battle of Card Effect. Man, Monster Tail sucks. Just summon back the uh, rim. Summon back a literal vanilla. My life is very average. No more doors from. I don't think so. Uh oh, they have more cards. Interesting. If you don't play meta, you have to expect negative results. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Well, that sucks. I guess we just pass there. Try that, like that master dark magician profile. It played like summon breaker and shit. It seems kind of cool. What of me? Special one, Lilla from your bin. There's so many Lillas that it just doesn't fucking matter, huh? What of me? I guess I can just do this and get rid of double Sunny. So he at least doesn't have a send. Let's go with double Sonny. Even though he's probably just making a new one. Ooh, let's look up that Master Dark Magician profile. Might have been King Marty. I forget. Master Dark Magician profile. Wait. Decay just put a Dark Magician profile out. Competitive Master Duel Gameplay Dark Magician and Heroes. Okay. The best pure Dark Magician build, Crushing Metal. I, I highly doubt that. Which one has he used this turn? Lilla. Is that right? No. No? I'm wrong. A oh, Lilla's effect activated to pop. So he's used kill. So we can pop this one now. Send this one. It should be pretty good. 
Dark Arm Duelist has a new deck profile from two months ago. God damn, I need to roast that shit. Holy crap. Heads up, guys. It's Dark. <laughs> Fuck. I have a video where I impersonate him right there. Do you wanna do you wanna see it? Actually, that's what I should have shown when I went to the bathroom. Here we go. What is going on, guys? It's Loda here, and today we're gonna watch a Dark Machine profile. Yeah. <laughs> I never uploaded it, of course, for reasons. Reasons? Oh, man. Maybe the profile is actually good. You know what, it actually is looking pretty good on the ratios, not gonna lie. Oh, but then two secrets, rough. Two secrets is such a strange take. Floodgates, okay. Cool. Actually not that bad. Not that bad of a profile. I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I just skimmed it. Seems alright. Where is... Where is... The best anti-matter Dark Magician deck? That's really funny. Synergy with duality, huh? Where is this Master's Dark Magician profile I remember seeing? If anyone knows who had it, let me know. I think it might be King Marty. Yo, Master of Chaos Effect? Wait, Malicious Bane? Holy shit. What is going on now? I'm grabbing Cold by back. Number one master rank dark magician. Uh, the best dark magician that broke down to beat the metal. It is King Marty. Let's go. It's four months ago, but I'm sure it's still good. Yeah, getting DM with with getting master with DM is crazy. Oh, this is the wrong video. <laughs> this is the wrong video. My boy Marty. Look at the profile. Oh shit. Oh crap. We need to do this. And yeah, we got no cards. How did he get malicious pain out? Not gonna lie, chat. I was not watching. Oh, you do like. Dark calling thing. Okay. <coughs> Holy shit. He did some things. He did some stuff. What does it do again? I forget. Can it be destroyed by battle of card effects during your main phase? Destroy all your opponents, blah, 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 blah. Wait, that's it? Okay. We can just play. Damn engrave. No DMG. We bank it all on the Garuru draw, maybe. No, this isn't the list. It used Summon Breaker. It's not this video. Dark Magician Summon Breaker? I think that's what it's called. Well, that's Dark Magician deck. Is that fucking Duel Links? It's Duel Link. Um, Trouble Sunny. Who's gonna do this? Thing no.
Man, I can't find this this freaking master duel profile, dude. I have to go looking for it after. Mr. Claus is a DM duelist. Oh, maybe it's him. I remember. Yujin Shinka. Speak play Monster Reborn. Oh, it just hit 9 p.m. My screen just got like this light tint. We've been streaming for a long time, chat. I wish we could mill Soul Servant off this. Really do. Oh, he's got the Ash. Wow, that sucks. Should have summoned this in defense. Why did I put in an attack? That's a bit silly. Putting in an attack mode. I'm not gonna fucking battle with it, am I? Oh well. Let's pass. See what happens. Six hour stream. Let's go. MDOTS is going hard. I love this song. Hey. Real good. I'm um, going back on my search. Hey, my profiles are coming up. That's pretty funny. Hey, he popped it. You can destroy all monsters with attack blast. I thought it like couldn't attack the turn it did that. Oh well. Clearly, it can. I swear I read something about not attacking, but I was probably looking at the wrong card. Don't tell me the summon breaker shit I was looking at was for fucking duel links. There's no way. There is no way, Yugi. Hmm. We're looking. Mr. Claus, you said? Let me check Mr. Claus. It might have been him. Oh? Strongest Dark Magician deck joins ranked in Master Duel. This could be him. This guy looks kind of clean. I've seen this channel before. I've I've seen I remember seeing this Dragon Ball Z house. Fuck yeah. Perfect Pistol Dark Magician deck joins rank tool. Based. Where is the one that he got master with? Or maybe I'm misremembering. My man's playing Drowning Mirror Force. Wild. Man. I feel like I'm crazy. I can't find this, this deck profile that used Summon Breaker. Hmm. Damn, there's a lot of content here. Kind of crazy. Man, if you guys like Dark Magician, the channel looks kind of insane. Dragoon Thumbnail? What the hell? You can't summon that. Clickbait? I don't know man Dark Magician Master Rank Deck I don't, I don't know what to type in man I'm Trying to get all the buzzwords he, I think Marty got Master with this deck he, he did, he fucking sure did. Well, let's look at his build first of all. We should. Master Duel Meta Site? Yeah, that's a good point. Could do that. Who the hell is this guy? Master Duel Meta. Pure Dark Magician. This guy claims he's in Master 2? Dark Magician? He's not leading by showing us he's in Master. That's bit of a worry 16k views though holy shit just for saying haha master tier dark magician doesn't even prove it that's a bit of a yikes to me a man's playing on his fucking phone nah nah thumbnail right here chief thumbnail right here hmm It's not pure the moment you have a card that's not related to DM like Ash. These people are fucking insufferable. How do these people fucking exist? It's not pure the moment you have a card that's not related to DM like Ash. Bro, screenshot. Screenshot clown on this fucking dickhead. 
These people deserve to fucking cop the biggest L's in life. These people honestly deserve all of the bullying that exists in the world. These people are insufferable assholes. Let's go. As pure as it's gonna be, bro, you act like every deck's gonna be pure. Yeah, Ash Maxia Staples. It's like, bro, have a common sense. Fucking L. Such an L take, man. Like, these people are actually fuckwits. <laughs> DM purists at it again. DM purists, get the fuck out, honestly. They're insufferable dick knobs. I get them on my videos all the time being like, well, it's not a pure profile because you're playing Maxi and Bestials. It's like they're hand traps. Shut up, man. <laughs> so fucking annoying. This list looks pretty pure too. Even running like the new fusion, like goddamn. Okay, let me just see the list. Got one eye of Tamias too. Keep the purest tappy. Bro, two Ash, two Maxi. This guy's like, it's not pure DM. Oh my god. Yeah, adding hand traps equals not pure. It's like, are these people actually fucked in the head? This guy gets a crushing DM, like meta with DM. Oh yeah, I know this guy. That guy's a legend. Um. Yeah, and these are the same people. These are the same people who are like, Dragoon isn't a DM card. Or they refuse to play Dragoon because it's busted. It's like, what? <laughs> what? You retards said we have to play pure. Dragoon's a DM card. Like, well, uh, actually, other decks play out. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, they need to unban Dragoon. True. Unban my boy Goon. This man played Magic Karibo. This man's fucking trolling. Alright, you got your boy Marty here. This guy's a fucking legend, by the way. If you aren't sub to him, go sub. Am I not subbed? I'm not on my actual account right now. Let me check if I'm subbed on my actual account. Fuck, I can sub to him on this account too. Who cares? I am sub to Marty. Yeah, good. I'm gonna say, if I'm not sub to him on my main. Crazy. Yeah, if you play DPE in Heroes, it's not pure Heroes. It's true, because you got to play pure Elemental Heroes. You can't be playing Mixed. You can't Mixed Heroes up. Come on. Bro, this is such an achievement. My man, like, I know this is four months ago, but my man's in Master with Dark Magician. Like, I haven't done this. Base top comment. Let's see if there's any purists in here. Be better if Dragoon was playable based. Dark Magician Goat based. Nice one, bro. Based based 32 urs that sounds like dm pardon me congrats love playing dm i will never get that to master yeah look it's hard it's it's a bit of luck as well this is a really good comment but it doesn't have any likes well i met a destroying dm deck that actually is decent that's a huge compliment and like no one's upvoting this this is so important because there is just so many profiles on YouTube, so many decks. Be like, meta destroying, anti-meta, dark magician, best deck, and they're like a silver fucking player, right? But this is Marty, King Marty, who is literally a king and is master tier with the deck. Like, you should listen to his opinions. Oh, here we go. Dude, this is not dark magician deck. Two of our 15 cards in your extra deck are not DM. Two of the 15 cards are not DM. Holy shit, let's let's screenshot this one too. Let's screenshot this one too. These people need to be fucking cyber bullied and flamed, honestly. Get this out of their fucking system. Stop being a fucking clown. You were probably bullied all through your life and we're gonna do it some more. Holy shit. There's no way these people yeah, dude has a DM profile pick. He had my DM profile pick. These people are insufferable assholes. Found more. Keep it going. <laughs> this is so wild. This is not DM. Two of the 15 cards in the extra deck are not fit. Like, DM. Like, what? Two out of 15. Let's look at that as a percentage. 
thirteen percent. So, so seventy. It's like seventy six point six 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 of your extra deck. Wait, is that math or is it eighty six? Oh, I'm stupid. It's eighty six, right? Eighty six point six 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 of your extra deck is DM, and they're like, no, nah. no. Nah. Over 10% of it's uh, not DM. 15 out of the 40 main deck cards are not DM. Bitch, have you read DM cards? None of them are good. This is some random ass deck with a bit of DM sprinkled in for flavor. Alright, I, I need to reply to this on my actual account. I, I need to reply to this one. But see, YouTube blocks a lot of my comments whenever I insult people. And whenever I like say a slightly offensive word, they're like, oh, comment doesn't go through and I'm like bro come on these people need to be put in their place people are literal animals they should go live outside guys I'm not even gonna lie to you I am absolutely giddy to announce Whoops. that we made it to master this man made it to master and there's an actual clown who's comments being like actually it's not dark magician You a clown for real, man. Keep the negative purist gatekeeper comments away from a master DM profile. You could never achieve this if you tried. Smile. I think that's pretty tame. That's pretty tame for me. But anyway. These people are hilarious, it's true. They give us something to laugh about, which is really nice. Like, they just don't seem real. Like, it, you'd think they're trolling and it's like a joke, but they're not, they're serious, and that's what makes it so sad. Wait, we gotta check their profile out too. Paladins ranked competitive. That says it all, holy shit. My mans plays Paladins. That's enough, we don't need to see any more. That's plenty. Plenty. I can't believe this Dark Magician player made this. It's just Dark Law. He just played Mask Change 2. Good job, Master Duel Kali. Why does this short have 65k views and it's just DMG with tits out? So people are like, I must click it. I must watch the short, guys. Not the branded DM, but it's in Duelist Cup. We don't care. It's Life of DM. We don't care. Matchy, based, but we've already seen it. Based, we've already seen it. Mr. Claus, epic DM deck for ranked. Yep. This guy is an interesting guy. I've seen him do some DM profiles. Titty thumbnail once again. Um, hey, my video, titty thumbnail, but I put Yugi in the way. Big brain. Big brain. No titty clickbait. I get flame for this, by the way. This tier list, because I like start with like Anaconda and people are like, that's not a DM card. It's like, clearly you've never played competitive. <laughs> like, it's pretty much a DM card. Strongest Dark Magician deck in ranked duel. The end board has three vanillas on it, basically. Strongest DM board, three vanillas with Chaos Angel, which is essentially a vanilla as well. So like four vanillas. I really wish I could find this profile. I remember the thumbnail, it had Summon Breaker in it. Man, we're never gonna find this shit. Oh, here it is! Holy shit, we found it! Master 1, here it is! Holy shit, I just said, hey, Summon Breaker is in the thumbnail. Holy crap, thank god we found it. Rhyme is a casual, I, I can't remember which guy that was we were talking about, but yeah. Yeah, in this age you need to run Floodgates or Hand Traps or something. Oh, he's a VTuber, cool. Don't I know this guy? Wasn't there a cool VTuber DM guy? I forget his name. Shit, I should remember him. He was a cool guy. Is this him? Or is it a different person? If it's him, his name has changed. There was a VTuber DM player and he was really cool. All right, here's the list. 42 cards, by the way. Power Sink Stone. Urgh. All right, I guess I'm playing it though. Triple Metaverse. Bro, why do you play this Kaiju with three? I guess just because it's the weakest one, yeah. I would always play the dark one, but I guess you don't have to, like, there's no lore. I forget who he was. 
thinking of the name of the VTuber DM guy. I can't remember his name. He was really cool. I haven't seen him upload in a while. We do need to make a new roasting series, but just don't comment. So that's a good idea, Harry Senpai. Yeah, what, what's the... Yeah, Moon F. DM, plan, DM fans want the deck to be pure, but it's like, have you watched the anime? <laughs> Yugi plays like fucking Celtic Guardian or like Beaver Warrior. <laughs> like, man, my man's Yugi didn't even play pure. So funny. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, this is the profile that got to Master Tier. Is there. Look, no, no offense, but is there like proof? And I don't want to see games, I just want to see a track record. Show us the match history. Oh, I don't want replays. Okay, here it is. Here's his profile at the end. That's not Master. Huh? I swear this is PB. That was his name, PB. Yeah, no, this is him. This is PB. It is PB, right? This is a guy. PB, you are in Diamond 1. I mean, Diamond 1, he probably filmed this before. No, you know what? That that does mean he's in Master, basically. You know, yeah, that confirms it. Oh, wait, no. He confirmed it at the fucking start. I'm stupid as fuck. PB channel. I'm fucking dumb. You literally hit Master 1 with it. Okay. Okay, PB, what... How did he hit Diamond Master 1? How long ago? A couple of months ago. PB, why are you so good? I remember me and him chatting back and forth about DM stuff and we were actually having like good combos. Why is he so good? How did he get all the way to the top? Master Rank Achieved Season 21 Best Dark Magician deck three weeks ago as well. What, another one? How does he keep hitting Master with it? Is he just goaded? Diamond to Master 5. Master 5 is still respectable. PB, why are you so good? He's cracked. I'm not sub to him on this account. He needs more sub. He deserves more sub. Okay, the video is not loading. He's playing the new Dragon Knight? Playing the new Dragon Knight. Um, where's the list? He doesn't show the list off. Rough. Fair. Fair enough. Keeping the goo. Just keeping the goo hidden. Alright, let's 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 make the PB list. Like, clearly what I know about the deck is dog shit, so let's just make this list. It is kind of hard to prove that they hit it, but you know what? Like, if they at least can show me their master, I'm already like, it's a good start. Like, some people just don't. See recent uploads, yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. Yugi plays literal Black Luster Soldier with the gods piled in. Oh man, we nearly hit the uh Oh man, I love Cubic. I need to go back to Cubic. I think we're gonna delete this deck. Bye bye. And let's go ahead and copy this. Now we'll do some edits. Oops, this one. Edit. I'm gonna say PB. PB DM. All right. Let's start by getting rid of the branded cards. He didn't play any bestials. Wow. No Fenrir. What? Is, this man is just insane. No prep. Just three illusion of chaos. Okay. Man, man's just cracked a DM, I guess. Um. Uh, no super poly. No brand fusion, no fusion deployment. He played Tomahawk. I should have used a different DM call. I got rid of Master Chaos. Oh, put him back. Um, Chaos Angel. He played BLS. My man didn't play BLS. Played two Link Spider and I'm Doctor. Okay. Oh no, that's for the Tomahawk. Tomahawk combo. He played DMG. No DMG. Respect. Massive respect for that. Evenlies? No. Triple Metaverse. Holy shit. Triple Imperm too. I do have Imperms. Okay. Triple Imperm. Maxi. Oh, no DMG. Oop. Rod at three. Souls at three. Um, Kaiju. Uh, this one. I need two more. 
Wow, we're running out of SR gems. Got the Kaijus. Nib. Two nib. Dark magic attack. Alright. I guess we're going there. How many circle and all that? Two circle, two eternal soul. Three souls. Okay. Two circle. Two eternal soul. One salvation, of course, right? Yep, yep, yep. Especially with the field spell emphasis. Yep. Um, one village. What am I missing? The dark magic attack. What is dark magic attack? It's a common, of course. Um, summon breaker. I think is what. It, fuck. Summon breaker. Just one. I thought he would play more, but fair. Chicken game. One chicken game. Be nice if we had terraforming. One village. And then it's just metaverse. I'm gonna have to craft some more. Um, skill drain. Power sink, which I hate, but let's do it. We need to craft one more. Power sink. That's it. Wait, we do not have... What do we... What have we got that he doesn't call by? Um, we need to fix up the extra deck, so we need Tomahawk. Go with that, we need the Link. Spider. To... We'll have to see what Tomahawk combo he does, because I don't think he's playing any of the main deck bricks. Two Artemis, that's a bit weird. We really need the one. IP? Wait, IP, but like nothing to go into? Wait, he's playing the Attic Nista? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? He's not playing Dark? Oh no, he is playing Dark. Selene. Access? Yep. Is that the Attic Nista boss monster? I don't even have- oh shit. Attic Nista. I don't even have it. It's probably an Ultra Rare. Sure fucking is. Three monsters with different attributes. Does he go into it with IP? Original attack of this card is a thousand times the link material I'm picking by the card. I got another card on the field, straight if you do summon the token. What is the deal with this? Metaverse is for village and also this, summon breaker. I have two Master of Chaos? I sure do, thank you. Dark Magician. Did he not play Dragon Knight? Or did he? Oh he didn't he didn't play any DM fusions. He doesn't play secrets. Huh? No secrets. Holy shit. He literally displays each individual card for the last second you catch the deck list. Very weird how he shows it. Yeah. No secrets. Wait. Why is he playing the fusion? Oh, he's not. He's not playing the fusion. I was like, why is he playing the fusions? He's not. I am. Not a single DM fusion. Okay. Look, I'll give it a fucking go. This is the profile that got masters, not mine. Surely you just play one secrets though. Like, a lot of the DM fusions are quite good. Hmm. Three chicken games is one of his decks? Yeah, I know. But we're doing this one. I'm gonna do this one card for card. Never Royal Craft feels bad, man. Well, that's why I have no no mats. <laughs> no mats. Um, we need to get some more mats. Speaking of which, gonna have to dust some guys. I can't dust that. Damn. Oh, why do I have this? Fuck that off. Why do I have this? What the crap? I got some random ass shit here. Elf crack. Okay, I can't get rid of that. Um, get rid of that. Probably I can't get rid of the rest of these probes. That's fine. Um, I heard your match, by the way. Meta verse. Fuck it, we make two. Feels bad, man. What am I missing? Hmm. What does the Tomahawk combo get you? The Attic Nesta? Avramax? Do I have Avramax? 
I don't think I spelled it right. Avra. I do. I pay no unicorn. I mean, I'm gonna put unicorn for now instead of a second Artemis. I guess the deck's just trying to rank seven with the Kaiju. But if, it, oh, okay, so going second rank seven, going first, Floodgate. Floodgate the opponent. Interesting take on the deck, hey. Very interesting. Some whole combo gets you adding Nesta. Oh. I don't have the material to craft it. <laughs> so what do you do? You make Tomahawk. Link two of the tokens away for IP. Link Spider, Link Spider. We could play one Media Dragon. Wait, we need one more DM, don't we? You reckon I got a free pack? Let's see. No, we do. Let's go. Yo, two ultra rares. Holy shit. Two, two ultra rares, chat. My god. My god. Order obtained. Oh, yeah, this is order obtained. That was nice. Two ultra rares in the free pack. That, you can't ask for a better free pack. Holy shit. Oof. Um, no, not number owned. What do we normally sold by? Just rarity. Let's flip it the other way. Yeah, we're getting rid of that pearly. That, that was an insane free pack. We can craft the Ignista. I just need to dust one thing. Um. Hmm. You know what? I need to put Chimera in some builds, by the way. I always forget. He's a good guy. Rise hard, Lemayo. Maybe I have rewards from the battle pass? I have finished the battle pass, my guy. <laughs> Do we can actually dismantle? I mean, I'm just gonna dismantle something that I don't want anymore. I have two Selenes. There you go. I need two Selenes. Alright, I think that's it. What is this card? Okay, I can't get rid of it. Adding Mista. I gotta work out how to summon this shithead. Monsters with different attributes. Okay. You need two Appaloosa? Mm, don't think so. I think you only ever need one. Yeah, my battle pass is done, but I have the missions here. What are we getting? Two gems. Nice. Big. Another free pack. Oh, I have another one? Shit. I didn't even realize. We'll come up here. Yep. Big thank for crafting the Attic Nesta, right? Oh, right? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We got cracked pack lock today. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go dust that right now before I forget. Dark Templar. Let's go. Three pack god right here. I'm telling you to play out against it. Please no. Please no. Haven't opened all the secret packs yet. What do you mean open all the secret packs? Like you unlock them for like 24 hours. It's kind of stupid. Oh god. I should just be permanently unlocked once you get them once. Bit, bit of a strange choice. Still right here, officer. Oh, no, I got the wrong deck. Friend Blake has texted me. Oh, wait, oh, we need to back out. 
Get me out. I got the wrong deck. You opened my crafting in SR. Being the first time you use your free pull. It certainly didn't back in the day, but I guess now it does. Interesting. Alright, let's try the Tomahawk. Oh, skill drain. What a beautiful card. You know, look like crafting the SR in the pack and doing it the first time. Oh, yeah. I already read that. I don't know why I read it again. Chilled Potatoes just messaged me. Now he's here harassing me in stream. Alright, let's see if we can draw a level 7 next time. Well, we have to draw the, the Kaiju, right? I guess I should have summoned Dion. Shit, I forgot to book my uni grad. Hospital Meta has the entire list. Oh, kinda of big. Kinda of big nuts. Oh, it's S Force. I hate this deck. You're busted. This hand does not rank 7. Dual Links Meta. Master Dual Meta. This hand doesn't do it. We really just want to do the Tomahawk practice. Yeah, this does it next turn. That's good. I don't know, I'm just gonna set forward to the fucking AI, who cares? Montage Dragon, by the way. Yeah, that's a big boy. Oh shit, I forgot the soul servant in the end phase. <laughs> oh, I had one job. I had one fucking job. Alright, well, let's try that again. Hand testing in this game fucking sucks. I should probably do it in EDO Pro, but I'm too lazy to rebuild it again. Actually, this gets me there. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't get me there this time. AI just dumps it all for Montage Dragon. Man thinks he's gonna be in the montage. He's gonna get Eternal Soul so I can keep summoning DM. We got debated with the DM art. Legit. We really did. It's a field spell that's kind of like summon kind of good. I don't know. We're gonna find out how good. Well, let's establish the board presence with this card. Oh no, with this can't do the rank seven combo. If we have this dickhead. Yeah, this is just summon limit in field spell form. Really, that's all it really is. How do I out my own fucking chaos angel? If I can summon DM in his turn and then on my turn. How do I get rid of the big ass angel? So I can have enough zones to tomahawk. Oh, I guess I can just treat it like a token, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's fine. Fuck this card, by the way. That was a dickhead card. Oh, maybe he'll out it for me. Yay! <laughs> What a king! He outs it for me. Okay, as long as he doesn't disrupt what I'm trying to do here. So 
so it's like quick effect. I'll get a face up effect, monster opponent control and negate its effect until the end of this turn and you can move it. Ow! How do I play around this one interaction? So I can practice my fucking Tomahawk combo, man. <sighs> I guess I can't. I guess I have to out this. I don't want to have to access code Link Climb. But I kind of do. Oh, no, he just negates it, right? Eats it? Yeah. Hmm. What the fuck do I actually do? I just want to practice. Uh, I fucking hate Master Hill, dude. Just let me lab a fucking combo. It doesn't even look like the deck does it much. What up, Muhammad? Okay, we have two DMs. Let's go. Now we got it this time for sure. It's alright, we got it. We're chilling. Hit the circle banish too. The double DM hand, but we actually wanted it for once. So funny. Oh yeah, for sure. Tomahawk should be banned. Like, straight up. It shouldn't exist. Chilling. We finally get to do it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we do lose the one imperm. But it is still degenerate. I don't think we care about this. We just want to get rid of. I guess it's a tax that's too high there. Um. Quick effect, banish your S-Force from your hand, return this card in a special one. Okay. Each of your opponent's monsters in the same column can only target that monster for attacks. For its monster in the same column as one of your S-Force monsters. Okay. okay. Maybe we do just pop this, because we want DM to survive. <gasps> Pardon me. I could have tributed that all the mess got right back. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather lose to opponent hand trap than because my deck stinks and true. Okay, so this is just can't target each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as an S force can only target that monster for attacks. Can't change battle position. Okay, I don't think we care about either of those things. Let's do the combo. Let's go. Oh yeah, we can do this too. We may as well just do this, so we don't have to bullshit. Do this, so we don't have to think about anything. Go away. Have a kaiju. All right, let's practice on the hole. Boop, boop, boop. <clears throat> Water card. Toma Hawk. Detached duo. Aha, summon five. So IP. IP is always the start from what I can tell. And now it's like Link Spider, but then I'm like, I don't know. Link Spider.
And this dickhead says, where is he? Three monsters with different attributes. It's not that OP, yeah, true. Shouldn't we be able to make him? Three plus monsters with different attributes. We have one, two, three. Oh yeah, it's not adding up to the thing yet though, is it? So if I do this, but then they don't have different attributes. Huh? How does he get there? How do you get there, chat? <laughs> you can't use tokens for I'm Duke. Are you meant to use, like, Rod here? But Rod's a dark. Rod become Artemis? Oh, is that why you play the second Artemis? You normal Rod here and it becomes Artemis? Is that what you do? I guess. I can't tell what else you would do. I guess that's why he's on two Artemis. One for normal Rod shenanigans and then one for here. Yeah, Dragon Link 1. I mean, he's doing it without. I'm guessing... Yeah, wouldn't the Dragon Link 1 be better? Right? Dragon Link 1. What Dragon Link 1 will come off a machine level 6 token though, you know? Confused Unga Bunga, that is me right now. Maybe I can see him do the combo. He's playing I'm Doc, you can't you can't use I'm Doc, bro. You can't use I'm Doc with tokens. Oh shit, he literally goes through it. it yeah, you normal rod. No, I'm Doc is a normal monster that's not a token. List red. Okay, here's the combo. It's just rod. It's just rod into Artemis. Oh, wait, no, he makes... What? Oh. He makes Nightmare Phoenix? Did we put that in? Nightmare Phoenix is two monsters with different names, though, no? Did those two become Nightmare Phoenix? Huh? Where's... Did I not put it in? Oh, I didn't put it in. Oh, my bad. I forgot Nightmare Phoenix. Somehow. You don't need Rod on field. Oh, you do. One, two, three. Yo, there's four different attributes. I feel like that wasted some resources, though. I feel like there's a better way to do that. Feels like there is a different combo you could go that gets you there. With that many fucking bodies. You surely don't just end on that. Surely, isn't Appaloosa just better at that point? Maybe not. I guess because you're playing with Skill Dream. Um, oh, this is the wrong deck. Okay. Nightmare Phoenix. I swear you could do that without the rod normal. Maybe. Mayhaps. Because he, like, only used one Link Spider, right? Let me check. Need Rod on field? Hmm. Let me see the combo again. It's being really laggy. Oops. Okay. Wait, Rod's on field. So Rod could just not be there, right? Because, like, in theory, you have two Link Spiders. And this could just be one of the Link Spiders. Right? Because, look. Why does the rod even become a link? Because it's dark, so it needs to be light. I don't think you need rod on the field. I don't think you need rod on the field. I think I can work out a way where you don't need the rod. Um, for everyone's sake, I'm going to do it in Edo Pro though. 
So everyone doesn't have to cry and deal with me doing that again on Master Door. Okay, so we need... What do we need? What's our fucking... We need souls in the opening hand, and we just need any level 7 extender. A shooter will be fine for the combo. Two cards, don't shuffle. Cards don't shuffle, great. Um, in the extra deck, we need, yeah, two link spiders. I don't even think we need the two link spiders, but we'll run it. We'll run it. Um, we need Tomahawk. This is banned, so we'll turn the ban list off. Tomahawk. What else do we need? I should put this up here. We need IP. Yeah, I can't type, huh? What the fuck is that? IP. Uh, Nightmare. See, that the Nightmare Phoenix could have been like any Link 2, I feel. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's a better one? Maybe not. Um, obviously, the Ad Ignista. Big guy. That's it, right? I think that's it. Hmm. Alright, let's find out. Or if this is really loud, just tell me if it is. Magician girls? Hell no. Why 2DMG? Beat a DM, play who ran 2DMG. 3DM, two, 2DMG, two, 2 Chronicle, Sork, 3i, and Sage Stone. Oh man, aspiring girl, that is, that is rough. Those poor souls, they're the, they're the people. Oh shit, I put this in the wrong zone. <laughs> I can't talk and play. They're the same people who are like, Your DM list isn't pure DM, bro. You ran two hand traps. That's banned. They're the same people who are like, You must play 17 DM cards that don't do anything. Chocolate Magician Girl Boston. I have two IPs, lol. Oh well. Look, I'm pretty sure you can go without the roll. Oh, but this needs to affect mon- No, monsters with different names. So, like, you make another link to fight, right? Oh, no, not that. Can you make this? Am I not trolling? Does this not make the Ad Ignista? See? See what I mean? I was like, you don't need the rod, fellas. I'm big brain. We don't need no rod, bitch. Rod can come later. At one point, he had all three DMs, both DMGs and Dragonite on the field. He had two cards on the field and still won. How did you win? <laughs> DPE DM draws Dasher every turn? True. Alright, well that's cool that we can do that without Rod. I was nearly certain I had that down. Yeah, I was like, Tomahawk's a one card arrival, but the only video I could find used Rod, and I was like, uh... But it was already on the field, so I was like, what? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the appeal is. It's like a 4k monster unaffected by effects that can't be destroyed by card effects. But I don't really know what you're meant to do. Like, you just sit behind that in your floodgates and win, I guess. I guess that's the whole thing. Hmm. It has a summon animation. Yeah, access code beats over it as well, which is kind of wild, hey? But I guess the idea is you slid them down with the floodgates. I, but man, I don't know. I know as much as you guys.
I want to play Happy Unicorn. What can I cut here? Hmm. Maybe Anima. Wait, what does Anaconda do on this list? Is that what I'm trolling with? Yeah. Anaconda doesn't do anything on this list, hey. Yep, okay. There we go. Okay. Let's try it in ranked. The PBDM. Let's do it. Yeah, isn't Avramax kind of better? Yeah, I'm not really sure what the go is. Not really sure. Like, I would assume so. Well, let's find out together. Maybe there's something we're missing. I guess, like, lab and shit just can't out it, though, right? There's probably a bunch of decks that just can't out it. What Verte Mouth do, though? <laughs> My god. Max C on circle is fucking crazy, bro. You ever just get max seed on fucking circle? Holy shit, circle's adding. And we're still doing nothing, so we're gonna set this and pass. Different three hand traps, yo. Massive. Chimkin game. Set one. Off you go, love. We got nothing. Technically, if you have a rival and skill drain, nothing beats it but a kaiju. I guess. I guess so. Circle never misses. Stream a lock. Get max seed on duality. It's very funny. Oh god, it's Sprite. Um, I would like to draw cards, please. And then Nibiru you before you hit in the gate. Called by. Should have ashed first. I should have ashed first. God damn it. I should have asked he would call by Maxi free. I'm a very silly sausage. Now I cry. No draw for me. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, they're level twos. <sighs> well, we gotta hope he doesn't hit in the gate. By the time we get to Nibiru. One, two, three. Or is that does that count as the one summon? And I haven't seen this card in a while. No, we're not gonna ash, we're gonna save that till after. Well oh, that's not once per turn. I shall up to two. Yeah, that's one summon. So he's gone one, two, three. This will be four. If he hits in the gate right here on the fifth summon, I'm gonna be a bit upset. But it's normal to do special. Okay, well, you didn't know. You're the dragon? Where's the blue eye support? True. Ma uh, Ma Magia. Master of Magia. He's the year of the dragon, big boy. Probably. Okay, we're, we're up to Nibiru territory. The beaver gets normaled. Special's another, and then we hit the nib. We hit the nib so hard. Okay, fuck off. Rock! Hope we get kept Anima. We did. Good stuff, we can out it with Magician Souls. Oh yeah! Never forget, Rodent Totem is fucking crazy. Rot roll. He's just gonna keep playing anyway. Ooh. Oh, I forgot he had another normal. He had another normal from Stupid Frog. Jet to add a sprite spell trap. We're gonna have to ash it and hope he doesn't have starters in his hand or whatever it's called. Maybe I should have waited for the out of starters though. Starter, sprite starter. Yeah, probably. Oh well. <sighs> so what does this make? It still makes the big sprite? Big sprite gamer? Yeah, gigantic into blue? Is gigantic from deck? 
Man, it fucking- it doesn't matter if you open three hand traps against this shit, hey. You just get fucking cooked regardless. Yeah, if Maxi worked, we'd be chilling. We'd have a handful of fucking dreams. Then we got fucking dog magic attack. TV's wild in playing dog magic attack. Bro, this fucking XZ or the Link 2, whichever one you make, the Link 2. This deck is fucking crazy, dude. What a mistake this Link 2 is. Like, they already have a Link 2, is the crazy thing. And they just got a fucking another one that's even better. My god. Oh, of course his last card is Sprite fucking red. Um, red's the monster negate? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how Elf isn't banned. Kinda wild. Not making a broken. Yeah, Konami not making broken Link 2 challenge impossible. Oh, yeah, and an XZ that can be summoned off Links. Cool. How does he play through three fucking hand traps, man? Plays through three hand traps and he's still gonna OTK me. Fucking crazy. I went, Maxi got negated, Nibiru wiped the board before, like, he would have just started making negates by then. And then I just hit him with the, the ash, and it just doesn't fucking matter, huh? They want a challenge for DM, we don't have a single link monster for DM. Hmm? They didn't even draw starter, they just fucking... Like, every card in their deck's a starter, really. Ironic that their spell's called starter. We called extender. Alright, Pixies. I don't know if I've seen this one play. Oh, it's the one that gains attack. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tap Shark Gaming. Surely he's locked into level twos. I was like, Zeus could come out here, but surely he's locked into like twos or some shit. Surely. Okay. Still has elf effect. Thank god something fucking locks them. Other decks need a fucking lock, I swear. This is bad. This is real bad, though. Pretty sure he just has red come out, and then I can't use Magician Souls, so... Hat shark. I haven't seen that card in a whole minute. Oh, they play one because they lost some names. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, fuck this stupid card, man. Okay, there's another Pixies. Looks like he's playing two Pixies. Where's his other Pixies? Under here? Drink damage card, give another level 2 rank 2 battles. This card from Man of Grave then also gets double. Till the end of the turn. Okay. That shark is a very cool guy. He's just sitting in a cringe deck. Let's be real. Why is that thing so fucking jacked? Holy shit. 
between the token and that thing. Like, we're just dead. Why did I summon in attack mode? I'm fucking dead, bro. No, I can't even target that because of the elf. Too much I need to get rid of. Probably off. I can only swing into these. I need this draw to be insane, by the way. Uh we just used Soul Serpent. That's <sighs> for fuck's sake. Well, we just lose. Bro, how does this deck fucking brick so bad? Like, you you banish Soul Servant to draw and you draw in a fucking Soul Servant. Like, bro. How does this deck suck so many balls? There's fucking 33 cards in my deck and I draw the same card I banished. Like... I'm gonna kill myself after that. Holy shit. Right, I'm fucking cutting Dark Magic back, man. That card sucks fucking balls. Fuck that card, man. I think I'm only gonna play one in Perm, too. A uh, two in Perm, sorry. I'd rather go to 40. Let's go. Yes, die roll win. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go. Oh, we're at the break it even point. Oh, pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. I'm gonna DM this way to play around bestials when I start doing other things. I don't banish my DM and my soul servant doesn't whiff because they're fucking everywhere. Um, Ash balls. Oh fuck. I wish I pressed Illusion of Chaos first. We're gonna get Ash. Okay. okay. That sucks. So what, we can pray Circle Hits? Really about it? We just pray Circle Hits. There's nothing really else to that. why I did that but I'm kind of like scooping for Ash Droll okay why didn't he droll me oh cuz he ashed me yeah that sucks well now I get nothing how much like straight up fucking passing hmm Wild. Can't make Verte? Because we're not playing it. Yeah, that's right.
I know they have a Link one, but I'm just gonna start with this. Probably should wait on the rod till later when I do Soul Seven or whatever. Plays into tactics if I do it this way. Oh, the Link one's unaffected by traps? Man, thanks for the Link, yeah. Well, it was just unaffected by holes, but... You know, unaffected by traps, you're right. Well, the trap trick with deck with a different thing. Okay. Man, I hate that Trap Tricks have a fucking link, man. Like, come on, man. They have multiple as well. Kind of weird. Why do we know have link? Anxiety. Special one from deck as well. Power sink stone, guys. It's cracked. Gate travel. Okay. Yeah, this is where shit hits the fan. Without using the triangle? Clapped. How did you beat Runic, my guy? That shit's hard to beat. Oh, fuck you, cunt. Outing circle, what a little wanker. Why does it get both of the effects? Fuck this Link 1, dude. <laughs> Why does it get two effects and it gets to do them both in sequence? It's so fucking stupid. God fucking damn. Probably shouldn't do this till later. Imagine we had anything like that. For real. EP in the power of my heart. <clears throat> Fucking grave diggers, bruh. This shit is this shit is fucking wild, dude. We can tomahawk, but we have a zone that's fucked.
Dude, we be playing DMG. I'm pretty no, we're not. We're not playing DMG. Hmm. Oh, I should have probably summoned DM. Fuck. Uh, souls and send salvation for draw. Shit. Oh well. Maybe we'll go to battle phase. Start trying to out things. Oh, go fuck yourself. You fucking wanker. Fuck off with this gay ass green corn shit. Fuck that out of here. Alright. Fuck, that is so annoying. You just make the link one again, right? And stop playing shit. Yeah, we only want one of legit. Time to play 40 cards of one of Fuck this link one. Give our deck a link one. This shit is so cringe. Imagine being able to ignore Imperm as well. So wank. Hey, maybe I am British. Maybe I am. Trap trick, get to have a link one that has two effects and is ignored by trap cards. Meanwhile, we get this dog shit that's not even Dark Magician related. They get a fucking trap monster as well, god damn. Sometimes I'm a bit British, isn't it, Gov? It's fucking Tuesday, isn't it? Man, fuck this deck. Why can this deck extend? This is a fucking trap deck. Why can a cancer fucking stun trap deck summon more than two bodies a turn? It makes no fucking sense. Fuck it off. Piss it off. If you're a back row deck, play fucking back row. <laughs> Why is it got four monsters on the field that came from fucking one to two? Fuck that. Decks don't have identities in Yu-Gi-Oh. They just go, spew as many cards on the field as possible. I'm playing the best deck. I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, it's cracked. They just won't give us the card that makes us modern. You know, this... This guy... Oh, he doesn't even come up. Yeah, this is him. This is him right here. This is him on his horse. Why won't they give him to us? He will make us good. Not really, every other deck will use it. But hey, we, we can pray. Holy shit, this deck is some obnoxious bullcrap played by fucking autists. Fucking weeaboo autist. Fucking 
nonces. Look at this fucking archetype and tell me that a nonce doesn't play it, you know? What is up? He next. Yeah, Anaconda being legal would be nice with Ma with Dragoon, but ultimately we'd probably um probably get Anaconda banned if it ever gets released, but it probably just won't. Konami are fucking cowards. They make a card that's good for DM and they just fuck it because they don't know how to balance shit. Make it good just for one deck. They make it generically good. Kind of how it is. Now, hey, we're all we're all on the spectrum. As well. <laughs> it's it's a spectrum and we all be on there somewhere. I agree, DPE is better than Dragoon for a lot of decks, so it's like fucking give us Dragoon man. And they're like, oh well branded will use it and this deck will use it. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I want to use it. I want to play the broken card, please. It's the only card printed in Dark Magician that's actually good, to be frank. Probably end the stream here. It's been a long one and we're finally going to be negative to this fucking nonce deck. That's fucking shit. Oh, fuck Rafflesia as well. What a dog shit card. Yay, we use Eternal Soul now and he'll use Rafflesia, let's go. I wonder if it affects it because of Eternal Soul, let's see what he does. They took away my fucking Chaos Ruler. Uh, I guess he doesn't get to do anything. Okay, well let's try and, let's try and get Rob back then. Oh yeah, I mean it's like dog shit good. It's silly. It's just activate a trap from your deck by detaching. Very cringe. TBH, very fucking cringe. Free back row. He's gonna set a new back row. Bro, you can't call them plant wipers. Come on, man. This is already the nonciest deck around. Alright, we're getting to draw one. Air Bloss. Air Bloss. Okay. Illusion of Chaos. Great. Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead to this. That is so cancer. Sick. I love versing this deck. Deck is so cool. So cool and nice. There's he, that guy's lucky there's no chat in the game because I would be flaming the shit out of him right now. Let's be real. Alright, this deck fucking sucks. PB, this list is I don't know how this list got mastered. This list is fucking ass. We're going back to the branded list. I don't think I can finish on that dog shit list. That felt like fucking ass. Alright, let's run one with the branded list. 
Jesus. That was rough. Lost the die roll, loser will lose a rank. God damn. Add Chaos Angel? Oh, it's in there. Not in this build, but it's in the deck normally. Chaos Angel, very good. Um, it's not in here because there's just no room, sadly. Oh shit, it's Blue Eyes. Yeah, it's not in this one. But, um, we have been branded Fusion, yo. Yeah, Max Sifa turn is pretty shit. Feels fucking bad, man. But, um, it might be fine. Start with this. This is a really solid start. No search. But that's fine. One more rod. Effective rod. We just need Eternal Soul here because we have Brain Infusion, which is massive. So we'll just go and grab ourselves. Probably Soul Servant is the safest one to get. Might do that. Soul Servant's very flexible, so we'll grab Soul Servant. But yeah, we're still at it here, Senpai. We're, we're wild and wilding out here man go for this and shuffle the DM back into the deck right and I wish we could summon this in the into the dragon board be really nice yeah I got sick of PB's list already <laughs> it was it was pretty shit I don't know it just played like dog shit pure but like with no gas no gas cards. Now let's get this. And I'll bet. Do we speed run to Dragonite? Hell yeah. That shit's the best. Shuffle back these guys. Blue eyes versus fucking DM is always a good kek. I'm gonna save the eternal soul to last off. This is a bit awkward, we like have to attack. Let me banish. Banish it. I guess we should declare into here because then I can redeclare, right? Oh, I can just say no. Hell yeah. I can do this. Yeah, we still live streaming. He's got another jet. Are you fucking serious? What? They play two jet? 
We just banished one of them face down and he had another one? What the fuck? Okay. Some people play too, I mean apparent fucking Lee. The more you know. Derp, he doesn't have cold by. Yeah, this stream's been going all day. Okay. That's all we really got. I think Blue Eyes does better with Brain Infusion than us, but... We got the Fenrir gaming. Fenrir pretty good. I got a Blue Eyes in the grave added to hand. He adds the alternative dragon. I'm going to max see him now, because alternative does not activate to summon. Fall by the grave? Oh, as long as we keep the Dragon Knight, my man. We're keeping the Dragon Knight, boys. He's a dickhead. That's fine with me. He point. He say no max C, and I say cool. See, that's another argument for why you should play hand traps in pure DM. They banish the hand traps instead of your glorious Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Alright, both jets are banished. I don't want to hear any more about Blue Eyes Jet. Alright, here comes Alternative though. Well, that's fine. Alternative... Yeah, what, what, there's nothing we can do about him. What is he going to do? Pop a card? Playing hand traps isn't pure DM. Man, he's going battle phase. Damn. Man must be bricked up with that fucking hand. What'd that hand do, Yugs? He left the spellcaster on my field. We get to recycle Rod with Rod. Damn, this guy's fucking losing. That's that's game. That is game. Rod tribute Rod, grab Rod. GG. What? Your mom let you have two rods? Based? Yep. That comment was so funny. Your hands 2 ass, 3 maxi, and an input. <laughs> That's so rough. That comment we read earlier where it was like, Your extra deck has two cards that aren't Dark Magician, therefore this isn't pure. It's like, holy shit. What, what even? Pretty funny though. I think we still take first. Hungry burger, hungry burger, hungry burger. We should make a roast on comments. I'm gonna do it. Every comment I find, go and roast them. Damn, we drew the fucking Elbaz, huh? Man, we don't have a way to get the DM fucking cards. We have Dragon Knight. Fuck, man. <laughs> Why is it gonna be like this? So I guess we make Mirror Jade. Yes, like what the fuck do we do otherwise? Souls can send deployment actually. Let's go soul send deployment. That also baits Ash. We kinda need to draw into Illusion of Chaos here. That would be the best draw. Ash your imperm bait also kinda good. Oh, okay. Raw souls, bro, fucking kill me now. This deck fucking sucks. An actual wank on a platter. He did have dash, fuck you idiot. God damn it. Yep. Just a bit of the master duel fun.
You know what? Fuck you, Salu. Fuck you and your ritual ass shit. This is Mikanko. Cringe. Ash for ash, eye for eye. Oh, it's like prediction princess? Okay. This could be scary. I show this card face down. Isn't that nice? Cards that recycle themselves. You can special a flip monster, flip it up or flip the fucking down. What does this bitch do when she's flipped? Special it? Yeah, we've got that far. Flip. Add a prediction princess. And a ritual spell from Deckhand. Well, fuck me, I guess. The Ash doesn't fucking do anything because he gets what he wants anyway. You haven't seen a single one of these since they came out? Well, Harry Senpai, I have some good news for you. We're gonna, you're going to experience us fucking losing to them. <laughs> God damn, man. You're at the big boy ranks. Oh yeah, it summons an end phase too. Bro, how do we actually add this? Ah, yes. Nice. Thank you, deck. Wait, he's doing it now? Oh, maybe we can actually play. Oh, nope. No, we cannot. Okay, then. Oh, nice. So you're going to flip that up for us? Yep, he sure is. We cannot special summon. You flip both? Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Wow. He gets to add two cards and lock me out of special summoning. Hmm. Hmm. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is very fun. You should all try it. Yu-Gi-Oh is cool. Oh shit, we can actually play, kind of next, next turn, but next turn we can play. Yo, what up man, we've been streaming for so long dude. Nah, fuck cash, fellas. Cash can suck my fat balls. That deck is the cringest shit. Yeah, he'll just slip them down and up again. You're absolutely right. He flips his entire board? No! Is that all? Come on, DM! Please! Please! Bro, look at how many cards he has. Holy shit. We've got like two cards. Fuck this one. Rotting Grave? Nope. Okay. Oh my god, he can Lightning Storm. Are you fucking serious? Fuck me, dude. This is so fucking shit. We lose to the most dog shit decks. It's crazy.
I should put 145 losses, but honestly, probably. These monsters get the nap. Ah, damn. Granted, DM also cringe. There's only one DM version left to play, guys. Gotta be this one. The 60 card pile, baby. Kinda down for bonds. So this list is also fucking cringe. Oh, where's going second? Going second is truly goaded. Stop it right now. Don't do it. Come on, man. 60 card pile is cool. We'll probably roll with this list. Play Sword Soul? Hell no. Rather kill myself than play Sword Soul. I guess we should just play Runic DM. Probably just bite the bullet. Play Runic DM. What are all the Runic cards? They're probably all Ultra Rares though, aren't they? Um, no. No. Wow. Like Fountain, but it's a 1. And the other one, his ultra rare, is a one. Okay. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought. Ultra's not even meta anymore. I mean, it's about to get Dickhead back to three. I think that de deck's obnoxiously good. Burning for no reason. Very, very relevant effect. Not so much in Master Duel, but in TCG, it's cancer for time rules. I've had success with Dodo builds. Not really. We don't really have Chaos Max on Master Duel, so <laughs> that doesn't help. Oops, I just dropped my phone. <sighs> yeah, Eternal Soul wiping our field is so stupid. At least with Dragoon, it like doesn't matter. <sighs> it's bizarre. Summoning the end is too broken, so you know, you gotta pop your own field. I don't think we need Phantasma. I think we keep playing for going second, because I swear that works. Pardon me, god damn. I got predicted princess. It's rough. Play runic DM. Rut roll. Um, what what box is runic in? What was in here? What did I take out? Phantasmate. Not even that needed. But anyway, let's put him back in. Get BLS. I do like BLS. Draw three when they ash rod. Fucking big nuts. Um, let's go to the shop. Find where the runic cards are. Master Duel Runic Pack. There's no runic secret pack. Eh? Help me. Help. Runics were in the selection back in the past. You're gonna have to craft them or pull them from Master Pack. Wait, really? in a limited time pack huh well that was 10 months ago surely they have a pack now runic left the shop and it doesn't have a secret pack that's fucking dumb it how does it not have a fucking pack bro that is so absurd that is some gronk shit from fucking konami they're doing a fucking duel links Actually doing a dual links. Well, I guess we just open any fucking set then. Fish deals. Gate Guardian. What's this dickhead deck? I hate these decks. Fringe. Um, I guess we can just open Master Packs. Doesn't really matter. Oh my god, the ones who serve raw. Inscription. Need the player can activate cards in the graveyard. 
You only get to activate one of them. Either fucking banish it or special. Imagine if it was all of them. Holy shit. SHS DM. What's SHS? The hell is SHS? Set up a board of Baron Air on the first turn. Bar Baron Death Alert, what do you do? I lose, I scoop. Oh, Super Heavy Samurai, lol. Oh, man. I don't want to play pure branded man. Yeah, we're gonna play Gaia. That's the chat deck. Mm. Okay then. I don't know, man. Cyber and Dragon. I cry that I don't have Dragoon. I swear we've played like every variant of DM we can. Time to play Cubic. CP hmm. DM is pretty damn good actually. This is probably one of the better versions of DM. This is probably what we should play if we're trying to grind. BLS? Can we even put BLS in? I told you I was the master. I think this is good. One mind dream and no hand traps. Mm, no. Maybe we go down to one DM in this build. It's a bit risky. Always cut a prep. Dark Magician. We'll put the second DM back in, but we're gonna need maybe another bestial. You went to sleep and woke up, and I'm still streaming. Yeah. <laughs> it's our beast. Hmm. Big Funk. We have like one, two, three, four, five cards we really don't want. Alright, let's do it. Go back to DPE. Return to Monk. Wait, is there Fenrir's in here? Surely we put Fenrir in. There's no Fenrir? No, there is. There is Fenrir. I'm trolling. I'm trolling, bro. There's one Gamma Seal. I'd rather play like one Nibiru. Oh, uh, maybe not. Running the new Reborn? I mean, it seems like a good card in general to interrupt your opponent. I don't know about it being good in exclusively DM. Good in general, though. Oh, DM cash time. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's, I think it is DM cash time. You might be right. You might be right, bro. Oh, it pains me to say it. Hmm. Maju, I am a grand Maju enjoyer. Yes. I am a big Maju gamer. I think Quick Play Reborn has its place. I'll definitely be picking up some if hopefully they're not expensive. Who knows? Probably another evenly. Alright, we lose this. We play a different build. 
There's eight Marjus. Come on, man. You know the Marju. You know the only Marju that matters. There's only one of him. We get censored? That's fine with me. The DM is the guy I care about on there anyway. Ah, yes. Dark Magician Hand. Okay. Go, go, circle. Whiff it. Whiff it good. Oh shit, it didn't whiff. We just have to wait till next turn to have a play. Cool. Oh, punk DM? We punk DM gang? What the fuck? Dark worlds. Oh, at least Super Poly is good here. another gate Aqua can't play hand traps still better than damn <laughs> bro Oh, hey, Dodo. <laughs> yep. We <laughs> are still grinding. We're in the negatives now, though. We're 13, 14. Rough out here, man. What is this hand? It just keeps going plus. I can't relate to going plus. Is this like his third gate? This is the third gate. This guy could play Exodia for all I know. Playing versing a bot playing Brandon. Brandon has been automated. Hard destruction? Oh my god. Wait! Get me out of my brick hand? Yo? Wait, I probably should just let this bull drake go to the grave. Man said unbrick? Unbrick my opponent. If we draw in a DM here, big. Oh, we didn't draw in a DM. We just draw in a max C though. That's big. Can I chain my max C? Dodo versus Loza. Yeah, no, that's what we should do. Dodo, do you want a duel? I'm having a shit time on MD. We do so wide your mega testing. You kind of lit. Going for circle? Now that's fucking cringe. He can deck me up? Oh. Nah, no, fuck it, I don't give a shit. He can he can deck me out, I don't care. Fuck it. Yeah, only if you're free, man, it's no stress. Actually, no, don't worry. I'm gonna go off with this. I've been streaming all day. I should I should stop. I should really stop. Maybe another time, you know? Man, Dark World seems like a cool deck. 
I used to play it back in the day. Wait, one day of peace. Chat, one day of peace. He's not killing us. Oh, wait, no, he might be decking us out. Shit, yeah. You're right, chat. <laughs> you're right, chat. He's decking us out. It's rough out here. Feels like they can just infinitely loop their cards. Oh, it's the fusion spell. What is Graffa doing here? This guy's just popping off with Dark World. Bro discarded a brick. I really did. Feels good, man. Pop on my Super Poly. Can I chain, please? Please let me chain it. Thank you. Pardon me. Why is this thing so fucking big? Are there cards on my field? Fuck yeah, there's a lot of cards on my field. I guess I can go get secrets again also. The Grava Fusion is indeed cracked. This is this is very true. Starving Grumble. Oh yeah, he just summons back, huh? Imagine your fusion monster actually summoning something when it leaves the field leaves the field not just when it's fucking destroyed must be nice i've already ashed no i'm saving it He is just gonna deck me out, huh? Lava Golem. Okay. Still counts as him specially. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's gonna draw some cards. He can't inflict 800 to me though, so that's nice. Rust. Uh oh. He can do that. Yeah, true. He used card destruction kind of early. And just draws three. Oh! Avarice? We can't shuffle card destruction though. Thank god. I think he does deck me out though. I can at least Ash Avarice. Nice. Ash the pot? Oh yeah. The pot's gonna be the best Ash target I think. Crazy. He has a normal summon, but he can't. Like he can't. But I mean, you know, he does does a lot without normal summoning, huh? We're in the bureau. Just got a card draw two. Maybe he'll deck himself out. Is he locked into Darks or Dark Worlds yet? Is he locked into anything? Because, like, surely you would have just made Appalooza at some point here.
16 cards. 16 summons left. They don't lock? Wow. How? How do they not lock? Look at this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I think we're just getting decked up. There's the upper loser. Now we can't even ash. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck. I don't think ash fucking matters at this point. We're just dead. That's true aspiring goal. I agree. And I don't know. Playing MD today has got me like... I'm good. I'm good to not play anymore. I should have ashed first. Fuck. Oh well. Eight with Druus? I mean, yeah, but it's not once per chain. Oh, it is once per chain. I should have ashed first. Fuck. Oh, it's fucking once per chain, man. Oh, I'm stupid. I should have gone Ash, then he negates, and then I Druus. God damn it. Duster. Yeah, I can get Lava Golem off my field. Yay. Bro, we need chest timers in this game so badly. We're on to one day of peace. I wonder if he remembers that there. Special summon and discard the other. Chupacabra! What if he had a chest timer? <laughs> he would be dead. <laughs> Just give, give, give card game players a chest timer and watch fucking how many decks become obsolete. Yeah, like, I don't know. You should have your own timer. Like in Master Door, you have your own timer, right? Master Duel is basically chest timers. Why don't real events have them though? Real events don't have chest timer like stuff. Master Duels is obviously not exactly here, but it's pretty close. I guess I'm just gonna have to force him here. Six cards left in deck, goddamn. Oh no, does that mean both our decks? Yeah, fuck. I'm just dead, dude. Real events are too busy, but that's the thing. Real events, they should be more important. The standard of Yu-Gi-Oh needs to go up. The standard of tournaments need to go up. Like, bro, if we want to be taken seriously, I think it's a step in the right direction. It would just fix time rolls by a lot. When, like, so many times you lose game one, and your opponent will just sit there in game two playing really chill while you have to play your turns really quick. It's fucking cancer. I'm really trying to time him out here. I have one card in my deck, bro. Now that's it. That's game. Bro, this card is also not banned. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna kill myself. Well. Here's my message to anyone who wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Master Duel. Don't. <laughs> this shit is cancer. You play uh, you play the card that you meant to play, Max C, and then you lose the game because of it anyway. I'm not letting him get the deck out. Fuck that. Alright, well, thanks for tuning into the stream. <laughs> it was uh it was certainly a time. Certainly a time. I don't know. I think we played every version of DM we can, and no luck.
I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think I did great. <laughs> 13 and 15. A lot of our wins were with the stupid Dark Sage build. I don't know how that happened. Thanks for tuning in, though, guys. Nearly 8, eight hours and 20 minutes. Wow. 30, 30 minutes. Good stuff, everyone. Nice work. Nice work to those who've been here the whole time as well. Holy shit. Oh, they need to give us this card right here. Or Dragoon. That'd be good. That would be good. But... I don't know. After playing all that tonight, it really makes you think, why can't Dragoon be in the game? I understand other decks would use it, but man. It is the fucking DM Goat Boss Monster, man. <sighs> anyway. Thanks for tuning in. It's crazy that it's a new rank season from Gen 1 to Feb 1 and they advertise that, but the ban list comes into effect on Gen 10. Like, that doesn't fucking make sense. Another stupid thing. Like, I'm gonna compare it to a dog shit game, Overwatch. But, like, I enjoy Overwatch, and at least in Overwatch, when it's a new season and there's new buffs and nerfs, they're in effect, and there's a half season patch too. I don't understand why would you start a season and then half, like, third into the season the ban list changes like what the fuck man what's the point it's pretty dumb but anyway that's all from me oh because a new pack comes out to promote it wow what a fucking stupid thing that makes a lot of sense though but once again why don't they just put the fucking card release on jan first <laughs> like i swear they have an actual fucking monkey typing all this I, including whoever made Cash Tiro. It was like a chimp at a typewriter who just kept writing effects. And they're like, good job, buddy. We're going on Smoko. You, you keep going. And he's there on Fenrir just like adding more text. Anyway. We will keep trying. We will find new ways to innovate. And ultimately, we will cry ourselves to sleep at night. Anyway, GG's everyone.